catch in the Matrix. A swing. I like swings. You ever, what's the last time you got on a swing? A while. Yeah, dude, it's fun. I have one in my backyard. I'm afraid it's going to break them. Well, I was about to say, just go get some new chains at Home Depot and a tire and see what we can drill some whole shit in it. Well, you know what? I mean, you look at it, and it's never budged. So I feel like I can still swing on it. It's in the backyard there. It came with the house. I'll get a message going, Ray, it budged. (laughs) All right, that's all. I I try not to. Really? Because you you talk. Well, now you're talking about it. Also, you put it on Facebook all the time just to piss people off. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a little. Which is listen. Now that I know you as well as I do, it's <laughs> funny to me because I see people like making the, a you terrible the mistake. You're just like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pe- like people just making the terrible mistake of getting into an argument with you. Like yeah, it's, I know. I say all the time. It's like trying to argue that this. You try to argue the sky isn't blue, and someone's like, "It's fuck. It's right there. It's fucking blue." And they're nope. pulling their hair out. It's like, turquoise. Nope. It's like, turquoise. Yeah. Okay. Outside of the knockdown in the third. I had Francis and Ghana winning on points by multiple rounds, two, three, maybe even four rounds. How on earth do you score this fight for Tyson Fury? I had a you five. knew there was no way. Dude, you knew there was, sorry, before I get to her, sorry, I was just going to say, you knew there was no way the judges were going to give, like, yeah, it was no never going to happen no matter what Francis did. He was not going to get two out of three judges on this card. They don't, I, too, it's too bad for, for, for boxing if he loses. I've never, ever seen a fight where I saw it and I'm like, that didn't, ha- that didn't happen, though. That didn't happen. Like, I didn't, I honestly saw, it, it, still to this day, I don't believe that happened. No, not at all. I do not, I, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand what the hell, like, okay. Dude, it's gone full WWE, man. There's not, like, no, no, dude, that, that, that wasn't real. That didn't actually happen. No. Bro, bro, plata. Where black people and white people talk nonsense. <laughs> Plata here, episode two ninety eight. Two more till you till UFC three hundred and Bro Bro Plata three hundred. In the end of Ray and I's friendship, that's might what I'm be. assuming is going to happen. I'm guessing. Might. It might be a lot. Uh, hey, I might, I might drink a lot. I have, I, I got a lot of beer, man. I got a it's, lot of beer. It's gonna be kicking, me kicking you out of the house at eleven thirty. Mm. <sighs> I've had enough of this. Out of here. Yeah. We'll have a little bit more of a presentation as well uh, Saturday than just a steady cam. Um, so we'll be doing that. We'll be. We'll uh, see. We'll gonna, see. Well, I'm gonna set it up, see what it's got, see what it looks like, do a test here at the house before anything, and then uh, set up the microphones. I'm buying two XLR mics, um, and uh, we're gonna hold the microphones like this. You, you want me to hold a microphone like that for six hours? Well, no, but I think I have one of those. I think I have one of those stands for that thing still somewhere. I could I mean, wash I it off the... and give it to you. I have the I have the other piece for this. Okay. It has the yeah. microphone. If it's like is it a normal microphone? Yeah, it's gonna be like what we use oh, for well, yeah, talk I have, shit. I have that. It's right there. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. Well then we're good. You can do that. I'll hold the microphone against my chest basically. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm buying two of those. Okay. Uh uh finally my fucking hard work paid off. I got a decent check from work. I got to see my pay stub for tomorrow. Nice. Eh, Good job. Ooh, it's enough it's enough to cover it and confidently buy two XLR mics. <laughs> I'm like, I could do it. I could do it for for the culture. I can do it for us. Um So yeah. everybody give give Ray a round of applause for work working hard for Bro Bro Plata this week. Look at Woo! that. Good job, buddy. Been been working hard for many years, baby. Working hard. Mm. But yeah, we're gonna have a different look to the show, kinda. I'm gonna try. Do you have a you have a whiteboard? Yeah. No. No. Well, I'm gonna have to pick up a whiteboard. I'll do it at like a hockey store or like. A- I mean, the only one I have is um my baseball one. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll buy one. It's fine, but I think what we will I have we'll some dry erase names. markers, I, though. We'll be writing names and stuff on boards and having a, th- a second uh, camera over that way. 
Uh, so you can see our happy-go-lucky faces um, as Bro Bro Plata happen, or as this happens. Um, so who knows what's going to I'm hoping this will be fun. Um, I'm going to teach Tim how to work a soundboard. That's going to be fun to watch. I'm not learning new things. Yes, you are. I'm not even, I mean, honestly, I'm not, you know how I feel about these live streams, especially when we're doing the whole card. I'm not super looking forward to it. Hopefully it will be fun and not tedious and annoying. <laughs> well, but, yes, but I'm not like super pumped for it, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm, we should be doing it. Like, you know, it's it's UFC 300 and coincidentally also our 300th episode. We should do something. So yeah. um, I'm all down for doing whatever we're doing. But I'm just like, I, I'm just not super excited. Because the last couple of times we've done them, I'm, it's, I, I don't know, man. I just get, so I don't know. It just kind of gets I know. boring. There is a general, like, malaise of fatigue that does set in there when you're doing six hours. That's why I only do main card madness, because I'd rather do those three or four hours of fights, regardless, and then... You know, <coughs> I will say, though... over those. Yeah, you know, I will say that you'll probably have to do the first one by yourself. I'm probably going to be upstairs watching the Garbrandt fight, because I want to hear the commentary. Uh, all right, that's fine. But I'll be back after that. I'll just be upstairs watching. <laughs> I'll see if Guitar Center has like a, sh- a cheap ass. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Bluetooth microphone, and just have you use that, and just we listen to Tim's reactions to the fight. I don't say a word, but we're in separate rooms. <laughs> I mean, I, I could just like, log in on my Come phone. On, Cody, fucking go. <laughs> I don't going think I'll scream boy. at it. I don't think I'll do that. Uh, what if he be- he beats Davidson Figueredo Saturday? I mean, that's He's gonna, first a round knockout. Win. First round knockout. That's... I expect a fight to last between six and seven seconds. Nope. Um, <clears throat> just get a straight up, just boom. I don't. Uh, maybe a buzzer beater. I could see a buzzer beater either way. Like, end of a round, somebody just, like, swings from the hip and fucking tries to, like, knock the other guy out. It could happen. I mean, both they, Davidson has a lot of power. That's going to come up to it with him to 135. And then Cody, I mean, Cody's basically Codeine uh, 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 with his fists. So, it's quite pretty, Tim. So you I'm did. looking forward to this. Yeah, it's a great fight. It really should Hell be a yeah. five-round main event. And a, well, you know what, though? I don't. I'm done with the fucking Apex. You know what? Everyone is. I'm not the only one who's fucking done with this shit. A lot of people are bitching about the Apex. That's a fucking yeah. sucks. It sucks, and it even sucks for the fighters. Sam Alvey told us that, which we well, assumed. The worst part. The worst part is. Did you hear the story about what they do with like fighters' families? Oh yeah, they move them in and out. Yeah, <laughs> they're extras in a movie. You're just like. Here's your scene and here's your block. Like what? Yeah. Are you kidding me? That's so. I mean, the place is so small anyway. So they're only allowed to watch one fight and then they make a move because the VIPs are there. Are they? Are they just? Are they allowed to stay in? Like, are they allowed to stay in in the in the fight area at all, or just like just? <laughs> they probably go back to like the locker room of of their husband or you know. So they can't watch the whatever. whole card. And on TV, they can in the locker room, that's, but not not man, in not that's where awful. not where the real people are. So it's just they can't give up family seats. They can't give up. So they just like you get to watch one fight. Do you got to go in the back? Gosh darn yep. it! Well, here's the thing about like family seats for UFC. Imagine even if it's like one or two is would be fine, but guys would probably be like, "Dude, my cousin third tw- or." third time twice removed man he really wants to come i'm sure you only get a couple bring like eight people no i'm sure you get a couple that makes sense but the the moving them in and out of the apex is kind of it's silly like why can't the crowd just all be just fighter pair oh that's right because they want to have rich people there yeah they want that they want that 1500 although the rich people that go have always been very disappointing to me they're not loud enough be that's my goal since um i'm also i think in a couple weeks i'm gonna buy my my tickets in my hotel to vegas 
Um, mm-hmm. I'm going by myself because I'm cool. Um, and I would if I could. What? I said I'd go by myself if I could. Um, I'm just, and also, I'm going to be booking myself on a lot of comedy shows. And Steve, the guy you didn't meet at Rick's Roland, posted all the Vegas open mics now. So I know what's there, what I can go to before like a showcase or anything like that. So hopefully, I'll I'll hit. That'll basically be my week of comedy out there. I'm going to enjoy myself, Tim. Good. Yeah. So and ho- my goal though is I want to pay that fifteen that sweet sweet fifteen hundred to go to whatever. Hopefully there is a uh, what do you call it um, a fight night the night before noche or the week before noche. I'm hoping <laughs> to God that they do have that and I'm I'll pay that money to get into the fucking. I thought it was more than that. Um, I don't know. I I mean, all, you, like, all you have to do is ask. Like, I think, yeah, 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 they'll tell you. Yeah. So, it's on the website. It's is on it? the UFC's website. But, uh, no, I want to be in that Apex Center. Fucking rocking with, my do- rocking with my bro dong out. And just being the loudest one there. I want you to do the live stream so you can possibly hear me. We won't shut the fuck up. Oh, I hear it's Pro Pro Plata. <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> Facebook, Twitch, Pro Pro Plata. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> I know my Please rights. Not... Yeah. <laughs> what? I thought this was America. I thought this was. Yeah, no. If you if you're not shirtless the whole time, like you don't you walk in the building, don't even bring a shirt. <laughs> like what? No. I thought we were partying. I mean, this is what. I'll get airbrushed on me. Let them bleed or let them bleed or just bleed. I'll get How about just bro, bleed bro, bro plata. How about that? Well, that'll be in there, but I want just bleed to be like the like chest piece, and then on my stomach, you get the bro bro plata logo. You won't be able to read it. You only <laughs> you yeah, only see like like an O and a B, and the rest of it's on the side. <laughs> well, one, I would probably do BBP, and my my belly button would be one of the P or one of the Bs. No one's gonna know what BBP is. You gotta spell it out. I know. Just go I'm... to Joanne Fabrics and airbrush you, yourself a shirt. <laughs> no, I'll just pay some weirdo. We'll put a, fucking we'll put a guy picture of Pulse on it. Yes. Pulse's face airbrushed. Bro, bro, Plata. I like it looks it. like a memorial shirt. Extreme Couture t-shirt has to be on Pulse. Okay. I oh, sorry. My stomach hurts all of a sudden. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I need to make a doctor's appointment. I have a lot of weird shit going on. Again, man. Although I successfully got drunk at Allen's. <laughs> Allen got so drunk on Saturday, it's pretty funny. Did he yell this? Grab his dick and twist it! Do it. Speaking of dick twist, Hunter Watt, who we had on the show, won his fight on Saturday. I saw. I saw. Broke, did not, but, you know, yeah. shit happens. They got rear naked, did, 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 did uh, Brogan. In the first round. Yeah. So, I don't know if they're going to have that guy fight Andrew. I don't know. I, I I mean, I know he wants to. I, I'm sure they'll offer him that, but I I don't know. I mean, I. I'm sure let Andrew will have to find someone with a better record than four and three, but I mean, if they can't find anybody else, mm-hmm. I don't really like know the whole backstory. But a four and three record, though, he's trying to get an Andrew. I mean, to be fair, he's won three in a row. You know, I mean, it's so. I, I mean, I you know, I get it. Maybe Still. went maybe went pro a little early. That'll happen. How about go through Hunter next? That makes more sense to me, but I don't. I don't. I don't know. Um, I mean, Hunter's two and zero, which is great. Good for good for Hunter Watt, man. And uh, eight wheel, eight wheel Watt, eight wheel Watt, roller uh, roller king, the roller king. <laughs> 
king of the four wheels. Um, but uh, yeah, man, I, I'm I'm happy for those Route 250 guys. At least you know Hunter won, and uh, yeah, I think they like split. They had a bunch of guys on, and some of them won, some of them didn't. You know, shit happens. Yeah. Um, it's the beauty of local MMA, brother. Um, hopefully Andrew fights on June first in Akron, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Oh man, I don't even know why I'm tired. Well, I know why I'm tired, but I took a twenty-minute nap today, Tim. Hmm. I said I took a twenty-minute nap today, Tim. I took a nap. I woke up. I heard my brother was just at the house because he was changing changing his oil in the garage. And then he also, also I found out that he just like took a glass and filled it up with my Jim Beam and left. <laughs> he just like you he just confiscated my Jim Beam. To go. What the fuck? <laughs> it's all right, Is it man. all of your Jim Beam? No, no, no. I had oh, okay. a, I got the bigger bottle and it was mostly full. So um, oh, I mean, God. he took a pretty good chunk out of it, but it's I still have a lot left. It's fine. This is more funny than anything. Yeah, it is, actually. Oh, man. I mean, usually, like, you'll come here and have one. That's fine. But I think that took take some to go. It's pretty funny. Especially, like, when I live pretty close to the liquor store, and he lives, like, 20-some minutes for the liquor store. So, I'm like, you're by the liquor store. Just go to the liquor store. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I don't know, but I, I think he, he was heading to a softball practice, I think. so. Uh, that's even worse. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know if he was drinking it there. I'm just saying he didn't have time to go to the store is what I'm saying. Uh, or maybe he is drinking it there. I don't know. It wouldn't be the first time. I don't know. Is it in a t- did he put in like a tumbler? I have no idea. I was, oh. I didn't see it happen. Um, But what was I was going to say, oh, so my niece had a turnaround Saturday and um, she didn't have she didn't do well. Oh, her no. personally i think she went over five or five strikeouts which isn't like her but I, she's like she's been terrified and i give him like brother and sister-in-law crap they're way too hard on her like she's terrified of what's gonna whether what they're gonna say to her if she if she strikes out so of course she gotta strike out she's terrified what wait a know. minute they don't she's... handle it well See, I hate she's that ten. Sport, she's ten. It doesn't matter. I hate that type of sports parent. It, no, I'm it's, saying it's 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 worse because she's ten. Well, yeah, but no, I mean, I, I mean, also, you know what? Her coach doesn't help either, man. He doesn't like uh, you gotta ha- you gotta let kids have bad days. But she's terrified. Also, it doesn't help that she's a ten year old on a twelve U team, and none of them suck. Like they're all decent. So if she has a bad day, she doesn't play for a while. Like she started, had a bad day, and then she got benched. So, yeah, it doesn't take much. So it's not no one's helping her confidence, which makes me mad because no no one's yeah. saying like, "Dude, we know you can do this." No one's there's no positive reinforcement happening, and that's what she needs, I think. Like some kids weird, are great with negative man. reinforcement, but not everybody. And I'm just telling, I'm like, you guys are driving her insane. You're gonna drive her to quit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's that could be a po- a big possibility home slice. Like that's that's not good. Like my parents when I played hockey always said, "Look, if you don't want to play cuz I would see those kids. Mm-hmm. I would see those parents. I hated those parents. My dad hated those parents. My mother despised those parents. The ones that always like expected way more out of their fucking kid. And didn't give them a bad day. Like, there there are days where your kid's going to be fucking off playing a sport. It's Every just, single person on earth who agreed. plays a sport has bad days. I yeah. know. There's no one I'm who's saying. not had bad days. No one. Yeah, dude. I mean, I have sucked ass playing hockey before. Like, I was bad. But there were days where, like, my brain. You were worse. And, I get it. <laughs> when my brain and my legs were not fucking working, I couldn't skate worth a fuck, and I couldn't stick handle worth shit. Probably mm. was having panic attacks the entire time. Didn't know it because I was fucking 13, 14 years old. But, like, nah, man, those 
It's fucking like I hate those fucking parents. I used to see those when I refereed well, hockey. They I don't do to slash them with my fucking skates so bad. They don't. Luckily, they don't do it in front of anyone. Right? They do it when they get home. But uh, it's still being done. Tim. But like, I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this on here. Well, uh, it's a good topic to talk about at least, and it's. I mean, I, like... I think no. The thing is, I think they're realizing that they're it's they're not handling it correctly. Okay. And, I mean, as it's. I, th- I think they figured out. I mean, I tell them, I'm like, you guys are not like you gotta let her have fun, dude. I mean, yeah. I, and I don't know. I mean, I get why they're frustrated a bit because they spent a lot of money in the off season with they they paid a coach. She's been taking private hitting lessons all all off season. And she's been hitting the ball really well in practice. And then when the games happen, she goes over five flash strikeouts. And they're like, what are we even doing here? Like, I understand a bit of frustration because you spent a lot of money. I get it. But you got to let her figure it out. And plus, I think when she plays rec ball and she has to get some swings against some girls who aren't as good and she starts hitting the ball, she'll like the confidence will get better. That's what this needs to happen is she needs to get her confidence back. I don't think it's like she can't. She's not great. She won't be great, but she's good enough to be on that team, and she can't hit the ball, so I don't. I think I have audio of your brother, like, talking to your niece, right? Um, uh, I got it exclusive. You want to hear it? Yeah, let's hear it. You trying to say Jesus Christ can't hit a curveball? Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> I felt it coming, and I'm like, I have to bring this levity to this fucking job. Um <laughs> but that. it's all right. I, th- I mean, I, it's all right. I mean, I, under- I understand why they're frustrated. Because like I said, they spent, I mean, listen, that's, if they just spent like $30 to play rec ball, they wouldn't care. But they're spending a lot of money, so they just want her to, like, they don't want it to be for nothing, right? Plus, like, that travel I, ball. So I, I, a, so I understand it, but really you can't, you can't get to the point where it's going to make her worse because you're scaring her to death. Yeah. I'm not saying never get on kids, but I'm just saying you, you got to. Number one, let them have bad days, but also make sure they're having fun. Yeah. I, I told I told my niece, I'm like, next time they say something, this will be like, I had fun today. <laughs> just tell them that. It's like, I had fun, and I tried my best, and I had fun. That's it. And see what they yeah. say. <laughs> like, that's it. That's Absolutely. all that matters. That's all that should ever matter. And uh, But like I, I, I at the same time, I, although I said, like, I don't love the way they do it, but I do understand their frustration. I do. Because they're yeah. spending a lot of money. I understand it. But you're, I think you're just, aspect, they're just making yeah. it worse. And I think they're realizing it now that they're not <laughs> helping. The way they do it, yeah. and also I just want to make it. It's not like they they they, they don't beat her or anything like that. No, I'm I want to make sure that everyone that knows are. that that's not happening. They're just kind of no. like, what were you doing? Like, what are you even like? You know, they're not, especially when she takes strikes. Although we were never in a position to see where any of those balls were. We were inside in a place in, in Canton by the Hall of Fame, um, and we were sitting. We were inside. We were sitting above it. So I and where I was, I couldn't even see where the ball was going. So, but the umpire calls it a strike. And Eric said to me, "He's like, you're the one that says the umpires are always right." I'm like, "They are. <laughs> That's true." Anyway, uh, I think it will be better. I think. Hernandez. I think. I just think they need to just you know just let her have fun. And but but also, also I think they made a weird choice by I know they wanted to keep her with her friends and that one coach, but. She's ten years old playing twelve U. I think she would should be playing ten U. I don't. She should be in a ten U team, travel team. She'd be starting at probably at first base, probably bat in the middle of the lineup. She should probably be. I, I don't know why they moved her up. I don't. You know, I know she wanted to be with her friends and they wanted to keep everybody together, but she's not playing as much. So I think I don't know. I think it was a weird move to move her up. I don't know. That's just me yeah, though. I don't know. I'm not. A I don't know. So I think I don't know. Terrible, by the way, sports dad. Terrible. I think I would be one of the outside of maybe hockey and MMA. I would be an awful sports dad. Like I'd be that weird dad in the fucking hoodie and like nobody really. It's like, did you play? Not this sport, man. (laughs) I don't don't know. But uh, yeah, I'd be I think I'd be. And uh, I'd be a bad one because there'd be times where I'd get in, like, learn something about the sport to try and make the kid better. And it would just annoy the piss out of him because it's like, Dad, you didn't know. You don't know these things. And I'd have to hit him because you don't talk back. <laughs> well, yeah, dude, you got to get the switch out. Um, you got to respect your authority, even if you are wrong. Exactly. Um, the customer is always wrong. But, uh, yeah, it. Well, the best sports parents are the ones that just leave them alone. <laughs> yeah, just do that. I, 
that's what my old, that's what my folks did for the longest time until like high school, pretty much. High school, it was a little weird, but because hey, like, I wasn't really like, playing. Hey, Pauls. Brothers, brothers, man. You know what? Um, brother, brother. <sighs> so yeah, so South Carolina remains undefeated and wins the national championship in just a great game. They beat um, Iowa. Clark, Caitlin Clark in Iowa. Um, mm -hmm. You mean WrestleMania, the goat? WrestleMania, that main event, they pulled out all the stops, bro. They like We're not talk talking about, about that. We, we must we have talk about it. No, we won't. Goes to get to, we goes to get alcohol. And we'll I'm not leaving. I'm just. <laughs> I just got to say one thing, though. I, I have to say this one thing off the bat. I've mm -hmm. come to an epiphany recently. Oh, no. I realized. It's a big word. Life is life is like just a Box series. Chocolate. Life is a series of problems, one after the other. I'm realizing that now. Uh, yeah. There's that's, no that's, well, I just I just I just can't, it just dawned on me. Like there's no such thing as putting in a certain amount of work and then you can just sit back and chill. No. No. Then why don't you work on this show, Pulse? That's that's what I want to. <laughs> I am done, bro. <laughs> I, I don't want to speak about my woes, but if you realize the day that I've had. Man. I I mean the way you're talking, probably I've been there. I'm sure. I'm, I, I so I yeah. I got off of work early because I had an appointment in Sugarland. Okay. On the way there, my car stalled. I just got towed back to the crib. And uh, oh jeez. Yeah, man. So I got a mechanic coming to look at it tomorrow. I have to get a ride to work, and it's just fuck, man. It's just always something, man. Oh, bro, I've had those days where. It was, it, it's those days where, like, if you believe in God, you're like, really? Today? You're going right. to, like, you're fucking with me right now. You're doing this. Like, bro, listen, I'm, I'm, because I'm, I'm heading, I'm heading from Rosenberg to Sugarland and I'm looking on my GPS and I'm 3.7 miles, seven minutes away from, from my appointment. And my car just starts to shut off. Thank God I was able to steer it to the shoulder. And thank yeah. God I had AAA. But still. Yeah. I'm like 3.7 miles. I couldn't have made it to my appointment. Then it breaks down. Then I can, you know, at least. So I had and to call. Rough day at work, I assume, on top of it. So that's that. It's a fun time, man. It's a. I've been there. Those ledges are fun to dangle from for a little while. They really are. I just. <laughs> like, I guess I. I used to think like you know, if you hustle really hard. You could kind of make you could kind of make life easier, but there's no such thing as that, man. Because you could work hard as you want to, but then it's no, like, don't be like Tim. You say Tim that's like, what do you think I do? What I do is I know hard work doesn't pay off, so just don't do shit. <laughs> no, Paul, you don't listen to this man. He is evil. No, no I, it's not I, worth I, it. I, I, it's I, not I, worth it. I would like to not worth I it. Say, no, honestly, I want to say that, that Tim is wrong, but I don't see that he uh, he made a good see? point. <laughs> like, because life like, experience, Paul. I feel like the, the working class people are the ones that are really suffering. The only people who are just chilling are the mega rich or homeless. Because homeless people don't have shit to worry about. They're homeless. They oh, just well, I mean, they do, but it's other homeless. That's that's yeah, the that's, like, that's what they... yeah, but yeah. they're not in the the so called rat race. They just. They just exist on the street. Well, it's, just... it's literal rats. Um, but, yeah, it's something. I guess. I don't know, man. And just, just... Go, just go full homeless, Paul. Fuck it. I'm thinking yeah. about it, bro. I'm thinking about it. Oh, God. We're going to get... We're going to have Paul... We're going to make Pulse the new guy with a golden voice. Pulse, you got to grow out a beard. And then uh, we'll come down and make, like, give you a makeover. You remember, hey, I guy. remember that guy. His name was Ted Williams, oddly enough, yeah. like the baseball mm -hmm. player. And Columbus, Ohio native. Yeah, he worked for the Cavs for a while. Well, what's messed up is he was doing, he was clean. He got off drugs mm -hmm. and he was doing so well for himself. Then all of a sudden when he got the, the radio gig, the money started to flow in again. And so he's like, now I can buy whatever drugs I want. Then he fell off the wagon again. Yeah, right? well, I mean, you know, that's what he realizes the reason why people get in that situation. You know, it's it's... I mean, yeah. it's not always that, but yeah, it's you know, things happen. Uh, I'm but, sorry you're having a bad day, Pulse. Yeah, no, man, that sucks. Yeah. Reminds me of the, the time I was driving to work and I hit a pothole, pothole popped the tire, changed the tire. Actually, a cop, a cop, a cop helped me change the tire. 
Nice. Put the donut on. Didn't have that much further to go to get to work. A mile. Another pothole. Pop the donut. What are the odds? And then, so I'm on the side of 77 but in Canton, which is busy. So I'm there. And then I'm like, oh, what I got to gotta do? So I call AAA. AAA is like, um, okay, so you're not going to believe this, but your membership expired yesterday. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> so like, heck of a day. Heck of a day. That was before I got to work. Then I had to work on top of that. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't great. <laughs> that sucked, man. I had the worst one I've ever had when it comes to, like work thing that <laughs> it was like so like a coincidence like that. I was working for a pest control company in like w- east side or like west side of Cleveland. And I had uh is this the wrong title for this video? No, it's perfect because there was another Apex knife. Well, that says um, AEX. Huh? On top, I see another AEX oh. night. Whoa. How'd that happen? Ray fucked me. up. Ray fucked up. You know what, Tim? You what? leave your you leave yourself out to the door. I like this hat, Pauls. Oh, you got it. That's right. My friend tells my friends tell me I'm not allowed to wear it, but um <laughs> Man, I rock that thing proudly. Well, I'm not like I said um, last episode. Uh, you weren't here, but um, we, I'm not gonna wear it too much in public because there's gonna be one person who decides they want to fucking like challenge me on it, and I don't want the smoke, dude. That, even if I believe I'm right, I'm not gonna have a fucking argument about it with a stranger <laughs> at a Follow bar. You, I will go straight to the hood and rock that proudly, man. Like, what are you? Like, hell yeah. Oh, um, raid spelt. So you're unfamiliar with this show? <laughs> Uh, this show is ninety percent nonsense. We might get to the fights. We might get to the fights. Might I watched? Only, I'll admit, I only watched like when I got home. I watched today, much of them fights. Uh, I was watching watch. basketball and softball and all kinds of things this weekend. So you know, I man. watched Mar- Morono, Morono McGee fight. I watched Dylan's fight, and I watched the main event. I watched Dylan's fight. That might be the only one I watched, which bu- which was bummed me. At the- mm-hmm. He gassed so quick. The gas so quick. This is uh, this is how I know I'm a diehard MMA fan. The fact that 300 is coming up Saturday is the only thing that like is the only thing that like makes this week all right bearable. You know. Yeah. I am pretty excited for 300 for the most part. I'm not excited for the pizza crust that's going to be left in my basement, but I'm excited for USC 300. I will bring a trash can, Tim. It will be it will be. I'll the bring pizza, one down. It will be the you. pizza bones can. I will I will bring a bag down here. Okay. I like it. Um, Pulse, um question for you. Yo. Would you be willing to be on the live stream while we we all watch the pay-per-view? What, Saturday? Saturday, yes. Uh, I mean, I have no problem with that. The thing is, I was going to watch it on the same laptop that I'm on now. Ah. So unless, unless, I mean, maybe if I can stream from my phone with you guys. Well, you can pop in and out and stuff. You don't have to yeah, do you the can whole pop thing. Pop in and out. That's fine. Okay. Because we're at, we're adding a new camera, so that's going to be the fun of the whole thing. Uh, for for this. And Maybe I'll show everybody how to do a bro bro plata. Yes. Yes. We'll have hands. We'll be able to like move around the the thing. That should be like the drunk stuff, like. When we get like super hammered and just like, oh, let me flip this around. <laughs> we just do so low budget but fun. Um, oh, that that's that's what the show is. That should be the name of the show. Low budget but fun. Low budget but fun. The podcast. Um, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed watching the women's final four. I watched all three games, and uh, they were all pretty good. Um, South Carolina is the superior team. Um, they have that Goliath of a woman in the middle. Yes. What do you um, think about Cordoza, man? I think she's she a should, beast. She should overtake Caitlin Clark as the number one pick. No, no. Plus, I mean, Indy, Indiana has some bigs apparently. So they, they kind of need to go. And plus, um, you, Indiana wants to get her for the, you know, the clout. They want to get her, you know, they'll make more money with, with Caitlin Clark on their team than anybody else. 
So Caitlin Clark in a, like next week, I think is when the draft is. Hundred percent, she'll be Indiana Fever. Okay. Cordoza uh, won't go any worse than number two. Uh, I don't know. Uh, here's Cameron Brink too. So I think she'll be top th- three or four. I don't know. Uh, well, I think LA has like two and five. I think so. The Sparks uh, are still around. Yeah, Sparks wow. are still around. Um. Plus, I think they'll pick Cameron Brink because she's from California. I think that, you know, that will help them too, I think. Or she played at Stanford. Um, so I'm not sure. Uh, th- listen, this might be a good year for the WNBA. Who knows? Dan Gilbert needs to take notice because I want the Rockers back. I want the Comets back, bro. We started We started this women's championship winning stuff, man. We like- Dude, that was a dynasty. Like, right. That- one of the Share sickest swoops. female basketball teams on planet Earth were those uh, Cheryl Swoops, fucking, uh, what was her name? Who was the other one? Cynthia Cooper, Tina Thompson, Kim Parrott. Yeah, Cynthia they were- Cooper was the one I was thinking of. I mean, though, that entire franchise, for what, five years in a row? It became like a joke almost that like, Houston fucking ruled the WNBA. Then it was Minnesota. Minnesota won like six or seven or something. I don't know. Boo. Boo. We need the record back, Pulse. We'll start a petition. Go out in the streets for us. Sign for the WNBA comments. I want the comments and the arrows to come back, bro. They might be. I mean, there's 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 rumblings of Houston always getting an NHL team, which I I need a Western Conference team. Like I need, I need a Western Conference team. I got the Penguins. That's die hard. But Houston, yeah. If if, if we got a like NHL team down there, man. Oh, Pauls. Ah. You know the oh. WNBA season's only like thirty games. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Including the playoffs? No, that's the regular season. I think it's thirty some games. I mean, listen, if they have a good year, they'll probably expand it. You know, I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure everyone in that in that team would like to not have and have to have another job. That's what I think most of them do. You know, I think well, I mean, what if you're like the back of a bench lady on a on a WNBA team? You're like you're the 10th or 12th woman on a WNBA team. You're making like 20, you're making out of 30 grand, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Taking Clark's contract is going to be about 80 grand. So I. Now, Ice Cube offered him five million dollars to play in the Big Three. <laughs> so hey, there's that. Take that. What is, what is, that's not even a listen. And let me just say this: no, I think she should too, because he expects her to play in the WNBA too. This is on the off okay. season. Oh, well, in the off season, perfect. yeah. So I'm like, she should absolutely do it. Yeah. I'm just gonna say this: like, like people who think she's that they're getting shafted, eighty thousand dollars to play thirty games. It's when you, it's when bad. you look at it. It's when you look at it from what the men make and to play, to play eighty two oh. games, to play eighty two games. Yes, but right. Men, that's why. Oh, no. men, that's why it looks so bad. That's what it looks so bad. But no, the truth is, they don't sell the not. tickets. They do yet. 30, yet. 30, 30 games compared to eighty two, and then what? How? What's the series like? Is it seven 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 or is it? I don't. I don't know. What's the no pulse? Idea. Do you know what the basketball playoffs like? I believe it's five, five, and seven, but either okay. way, there's no guarantee that she'll even make the playoffs her first year. She might just play only thirty games and make almost a hundred k a year. That's or for a summer. Well, it's good. The, the person who makes the most makes, I think, two for two hundred or two fifty. I think so. I is that one of the aces? A quarter of a no, million to uh, play thirty for a summer's worth of work to play a, a well, plus, uh, plus most of them make more money in endorsements than they do, and yeah. you know so. Well, just well, truth, not, I mean, Clark just, didn't yeah. make any money to play to play at Iowa. It was all endorsements, right? I mean, it's NIL, which is but it's all endorsements technically. Okay. She's getting them. Better. She's They're getting paid it. in college now. They they have it made. I don't care what anybody says. They, yeah, they, they do now. I, I mean, think and I I think NIL is going to bring down the salary caps of professional leagues a lot because like. You'll have those like first rounders who will make a couple million, but it'd be like, didn't you make this much for your NIL? This is what you get now. Congratulations. I know I you don't. I know you don't shit. follow old school wrestling, Tim, but you realize old school wrestlers back then used to work in like sawmills and then would go wrestle 
first mm-hmm. class. So by comparison, these WNBA maybe players, they should do a sport where the outcome isn't predetermined. Then I'm just See, saying they're so not. You, getting, can't, you can't throw that in there. You can't throw that in this conversation. It's not the same. Well, the UFC didn't start really paying their guys until they're. They early still don't 2000s. pay their guys. That's the that's the argument to make. Well, they still don't pay them. Well, I mean, I think they're fine. I mean, really? Right. Andrew I, mean I, Sterling. Andrew mean Sterling is selling houses. He's selling condos with Ally in Quinta. New York. In New right. York. That's millions of dollars. And even more money still, money consider it. even still, Aljo's getting at least 150 grand a fight. If he fights three times a year, and I understand it's a fight, but there are people who get in fist fights who work normal jobs. They don't get paid 150K. No. Uh, the whole fighter pay thing and the that kind of like turned me a little bit but as, as i'm thinking about it, he's selling in new york so it's like he's well, already i definitely think i definitely think that i definitely think that mma fighters should get paid more because they're, they're 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 wrecking their bodies for our entertainment but at the same time like the UFC is the flagship. So if you're not getting, if you want to get paid and you're in the UFC, you're getting paid to do MMA or else you're not doing, like, you're not, you're not, you're not making money in cage fighting any other place. So it's no, like, I mean, there's a bunch of guys that made more money in other organizations. Well, you mean the PFL, but it's like you got yeah, to. At, at, at one time, and I know they, they folded or not folded, they got by. But, but there's saying, guys who would leave the whole... UFC and make more money in Bellator. That happened a bunch. That happened to Chael Sonnen. That happened to Rampage Jackson. They were at the end of their careers. Right. That's what I'm saying. They've anymore. already made they money. They, but that, but to even get a deal from Bellator, you have to already be a name. If you're just starting out in MMA, you would want to be in the UFC because so in order to make a million dollars. King Mo probably made money. good money. I'm sure King Mo made good money. He was never in the UFC. Who? King Mo. King Mo. Oh, yeah, yeah. King, well, he did. Yeah, but he's been – well, okay, but I'm just saying, if you're starting out as a brand new fighter from a, a from a gym, in order to make a million bucks in the win in the PFL, you have to win that season. You have to win the whole season. There's no guarantee that you're going to win. They get like oh. a show bonus or a show, don't they? Yeah, they get, no, they, get, they get paid. Yeah, it's not like you don't get paid. They get paid, but the, the million paid. dollars is for the tournament winner. Yeah, sure. Um. Shoot, what was I gonna say? <laughs> ah, fuck, I lost it. Fuck. God damn it, Tim. Falling apart, man. And it's not. I doubt it's gonna get better. Nope. It just gets worse, buddy. It's mm. how life is. By the way, Everything I'm very surprised about this. I was. I was just looking at YouTube real quick. Um, MMA holes put out a poll. For Bo Nickel versus Cody Brundage, 38%, including myself, um, I just voted, um, think Cody Brundage is going to win. I that, thought it was going to be a way lower number that, listen, than 38%. Cody Brundage has been on the show multiple times, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's that's just MMA holes. Homer pick. Yeah. That's okay, though. Nothing wrong with that, but that's what it is. I'm a fan. I called in. I got to speak to the guy one time. Seems like a good dude. I don't know if he can pull this off, but if he Listen, does, ah, dude, I'd be thrilled for him if he did. I mean, good for him, man. Because yeah. no one on earth thinks he can. I'm putting a no hundred dollars on that fucking fight for uh, Saturday. Ray, you don't have any uh, money yeah. left. You're spending it all on gear, which I appreciate. Uh, well, I will <laughs> but... have at least a hundred dollars uh, to to put on a fight. And maybe like five to do my mega bets. I think that's it. the worst part about doing the live stream is that I can't hear the commentary. Well, that's the thing here. I'm gonna test the theory out. And I mean, see I could get hook I could get other into the board, hook the TV into the board so we can have sound off the TV. I want to see if we can do that. Oh, uh, all right. Because we're if, using if this, this little ass board. TV down here. I mean, I, maybe I could bring the big one. I don't really feel like it though. I don't know. Well, Maybe if we feel like moving TV it. And then we watch on the sound. We watch with the sound. Are you all right with this little TV I have down here? Should I bring the big yeah, one down? I don't give a fuck. You well, I guess we can what? move it pretty close. So we can. When have you know. I ever complain, Tim? When do I complain? That is true. I will say that about Ray. Ray doesn't really complain much when it comes to that. He complains yeah. about other things in his life, but he's never came down here and been like, I don't appreciate the setup you have for me. Although you did no. complain about the couch, which that's, that is well, fair, though, because the, the couch. couch is broken 
pause. I broke the couch. <laughs> this fucking couch he had me sleep on one night. I did it by choice, but like, you expect when you lay down for all the like actual cushions to match in softness. The middle fucking thing. The middle's broken. You all of a sudden become a fucking horseshoe when you're in it. It's just fucking. Deal. Yeah. You feel that shit. Man. I like to it's sit in the fun. middle of the couch and I crisscross applesauce it and I'm just kind of like in a nest. <laughs> yeah, you that poor couch cushion, the, the weight you put it under for yeah. years. Yeah, it's been broken a long time. The fuck? There's some Jim. sort of board you can get. I, I got to figure out what it's called and how to find it because I want to get this. Like, you can put a board underneath. Well, it, even a piece of plywood would work, but. Um, now, now we're just getting straight trash. I like it. Yeah, that's fine. It's under the cushion, right? No one's going to see it. It's not like I'm putting plastic on the couch. Um, thing needs, a, like, four pillows underneath it just to be fucking... You can like, just sleep in the again. chair. I will. You got I'm Jim Brown there. right here. There's, there's, there's already a blanket up. right here for you. I like it. probably it. been there since the last time you came. Cool. So, yeah. There's a prince around it right now. We can move that. I'll We're start good. drinking probably, like... So you weren't going to drink. It'll, Middle of main card. <laughs> Middle of main card. That way I'm not like hammered, hammered by the time the main event comes. Well, on. listen, I, you, you, I mean, you got, especially the live streams, you got to fucking pull this thing because you're going to do the play by play. I'm not going to try to talk over you. Oh, I know. I mean, I can do it if you're not there, but, you know, you've been doing it more. So, you know, you're more experienced with it. So you should do it. Yeah. You do a decent job with it. So you should do it. I so, that. and I will be, and it hurts me to give you any kind of compliment. You know this. <laughs> Yes, I know. That's not true. <laughs> not when it, not when you deserve it. Actually, I don't give you enough sometimes, and I I do forget because a lot of times, um, the thumbnails are usually pretty good, and I can't forget to mention that they are most of the time. We do. Oh, Ray. By the way, we're gonna need the thumbnail of all thumbnails for 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 Saturday. I'm thinking about things. I might okay. have you do like a pose for me. Where like get sent up for my OnlyFans if you want a custom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are that's at least fifty bucks. This yeah. is what he's giving me is free, mm -hmm. which is basically you like this, like full body doing this, and then I'm doing the same thing, and there's just a stack of fighters behind us, and it, it, we I I take the Bro Bro Plata logo and put it over UFC. Punk Ravage, what's up, buddy? Um, so what I was thinking was a, oh, uh, Zack Snyder's wait. 300 themed. What? Hold on. I want to ask you one thing. Can you repeat something for me? Um, what you said about, you don't, you don't what? I don't know what you, what? Yeah, well, it's about compliments. What don't you do what, as often as you, uh, as often? I do not remember what I said. You're going to have to remind me. <laughs> You think I remember I, anything? I don't remember. Listen, long-term memory, not too bad. Ten minutes ago, you not too bad. You said you don't give me enough compliments. Oh, okay. Do you agree? Not anymore. <laughs> not, that, not, that, not that you're pushing. You're goddamn right. That, that, that's what I got to say to that. Uh-huh. Man, I'm still mad I couldn't remember what, was, what I was going to say about the fighter pay thing. Well, probably the same shit I always say. Probably. Oh, no, I think, actually, I think I do. I think it was just saying that I would complain a whole lot less if they let them have their own sponsorship deals. Mm. Like, just the one sport. Athletes have tons of endorsements, but some of okay, I'm not saying they don't. Some of them do, but there's only certain ones they're allowed to have. It's weird. They have a weird hold on that, which I don't like. About know, there's, a, there's a lot of shit they do I don't like um, Oh we never did talk about the settlement um, But the thing is about that is I don't know much about it I don't know much about the case P uh, Pulse are we talking about the UFC settlement Yeah Ooh okay Pulse you're familiar with this settlement right I didn't read the whole article though Maybe I'm not prepared for this right yet. Well I'll give you some of I'll just give you the numbers Because I, I, I added it Or I divided it all up at one point I know you did, but it doesn't um, get divided like that, though. You know that, right? I thought it was. It's like, not it, even. It's... No, well, the, well, number one, like the lead plates get more, and like it's, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not even. But before you get into it, can I ask a question real quick? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, while I was at work, a 
apparently the moon covered the sun. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you didn't know there was an eclipse yesterday? Well, I didn't see it. They said it was supposed to get pitch black at 106 hour time. I didn't see nothing. Did y'all? Yeah, I actually set my nap alarm and got up for it. I um, I was I'm in. Saying, was it dark like that? It. Um, it wasn't that dark. It wasn't pitch black where I was. Um, well, it was pretty. It got pretty dark. It got like I'd say twilight dark, or like you know maybe twenty minutes before pitch black dark maybe. And that was neat because it was in the middle of the day. That was cool. Uh, yeah. I didn't get a good look. I didn't have glasses, so I had to look at it with through my phone, and it was kind of cloudy. It was neat. Um, kind of underwhelming, but that's probably because of where I was and the cloudiness. But still, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I, I woke up and saw it because it won't happen again in our lifetime. So, Well, they say not a total eclipse, but at least like a partial eclipse might happen in four or six years. But what I'm saying is, also, I heard you you can't look directly at it, else you go blind. No. Well, that's just because you can't look at the sun, right? <laughs> so, but my question is, you, know, this. Look, you can't look directly at the sun either. But this is what I don't understand. Like, if the moon is blocking the sun, why can't you look at it? It's being obstructed uh, because it's still you still see the light. It goes around it. Some, yeah. There's a lot. There was a bright. I was like right in the middle of the path, like right on the path, like where my house is, and I was able to look. Yeah, you probably had a great view. Um, I was a- it was, it was actually a clear day, like it was kind of cloudy, and then it parted, like around us, and I got to see the full eclipse, like every like I got to actually, I looked up at one point when it was like kind of kind of when it was like dark out and it did kind of look that it was all black except for like the horizon was 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 shining but it, it was it was dark everywhere around us see i was under the impression that it was gonna get like nighttime dark for like a minute it did for it us does. It i did does. absolutely did I, i'm a little i was a little further south of the like i got like a 90 percenter where i am but ray got the 100 percenter so it probably was for him yeah, it for was me, I mean, it was black. still pretty cool. I mean, you could definitely tell us something that you haven't seen before, and it was something that was different. I mean, you definitely tell, like, this is not the way that the sun it, it usually is. The, it was one of the coolest fucking things I've ever seen in my life. Like, It, it would have been really cool to go to the home opener, the Guardians home oh, opener, because yeah. they all, like, everybody was in the stadium looking at it together, and that would have been kind of cool. Well, no, I knew people that went to went to the game to for the Eclipse. Um, they showed pictures and shit. It was yeah, cool. That but cool. And they also won, so that's good. There was a cool thing that did happen, which was at the exact like center or like left, like bottom left of the eclipse was fucking Mars. Mars was like bright red right by the fucking. Uh, it looked almost like a death, like a death beam was about to go off. Because Mars was lit so good by the eclipse, it was cool. Uh, it, I'm I'm happy I actually got to witness it like firsthand. So and yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, I wasn't gonna do something stupid. Uh, I think they said 2099 will be the next one. Oh, so I don't think even with modern medicine, I don't. Well, I think Paul's probably we won't, we won't get to see that one. But uh, well, Paul, you might. You- modern medicine, you're in pretty good shape. <laughs> Me, me, and Tim, we'll we'll, we'll be bra- we'll be brains jacked into computers at that point. Well, yeah, is there at go. least gonna be like a comet or something that's gonna that's gonna happen? Hmm. I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what they're. Maybe what, we'll get lucky and an asteroid will destroy us all. <laughs> I did have a. I'm not gonna lie. I did when I was high get really conspiratorial during the whole thing. I'm like. Where, where's the demon faces in the end? Like, I was. So Did they turn mad. the particle accelerator back on, bro? Uh, is this the? Is this a simulation? Is it, is 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 Neo speaking? No, I didn't say punk ravage. No compliments after stealing Tim's mom's jewelry. That's fair. Ah, uh, very true. Very true. But um, yeah, we, get a tie, we got a tie game in the sixth inning here. I'm also. I'm gonna say this right now. Um, let me look at let me look at something and say I don't believe it's actually happening. 
No and we lost. All right. Thank you, God. All right. All right. What, the Pirates? We are 9-3 and three right now. 12 games in. Guards the are guards series. are 8 and 2. <laughs> it's so. a good start to the se- it's a good start but man. Ray, I see you in, I see you in October. <laughs> All right, bitch. Let's get seats. Let's go. Man, uh I man, I'd sell a test Fuck before my World trip Series to seat. Vegas. That'd be the thing. If like the Pirates may were in the playoffs, I'd have to make some sacrifices. Do I cancel my Vegas trip? Dude, going to that playoff play game with games. my with my brother two years ago was like the greatest thing I've seen in, in live sports ever. It was, I bet. It was crazy because how many? It was like fourteen. And it was ridiculous. And no one was scoring. We're just like, what the fuck is gonna? And it was so you know. And plus, we were sober at that point because they cut beer off at the seventh inning, and it's you know twice as many oh. innings. And we're like, what the hell's happening? We were both kind of pissed. And I was uh. the DD, and I was pissed. And but uh, because my brother wasn't drunk, he should be drunk. I'm the DD, but um. They won with that walk off home run, and it was fucking crazy. And it was Man. awesome. And it was one of the coolest things I ever saw. And it probably was. And it, live in sports, it was. So it, it was pretty great. It was definitely I, worth the couple hundred bucks we probably spent total. It makes me like tear Each. up to even think about the Pirates making the playoffs. Like it's that far away. Like well, I still they, remember 14. They have a real shot. I'm aware because the, I, cent- the central isn't really that strong, even though the NL central is stronger than AL central, but it's still, it's not, they have a real shot at getting in at least in this wild card team. They have like a legitimate shot. So, I mean, I oh, will be watching those. Yeah, I didn't tell you that I almost cried on Saturday. Oh no. I'm at Alan's house. I'm about to, I'm b- about to leave. And, uh, he has ESPN on and he actually, he leaves the room for a minute and I see something in the bottom line. It made my stomach, my heart fall into my fucking stomach. Mm. Shane Bieber out for the year needs Tommy John surgery. I'm like, what? He had oh, two no. two starts and was immaculate in two starts. I had no idea he was even hurt. Then all of a sudden, mm. out for the year, and he'll probably never pitch for Cleveland again. And that's just the fuck, you know. That's it sucks. And my only thought is sign Trevor Bauer. <laughs> nah. Call him, call him, call Bauer, call him. They won't. I'm they glad won't. the Astros are four and seven, by the way, Pulse. Ha 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 ha. Still, Still early, early, man. Still early. Still we are early. early. All right, that's twenty again, that's twenty twenty two. Fine. Twenty twenty two is fine. We will not yeah. fuck with you for twenty twenty two. No. At all. They're Love. still favored to win the American League, no matter how they started the season off. Uh, who's the manager? What's the guy's name? Um I know we looked He's it up before. That hat. I love it. Something yeah. Hispanic. I don't know. Something Hispanic. We got mm. Steven Vogt. Um, but it's uh, I'm excited to go to my first game, which is on the 25th with Alan that day game. So a- Alan was trying to surprise me with like crazy expensive jackets. He bought like us matching jackets. Oh, yeah. That is. Gay, but awesome. Doubt. What? The most. Not even gay. Like, we're we're past the gay level. That is homosexual. Like, that is. I don't care. Listen, we're getting matching something. We already have matching Hawaiian shirts. That's but fine. Dude. There was a problem. You have that, but so, not matching sportswear. It's not he, like you're fucking marrying the guy. No. No, they were, they were uh, matching Guardians Hawaiian shirts. Okay. Anyway, Hawaiian shirts are forgivable for dudes. Anyway, the jackets were sweet, but apparently he got them and put his on and realized that it ran very small. And he got me a three X, which is the biggest sm- size, so he knew it probably would not fit me. So he had to send it back. I'm like, so it's my fault for being too fat. He's like, yeah, kinda, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, it is uh... what it is. And then he he got a different jacket, but he put his put it on and it fell apart like it was garbage. It was it was made like crap. So he had a whole hell of a time returning the jackets. So I don't know. We're looking for something else. I told him these hats I like, and he told me the hats look stupid, which I disagree. I think the hats are awesome. Oh, okay. It's the well, batting practice hat. I love the new batting practice hat. I think again, it's sweet. Hats are fine. Hawaiian shirts. You do you. We're probably going to do t- hats jackets. and t-shirts. Hats and t-shirts. 
What's yeah. weird? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with matching jackets? No, I, that's a members only bullshit thing, man. Like no, they're like no, like guardians jackets, man. You know. I know, but it's like some. It's like two idiots fucking wearing members only. Like we you think just look it's at hilarious. Like oh, they're best friends. Yes, we look adorable. All right, we look adorable. I do, of course. Um, no. No, you're Adorable. absolutely a power bottom. You are a power Not that way. bottom. Not that way. You like to call shots. You're the shot caller, but like you, you enjoy a little I've bit. I've always more been a driver, a which sucks now because I'm too fat to drive. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, that's the only reason I want to lose weight is so I can be on top again. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. But, uh, yeah. Are you playing th- trivia, Paul? Yes, sir. We are. Um, whenever you guys are ready. Yeah, well, I'm about ready. Song up here. Let's Dude, that would be really cool if both the Pirates and Guardians were in the playoff race when they played each other in September, whenever it is. I, dude, I would. I, the, it, I can't even matter. speak on that. I can't even no. I can't will that shit into the universe. I I have no faith in the Pirates organization to hold Derek Shelton. Like he he yeah no. He, I I hope he can get everything together and McCutcheon can will them to a winning record, and that's all I want. I just want a winning record, dude. I got I don't care about playoffs. I got twenty six year old. 26-year-old Andrew McCutcheon on my Diamond Dynasty team on MLB The Show. That was when, dude, he scared my dad. He's, he was never... good, dude. He's my, he's my three-hole hitter, dude. He's my center fielder. 2008? I don't know. Anyway. I, I think it might have been his MVP. I mean, he was the man then. Um, he was like 90 scared. speed. He's good. He, he, he scared my dad one time diving into that fucking ivy wall uh, that yeah. they have. Mm-hmm. And like I watched my father, six six, two eighty, all of them, just fucking go. Ah! <laughs> and, and when he got up, he's like, "He's our fucking future. This kid shouldn't be doing that." <laughs> um, uh, d- 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 lost again. Oh, my left fielder is Jason Bay. I remember him. He won I rookie of the year. I dropped a fucking ball thrown to me by Jason Bay when I was in the bleachers of PNC womp, Park. Womp, womp. And my right fielder at one point was Roberto Clemente. So I had an all Pirates outfield at one point. But now, uh, but I, I replaced Clemente with uh, uh, why? Corbin Carroll because he's only an 85 and I had like an 89. So the arm, bro, the arm. I had Corbin Carroll, do you sweet? All right, let's play the song. Do it. Ooh, I should get us an AI song for uh, for Saturday. But I'm out of points, so I'll have to use my other page. It is the game sweeping the nation coast to coast around the man with all the questions that we have to answer the most to win the game. Our personal Mostly Steve low. Harvey. <laughs> with more. No, he has more charisma than Steve Harvey. I'm calling it already. Way more. Snake, Golden Flash. Steve Harvey. Um, I knew somebody who knew the first wife of Steve Harvey. She didn't like him from what she was saying. <laughs> I believe that. Um, but uh, yes, this is Bro Bro Plot of Trivia. 15 questions asked by our man Pulse. And I got to get my pen here. And right now, we have no Sorry. idea what the theme is. It could be anything. It could, it could be. be anything. Could be, but I I feel like, you know, hey, Ray Highclack is the defending champion. I know. I don't like it. Don't like mm. it. Got to win my title back today. Gotta get my Which belt back, baby. baby. I love you. 
Butch Hartman got me. Still don't know who the fuck that is. It's funny. I told Alan that we had Nickelodeon trivia. He's like, dude, I'd crush on that. And I told him the last question. And he's like, I have no idea who that is. I'm like, I don't either, man. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't have crushed on that. I don't think. I mean, he would have known the cartoons. Yes. <clears throat> I'm just a nerd for animation, so. Okay. All right, sorry. I'm having All too right. much fun. I need to stop. I've been having too much fun saying gay lately. I need to take that out of my vocabulary again. Start saying retard. It'll be fine. Nah, I don't like It'll that. I would like, but gay. It's just fun saying gay. Gay. Bacon gay. All right. So what's the theme this week, Paul? So today on Pulse's Trivia, we're doing 15 questions Mm -hmm. in the category of Creed. The National Football League. Okay. The NFL. Tim. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay, but not super confident, but okay. Well, I feel like, you know, this is neutral. This is like something both of y'all should have you know a good knowledge about good amount of knowledge about plus it's the off season so yeah i just went to the hall of fame yes so you might had had a a nice got a nice picture of um oj simpson's bus did you really yeah did i send it to you yes Mm -hmm. please i don't know yeah yeah i didn't get a picture of you with oj i i didn't i didn't take a selfie but you can kind of see my reflection a little bit if you look at it I didn't want to be the guy taking us. There's other people there, right? I didn't want it to be that guy. You just have like a stabbing motion towards. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> there he, there he For is. For the gram, lady. There he is. By the Orenthal way, I hate James. to be that person. I, I don't know how. What that guy ruined said. the name Orenthal for everybody. That sucks. <laughs> That's like. Remember when Josh Lawhorn was going by Orenthal, Josh Lawhorn? No. Was that a wrestler? Yeah. No, uh, no, uh, comedian. Oh, no. Uh, oh, by the way, I saw that that bit before that you sent me, that Josh Die guy. The Guardians bit. That bit yeah. makes me mad. <laughs> because he didn't do his research correctly. Like, they were never the spiders. And that's what bothers me about it. I'm like, if you're going to do a bit about someone, why don't you look up the, and pretend, like, I don't know. That's what bothered me about it. Now, the part about them, um, being called the Indians, he was pretty much right on that. Like yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Um, other teams were calling them the Indians because they had Native Americans on their team. So they're like, ah, oh, might as well just call them the Indians, man. You have not Native Americans. Here come the Indians. And they're kind of like, we need a new name. So that's kind of cool, actually. So they kind of judo moved it. Yeah. Um, I did so, like the Pirates twist. It was originally like, an insult. get mad at the Pittsburgh but... Pirates. Because what do Pirates do? Oh, yeah, rape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That is true. Uh, Historically, I'm the captain now. I pulled down <laughs> your pants. All right. All right, let's do NFL trivia. Trivia, let's do it, man, 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 man. Yeah, that's my song for you guys. Okay. Ray, did you buy that Scully cap, by the way? Nah, I'm buying it actually tomorrow. Of course you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show that. <laughs> I'll send you a link, Pulse, to a fucking one of these kind of hats. <laughs> That's UFC fucking theme, <clears throat> and I'm it's, definitely in for it. They sell UFC hats now. UFC scally caps, yeah. Do they UFC understand the what their audience is? They know what their audience is. <laughs> oh hell yeah, they've got a they've got an Ultiman logo in there from like the OG days, like the fucking guy that was like this. Um, oh yeah, yeah, the green guy that came out the globe when he was like. Yeah, Dude, yeah, that's yeah. my favorite logo of all time. Thank you very much. That's my Dude, that's a great logo. Bring it back. You want to talk about? We'll we'll get. We'll, fuck it. We're, uh, Pulse, remember this? Maybe I'll kind of remember this. I Logos will. of the UFC. Since we're doing UFC 300, we can talk. Yeah, about that's why. I, like, I'm I, I'm excited because are they gonna? You know, at 200, they have the yellow ass mat. So it's like, what are they doing? I feel like they should. And that's why we got to talk mania at some point. They pulled out all the stops, didn't they? Bro, we, yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit as well. But heard some I, old men were there. A dude, some old very men named old Dwayne. Men. Very old men showed up. Yes. Guys who 
guys who were probably waiting under the ring for their spot because they're that's what i'm thinking like i just gotta say it was taker up under the ring the whole time with his bad knees and all just sitting there chilling more than likely yes he was laying on his (laughs) air mattress under there yeah Yeah, they have to have like a trap door because i can't just see him just kneeling down there waiting for a spot no, yeah, he probably laid on his back for a little while. They had a pillow for him, probably, or something. And he fucking just rolled his old ass out there to <laughs> choke slam Dwayne. It was great. I will say that probably would be a real fun organization to write for. Yes. Patrice okay. O'Neill used to be a writer for WWE. And yeah. so, and oddly enough, for some they reason. Called him, our friend Sean Lynch, they called him a couple times. Freddie Prince Jr.'s. For some reason, was a, a a writer for WWE. He still is involved in some way, shape, or form with them. Too. But it's like he's an actor. What does he have to? I don't. But he's anyway. not an actor anymore. He's, he's an actor. Years. He's yeah. a fan of wrestling. He really is, and he writes. He used to be a movie star. What happened? He got old now. <laughs> he probably could still be a uh, movie star. But I think he just he just I think he has a podcast. He talks about it. I think he's just like I was done with all of it. He didn't want to do also, it anymore. He also has Star Wars royalty. Like he was in, he was in one of the animated series uh, for Star Wars, and his no, I'm sure he was really it. fucking popular. So he's he's Bill Burring it, where it's like I'm just riding off on this check, dude. Uh, it's, I'm no, I mean here. he's probably still making money off Scooby Doo, and um, I don't know. I mean, dude, he all was in a bunch 90s. of teen movies that were like yeah. you know huge back then. I know she's all that the, uh, summer boys and girls. Um, yeah, dude, she's all that. Dude, Summer Catch is a really underrated baseball movie. It's a solid baseball movie about the um the oh the the league that college summer league that's in um the Cape Cod League, the Cape Cod Baseball League. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jessica Beals in that. Um, yeah, it's actually a really good baseball movie. People kind of forget about that one, but it's a legitimately good baseball movie. I gotta check out one of these days. I know. Yeah, that. Summer Catch is a good, good baseball movie. It really is. It's a rom com, like, oh, right? What? It's a rom com, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, and it's funny. Um, Wilmer Vil Miranda is that his name? That you know, Fez. Wilmer he was in it. Valderrama. Yeah, it was close enough. Fez. Um, the guy, other guy, the guy who played Shaggy in um Scooby Doo, uh, Matthew Lillard. something Lillard. L- Lillard. Yes, he's in it as well. He plays a catcher. Um, Brian Dennehy, like great Brian Dennehy. Um, yeah, it's actually a real good movie. And actually, um, Freddie Prince Jr. obviously went through the training to look like a real pitcher, a real left-handed pitcher, and he actually does. So it, it, it's a really good baseball movie. I think that's the one people forget when they talk about baseball movies. And Summer Catch is actually like a top five for me. It's really good. Anyway, now without any further ado, trivia. All right. So today... On Ray, you f- forgot the comma. Mm-mm. Huh? Are you gonna really? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are yes. You gonna nip I have OCD. Yes. Uh. We're gonna make him put a comma. In. <laughs> yeah, final stage, boss. That's great for a baseball movie. Also, the, my favorite <laughs> character, Ray. Have you seen that movie? No favorite. You haven't. No. Oh, favorite characters. There's a there's a guy. His whole thing is that he likes fat chicks. That's like a whole thing. Nice, nice, nice. My guy. And he's like won't admit it. And he's like, oh yeah, I got I was drunk. Dude, that's not a. You know, you're just trying to make me mad. (laughs) Apostrophe. That's what I meant to say. Apostrophe. (laughs) Maybe I did say comma. My bad. (laughs) I was waiting for you to catch that. All right, now now we're now we're getting into it. Now we're now we're gonna do trivia. Okay, right, I'm ready, Paul. Okay, um, I think I should confirm Ray is ready. I'm ready to go. It's ready. Okay, question number one of Pulse's trivia. And remember, the category is the NFL. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which team won the first Super Bowl? Uh oh. No. Mm. Thought maybe I was running out of ink here in my marker. I may be wrong, but I feel like I'm right. I know I'm right. What do you got, Ray? Um, 
I want to buy stock in them. The Green Bay Packers? The Green Bay Packers. You both are correct. The correct answer is Cheese Day. I if it was Green Bay or the Vikings. I think they're around then, but I don't think, um, no. no. Oh. Sure, they may not have been, I don't know. Okay, question number two. Number two. How many NFL teams are there? Currently? Yes. I actually feel like I have this number already. I know this as well. I have um, 32. I was about to say two more than a WNBA season, uh, 32. Wait, it's 36 WNBA season. I looked it up earlier, but 32 is my answer for this. You both are correct. There are That's the most team, most uh, teams in, of any of the major American sports, right? Yeah, yeah. There are in fact thirty-two teams in the NFL. Yeah, baseball's thirty. I think basketball's thirty, and I don't know about the NHL. Mm. Okay, question number three. It's not thirty-two though. What player holds the record for the most career rushing yards? Mm-hmm. I'm probably wrong. Probably wrong. Do you have an answer? I'll go first. Yeah, no, wait, Sanders. no, you go first. Nope, Emmett Smith. Tim Danko takes the lead. The correct answer is Emmett Smith. Legendary. You didn't see this, but Pulse had a boner when he asked that question. Legendary running back <laughs> the Dallas Cowboys, America's team. He used it to ring the bell. What are you talking like, about? What is Amer- America's team? That's always strange to me because there's 32 teams in America. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't get yeah, the most America's popular. team. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Have you been to that stadium, Pulse? No, not yet. That thing looks, I mean, I wish I want to go there for anything. It I want to like go there in July. The stadium What's in America. I want to go there in July. I'm working on it. Uh, What's July? Mike Tyson is oh YouTuber named Jake Paul. Is that going to happen though? I keep thinking like I keep hearing the commission is like being weird about it. No, they have rules. I they have. They still have an okay to get it, be, apparently. Why? Like why, can't, draw. why? They should have just. Excuse me. Before they found a venue, they should have found a commission that will let them do whatever they want. Then find the biggest venue in that state. <laughs> I don't understand why they did it backwards like that. I mean, I, I do. Well, I do, but they would have sold it out anywhere. <laughs> Should have did it in Michigan. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Did it at the Ford Ford Field. You could. Glove right, Touch saw Emma today, did he? Really? Check out the Discord. Nice. There was a bunch of... Um, oh, the Hall of Fame's doing this thing called a, like a residency thing where like a Hall of Famer will hang out for like a week. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. They're just doing, I mean, like they put them up for a week and just have them like just hang out and shake hands for a week. I I can't wait until like 20 years from now when that's Tom Brady. Like they won't have him like automatically, although that'd be wild. You walk in and Tom Brady's just hanging out at the fucking Hall of Fame. That might be like a starstruck moment for me. Tom Brady? Yeah. More so than Peyton Manning? Yes. Because Tom Brady, yeah, I don't know why. Because well, just, just he's just the GOAT. And I'm not like a giant fan of him, but because he's just the best to ever do it, it's just, I. yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's a cheat. He, I, I'm usually a, of the school of um, don't meet your heroes. Like I haven't even, I was, I, when I had a chance to meet the guys from Bowling for Soup and talk to them, um, I just stayed away from them because I didn't want to, like, they're not assholes. They would have been cool, but I'm such big fans of them that I'm like, this could only go backwards. <laughs> so I'm just like, I'm just going to leave them alone. Uh, anyway, but Tom Brady, right. I, I, you know, it's like love to hate Tom Brady, but he's so damn good. Uh, I can hate him. You cheated. No, I hated him too, but I can't say it's not great. Question number four. Yes, yes, yes. And 
it's not a hint, but just to say it, this is a bit of a trick question. You should never say that. Okay. Well, question number four. Okay. And it is multiple choice. Which NFL team has never appeared in a Super Bowl? The Detroit Lions, the Jacksonville Jaguars, or the Cleveland Browns? Wait. Wait. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Whoa, Pulse. All of the right. above? Yeah, that's that's what I put. <laughs> I mean, it is, yeah. it is all of the above. Yeah. You both are correct. All yeah. three of those teams have never appeared yeah. in the Super Bowl. Dude, yeah, this year's going to be like, Browns, minute, Browns say, Lions, Cleveland, baby. Detroit. Isn't there? Isn't that the only three teams to never be in the Super Bowl? No, Bowl Houston Super Bowl? Texans. In the Houston Texans. Texans, but I just said out of those three, which man. And in fact, so dude, the Lions been around, Browns and Browns have been around forever. So, Paul, so that, did I did I tell you this when I was at the Hall of Fame with my friend Alan? Um, there's a big grid of all the teams that ever existed in the NFL and their records by year. And uh, he's looking at it and he's seeing. He's like, why are the three X's around the Browns from like 96, 97, 98? There's just X's. Like, do they run out of money? I'm like, you don't, you don't know. <laughs> It, it, it became the ball. Yeah, I had to, I had to I had to explain to him. Oh, also, did you see that um they're trying to uh they're pushing the art model rule What's for that? uh the move to Brook Park? What's, There's what's a state that? law that came in, in in Ohio um when after Art Model moved the Browns that you can't uh you can't move a team out of a city without um well, number one tell, telling them at I think like 6 months, but also you have to be able to you have to be willing to put the team up for sale before you move them it's a state law so um now they're saying dude if you're trying to move out of downtown Whoa. you're trying to move out of downtown Cle- if you're trying to move out Whoa. of cleveland proper you have to put the team what? up for sale that's what they said that's wait, what they're saying. I, wait 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 they haven't done it yet this is one councilman saying hey we're going to use this on you but i don't know i don't know if they wait, will or not wait. but is but by honestly what hold on hold on hold on i'm going to bring something up right now i'm going to bring something up just because it proves my point and I can firmly say something. I have spent, I have given Cuyahoga County to date $314.14 of my own money. You're gonna fucking bitch about them actually having a good stadium with possibly a fucking dome and you're gonna rule something because it moves it out of the city limits yep fuck you cleveland you get in your own goddamn way and you deserve every single fucking thing you get well here's the Pure thing and if, simple listen if the it's privately fu- cleveland if it's privately funded they'll wave it they'll wave it if they probably fund it the but- city of cleveland it, it trips over its own dick to get to pussy. It's the weirdest I, fucking place I have ever lived in my it's life. Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> it's it's the most counterproductive oh, city I've ever witnessed in my life. All right. Well, she move up here, I get How? you a job. Don't throw me with a good thing. I would love to have Paul up here. It. it would. It would make Cleveland more tolerable. You want to tear down cylinders? If they'll, if they will, if they will reward me with American funds to do so, I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, as long as you have a a good, a decent, you know, decent resume, um, you know, then um, yeah, yeah. My my brother is a supervisor, dude. He can uh, he get you in there. Okay. Thank you, Freedom Guy. You get what I'm saying. That's by me. I think you probably like move the Canton or or Akron. Anyway, but. I think that Cleveland what's likely going to happen, honestly, is, the is they're going to do the they're going to do the billion dollar renovation of the of the current stadium. I think is what they're probably going to do. A billion dollars, Tear billion dollar renovation. This shit down, son. Tear it down. A billion. Well, dollars a billion dollars. You're Tear basically you're ba- you're pulling you're tearing everything down but the bones for a billion dollars. Well, how bad is the current stadium? It's just, it's, it's, pretty it's, bad. it's 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 not bad. Bad. It's just 
It's for it's twenty don't, some years don't, old. Don't Cleveland it up. All right, it's uh, you're you're living in the past. Well, Let's no. Well, listen, it's not the fucking it's not fucking Tropicana Field or something like that, mean? or the fucking Coliseum. It's not like that. I want it to be. No, I mean, I, just, I gotta say, with the Marlins play. That that thing is lit, bro. Like they got. Oh, like, I, that's that's on top of my list of stadiums I want to go to after Wrigley. You know what I'm that's saying one, because that one looks fucking sweet for the opposite know? reasons of Wrigley. Wrigley's like it's history. That one just looks fucking sweet. But your stadium was only built in the 2000s. It's not that. Not 99, old. but yeah, it's yeah. Also, it it wasn't didn't it, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. It's not great. It's okay, but. It needs a lot done. Again, and they haven't done any renovations. Money. Like where the Guardians play, it's been there 30 years, but they've they're doing currently doing renovations. They've done a lot of renovations. Yes, uh, Ray wants scores to score Earth on Cleveland because he likes to blame other things other than himself for his own problems. So is this Cleveland's fault that he's no, in poverty? I am looking <laughs> at this very objectively. That'd be like Houston. Being like, oh, well, the, the Astros can't fucking build a new stadium X. Listen, like, fuck like you. I said, yes, they can. Like I, like I said, it's basically because he's trying to get city funds to make a Brook Park Stadium. If he privately funds a Brook Park Stadium, they'll be completely fine with that. And so would I. Um, the few you teams have the done privately Brook funded Park stadiums. All the meth heads. It's fine. But, but. Also, they said the Port Authority may not let that happen for the airport too, but they don't know for sure. But they're like, it's kind of, it's kind of shady. Um, but that's just preliminary guessing. Anyway, but I think what's most likely going to happen, um, man, good question. Uh, not this week, but last week, I think. Um, <laughs> Cleveland does rock. Thank you, wow, shit, stage boss. But I think what most likely will happen is that the uh, the city will will okay the renovation. So uh, a big re- like a almost a, a complete overall for a billion dollars, you're you're getting rid of everything except for the mo the bones. They say the Brookport Stadium will be at least double that. That's a two b- 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 billion dollar stadium. Okay, all right. I want comfy seats. Oh, by, by, by the way, I, I, a billion dollars. I did win have Powerball. Like... By the way, guys, I didn't win Powerball. I thought I would. What? No, I'm just saying for a billion dollars, they better have heated like massage chairs. Well, also, is it going to be open or is it going to be a dome? If it's if they renovate the current stadium, it will be open, most likely. Well, then yeah, they need heated hard to seats. put a dome on a. They need they need heated seats for the winter time. Do Cleveland ba- yeah, Browns yeah. fans are number one always intoxicated and number two always down for inclement weather? We don't give a fuck. Yeah, they suck. They have nothing better to do on a, a Sunday when it's fucking. I'm, actually, I'm excited to check 13. out. Guardians put new seats in. I'm excited for that. I hope. I hope they're wide. Man, you want to know what really bothers me big time right now is like big driving time. downtown when I'm doing like jobs and stuff. Uh huh. And I see that fucking open deck that used to be there in that in in that area, and it's like fucking pull. Those yeah, fucking, they're taking seats like, out. Yeah, well, t- they took the seats out, but they left the bars, Tim. Like they left the fucking skeleton of what it was. Yeah, they're like, just making Ew. those all bars now. Yeah, and they're pulling out the, pulling out the uh, the terrace club. Right now, it's just like they have a, just a banner over the construction area right now. Ugh. So, so I don't know. I've always been, I was only in the terrace club one time. It, it was okay, but I didn't think it was kind of unnecessary. They're gonna make that a deck. Um, and they're pulling out. Well, they saw what they did to right field. Right field is where the party happens, right? They have a nice bar out there, standing room. So they're like, let's do more of that. So in the upper decks, they in, in the right so field trendy. and left field, they took out more seats and they're putting more party decks. Pulse, the way it looks is, you know, the it's not finished, uh, by the way. You know, the window behind the train guy at Minute Maid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just imagine if that was open all the fucking time. That's what it looks like. Right now, at it's terrible. It's not finished. It, uh, yeah, they're they're in the middle of a renovation, and it's weird because it's in the middle of the season. But by next off season, well, not they the should terrace be terrace club. Fuck the terrace club. I'm talking about where they put the new bars and shit like that. Yeah, that up the upper awful. deck. It looks terrible. Like, well, they haven't built the bars yet, have they? I don't know. They have. Oh, they have. Yeah, it's just open up there. 
Like it, okay. it, it, yeah, I haven't seen it. It looks yet. so weird. I know that they they have like a temporary team shop outside of the stadium because they ripped out the old one down. I saw that, but so strange. Anyway, Paul's. Um, Where were we? Yeah, five. trivia. Question Sorry, number five in Pulse's trivia, number five category NFL. I'm winning. Yes, you are currently up. I three, won four, four to three. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, question number five. Who? was the first African-American head coach to win a Super Bowl? I think I know. I feel like... I think I know this. I think. I feel like... Ray might get this one wrong. I had the same thing. You shut because... your whore mouth, Pulse. How about that? You don't know me. You don't know me. I mean, he won Is a Super Tony... Bowl. I, I, Tony Dungy? Okay. And who you got, Tim? Tony Dungy. Look at that. Okay. I thought you yeah. were going to say... Yeah, because, you know, I thought you were going to say... Uh, I Mike had Tomlin. Hammer Mike Tomlin, and I had to think about time frames. I, had I almost said Lovey Smith, but he never won. I know he, he went to... Oh, yeah. no, that was the year. That, when he, yeah, the, the Colts Chicago beat the Bears. Versus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was Lovey Smith and Tony Dungy. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I thought he was going to say Tomlin, because he's a, such mm-hmm. a... Uh, a I don't sleep on Ray. He knows who Tony frames. Dungy is. Okay. Yeah, because I remember it being a big deal. All right, number six. Question number six. Um, oh, yes. Who is the only defensive player to have won the NFL Most Valuable Player Award? Only defensive player. Talk, I should know this. We spelled his Ever. Name wrong, but that's the okay. only player on the defensive side of the ball. Why do I? No, that's not right. Why do I think of that guy? I guess not the right answer. Man, I'm pissed I don't know this. <laughs> yeah, Tim, you should be. You should be. Interesting. <laughs> nice this lips. Is, there's no way this I, is I right. Like why, do, why am I thinking this? I For some reason, my brain went right to this guy. Who do you have? I said Ed Reed. I said Michael Strahan. Both of those picks are incorrect. They have both, White. both the guys you mentioned have been defensive players of the year, year awards. They have right. won those. But the correct answer, and I hate to say it because – I hate his team that he played for, but he's arguably the greatest linebacker of all time. And at, one point, at one point in time, he wrestled Bam Bam Bigelow in WrestleMania. Yes, we're talking about Lawrence Taylor. Yeah. Yeah. He's arguably the greatest linebacker. Ray Lewis is, you know, on that list. Well, ask Joe Theismann's leg and uh, Man. tell me about it. Uh, okay. I do like to watch that every once in a while. Just for like to hear Howard Cosell talk about it on the like the Telestrator. Uh, okay, question right. number, six. number seven. 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 Seven, you're right. Number seven. seven. Question number seven. What is the colloquialism for the last player selected in the NFL draft? Oh. What is the nickname if you do not understand what colloquialism means? I, I, li- I like Paul's popping off words. It's it's quite nice. I, <laughs> uh, it's also what I call Ray, by the way. I call it myself this. What are you well, doing? Don't, shh, we need a little time. Mm-hmm. We got Ray. Is, uh, Mr. Irrelevant. Mr. Irrelevant. Yes. Brock Purdy. I say, oh, Brock no. I threw my folder. Oh, no. I can't reach it. Oh no! Game over. <laughs> I win. Those are correct. The correct answer is Mister Irrelevant. 
I love the jersey too. Like I want, I want a Mister, like somebody's Mister Irrelevant jersey so bad. I, uh, uh, I would buy one if we made money off of this. That'd probably be my first first like purchase is somebody's Mr. Irrelevant jersey framed and signed by them. Anybody. It'd be Brock Purdy, it could be whoever. I, I want to buy that. Jersey. Most of the ones that never played a snap in the NFL. Mm. Mm. All righty. Number eight. Number eight. Question eight is who was the first NFL player or who was the first player in NFL history to throw for over 5,000 yards in a single season. Fuck, I don't know, Pulse. 5,000 yards? Over 5,000. It's been done several times since. Well, a few times since, but this guy was the first. Fuck. I don't know why. The, the first name that came to my mind, I don't think it's right. But hold I, on, hold on. I gotta think of his fucking name. Shit. No, it can't. If you get it wrong, the, the, your answers probably have done this, but this guy was the first. Nah, fuck it. I, I don't I think my answer did. I don't know. Very possibly not done this. I don't know. Do you have an answer? Bart Ray? Star? Oh, I'll go. It's not a bad guess. Uh, I did real answer. Did I want Rod? Yeah. I want Roger Stallback. <laughs> Both good Roger guesses. Roger Stallback is who. I both Fuck, good I was guesses. Starback. That wasn't right either. I know. Over five thousand yards. That's a lot of yards in a season. A lot of yards. Both Terry good guesses. Bradshaw. But you both are wrong. Brett Farve. He didn't even do it. Ooh. Wow. Doug Williams. And Rothel. Apparently, there are four guys on this list that I'm thinking of. Um, the correct answer was a man named Dan Marino. Ah, I've heard of him. He uh, I will first. be right back. Give me a 30-second break. Okay. All right. yeah, he was the first. There are three others, Drew Brees, Peyton Manning, and Tom Brady. Okay. So there you go. Okay. I was going to say Tom Brady. While he's gone, hey, man, bro, I got to say it, man. When, listen, when that, that finish for, for – Man, when 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 Cena came out and they just started coming out one after the other, I was like, "But you know, it it should have been. We should have heard glass breaking. Like there was no there was no roof on that stadium, but the roof would have blown off the place if Steve Austin and he probably would have had to road that ATV down there because it was a long walk and he's got bad knees too. Yes, but if we'd heard glass break, could you imagine the pop? I. I haven't talked to my brother yet fully. Um, my brother ended up going to WrestleMania uh, this past weekend out in Philadelphia. That fucking he asshole. If he would have told me, I would have saved money. I would have been out there. I would have been out there. He went to the actual. There. He went to the he show. He went to WrestleMania. Oh man, the prick! I know. I'm the only person that I know of that's been that like of people who've been to WrestleMania. To not go to WrestleMania, and I'm Minneapolis next year is probably going to be my my my, my uh, WrestleMania because it's only a 13 hour drive, so like I could do that and still have my car. So like, just go and then take Monday off and then go and work on Tuesday, sleep somewhere, sleep in like fucking Indiana and sh uh, or Toledo on fucking uh, uh, the the way home. But uh, no, I'm thinking about going to Minneapolis next year. That'd be that would probably be what I want to do because I can also fly it for decently cheap. So, um, yeah, I gotta have it, Pulse. I gotta have it. But that match was fucking wild. Like that match. First, I mean, Cody losing on Saturday. Like yeah. you knew he was gonna lose that match. Like you knew. Absolutely, Cody was going to lose that match. Positively, totes my goats. Cody's getting pinned because they're not going to make it easy on him, Pulse. Right, right. He's not going to fucking make but it easy. Just, just in terms of this run, 
I mean, two rumbles back to back, and then you top Mania. I mean, this has got to be like for a guy who used to come out wearing no knee pads and was a sidekick. I mean, the way he's leveled up in his career, this well, is like, dude. I'm just gonna say this: his in like his whole arc in professional wrestling is one of the greatest historically historically yeah. greatest arcs to ever be in a pro wrestling context like cody's story quote unquote is fucking wild state I mean, champion wrestler dad's co- dusty dusty fucking roads the american right. dream baby like his brother's dustin roads Gold and up. he ends up being the one to unite wrestling fans Leave the WWE, go on the independent circuit, create AEW with the fucking old cucks who balled, the fucking douchebag Kenny Omega. Had to deal with them, deal with them, son, for three years. Yeah. And I feel totally bad for him, but this redemption of his fucking arc is the greatest progressive angle. I'm trying to compare it to something else. Like whoever who spent their whole career as a mid carter and then just at the end of it Austin. just became a superstar. Austin. Who? Austin. Austin was mid card for most of his career until he went to the WWE. Then I know, but okay, well I, what I'm saying is like I'm pissed at you guys. Yeah, but okay, think about it like this. Rafael Dos Anjos. I remember when, like, he was on the roster of the UFC for a couple years, and I just yeah. thought of him as a guy. He's just a guy at, at, at lightweight. Then all of a sudden, he beat Benson Henderson. Then he earned a title shot against Anthony Pettis, knocked him out, and he just sort of leveled up like that. But this is even greater than that. Like That's what I'm saying. Like, this whole angle, you no matter what, you can't re- really script script something like this it had and it happened organically that's what i love about this people really got behind cody when he was on the independent scene he made yeah. wrestling fun again with yeah. AEW for a hot minute then came back to the serious land of, of wrestling of pro wrestling which i will say this pulse did you hear what michael cole said uh, at the end of the pay per view, that warmed my heart and like made me cry a little bit. Well, I cried during the entire finish of that match. I'm not gonna lie. After they put the belt on him, I I, I clicked out of it. I, I like I Michael Cole out. said something, or no, was it Pat McAfee? I think it was Pat McAfee. And he actually said it on thing because it had been known for as sports entertainment for so long. WWE is finally calling itself professional wrestling again. Oh really? It's yes. And to me, well, I gotta say this about the like, Triple H era. That's like Tim getting his rules back before the pandemic. Like Tim getting mm-hmm. all of his rules back before the pandemic. Dude, that's pitch clock's saying, fucking killing pitchers. I just uh, gotta say this about the Triple H era. You know, when yes. when McMahon was running the show, it was all about WWE. He said he would never sell out. Now they're selling out. They got Logan Paul's drink. What's this shit called? Crib. Prime, it's on the fucking prime. prime. Yeah, prime. they got prime logo in the middle of it. Yeah, bitches. No. It's like they they're like the WNBA now. They they're just selling jersey space to who to like uh yeah. to O'Reilly Oil Auto Parts or whatever. It's like like what the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Dude, the vin- the vignettes are sexy again, like believable because they're just sit down interviews. Like they I think Dana worked with Triple H on how to film uh, modern day combat sports. Like, I, I'm sure he had nothing to do with that. Oh, I guarantee you, Triple H and Dana talk all the time. They're boys. They're not like they're not like Vince and fucking thing. Triple H and Dana are actually friends for real. <clears throat> so. so I told you guys 30 seconds, and I legitimately was back in less than 30 seconds, and I was sitting here, and you guys just ignored me. So I had to go up and get a drink because like they're not gonna put me back on. So I. I was Tim. back. I told you 30 seconds. I was back in 30 seconds, ready to go. You were Tim, like, no, nope, wrestling. Nerd, 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 nerd. wrestling card I've ever seen in my life. 
Well, I'm happy. I'm listen. I'm happy for you, and I'm and, and I I am really legitimately. I mean, I'm, I know I don't care, but I'm happy that you're happy. To me, this is like if the if the guardians. So they killed it. The is what you're series. saying? They killed it. They fucking murdered it. It was good. good for them. The best part, you'll you'll appreciate this just for like the nostalgia. But was that on? It was on Peacock, wasn't it? It was on Peacock. Yeah. I put I put it on for thirty seconds. And I saw that they were just talking about Jay Cargill, but there no wrestling was happening. So I'm like, well, gave you a shot. No wrestling's happening. Done. Uh, it's probably that, what was that, Sunday? They were just talking about the night before. Um, but, uh, Tim, you'll appreciate this. In the main event of WrestleMania, um, you had uh, fucking Cena. Question number nine. <laughs> um. The Rock, and then The Undertaker, and it was fucking awesome. Man, dude, he's holding the poor guy up. <laughs> <laughs> we, I dude, mean, all of them. I mean, I don't, I don't a, expect any of those guys to be able to move there well. in garb. He came out there in a hoodie because it was cold in Philly, but, <laughs> like, you know. I do like that they did it in Philadelphia, though. I did like, I mean, what was the weather like? Cold. Apparently. So, uh, Saturday it was 50 degrees and then it was like in the 60s on Sunday. Were they like in heat heaters backstage like the NFL like in fucking like in parkas and like Well they panned the, the camera around and like all the celebrities were sitting front row. No, and they were putting like the belt on Cody and every They gave oh, Cody Rhodes a title? Yeah. But did you see who all was there? You shut you shut your whore mouth. Shadow of his father. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go leave. I'll come. I'll be right back. Okay. We're never gonna, we're never gonna get this. Uh, be right back. Trivia done. Yeah, you cried over WWE. Listen, listen. I don't give you shit because it'd be like the same thing as me like getting pumped about a series f- season finale of a TV show or something. I gotta say, I don't guys, really. But I. <laughs> did y'all see um, what's the name? Curtis, Chris Curtis. Yes. I, at the end of the fight, he started. I, I this is one thing I hate to see. I hate to sound like all super manly or whatever, but it's like when I see MMA fighters cry in the cage, it's just. I don't understand. I don't have a problem with it. I never have a problem with athletes crying, dude. You put, I mean, you you put so much into something, right? And then sometimes you're you just emotionally just kind of like fucking break down. I get it, man. Hey, yeah, like when I seen um, Bilal on, Paul, before I, I never go, give anybody shit you, for crying. Hold on, I need to address Mr. Fucking Freedom Guy. Yeah, I cried because pro wrestling is one of those things that taps me in the heart. All right, it's it gets me in the feels, bro. It's so you know judge not, judge not. Lest ye be judged by your own actions. All right, that's right. I'm gonna I'm gonna go pee real quick. I like this hat, Paul. So I think it's a good. Hat. I do too, man. But no, but just to what, finish up what I'm saying. Do I look good with the flat bill or not? Do, do I look a little goofy? Does it look good? Um. Uh oh. Like it should be bent if you're actually playing like. Well, this is not like one of those bendable, be- you know. This like, yeah, I can do no, a little bit like that. That's a collector's item. Like seriously, well, I have the stickers on it still. I'm supposed to keep those on. Is that? <laughs> yes, that's people do that. No, but just I'm just thinking about the resale value. No, it's an MLB the Show hat. You know, I mean, it just say MLB the Show in the back. It's a snapback. It's it's fine. I like it. It's a but like I said, I'm not going to wear it out much because I don't want to fucking hear it from anyone. Shit, I'll rock it. I mean, it may well, be yeah, more, you will. That's different, though. Won't be more acceptable for me to rock it, but no. Yeah. You, I, All right, listen. I'll trade you this hat for some Jordans. <laughs> we could talk after the show, <laughs> dude. I keep looking at those Jordans I sent you. I'm like, dude, I kind of want these, but it's 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 not smart for me to spend 125 dollars on shoes right now. Oh, I have a dude. I, my 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 mother bought my bought my niece Jordan cleats, the red and black ones. Uh-huh. Their team's red and black, dude. They're slick. <laughs> they're awesome. What size um s- sneaker do you wear? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, I got. I, yeah, I, I'll show you something. You can um, for a fraction of that price, you can get some nice J's. Are they real? Yeah. Okay, I believe you. 
Absolutely. No, they have to pass a legit check on this this site. So, yeah. I um, Are they high tops or low tops? I'm not a high top guy. Either or. Yo, you're not a high top guy. No, I'm not a high top guy. Oh, okay. That's all I like to wear. I mean, maybe I could try them out. I, I just, I've just never really had any. Yeah, I, I get I, used to them. I think I just, basketball. Just, so I've so. always been a yeah, I've always been a low tab guy. Um, but dude, she, <laughs> shoes are one of those things that I'm like, if I had more money, and clothes too. Like if I had more money, I like I don't. I wear Crocs all the time and wear whatever clothes fit me because I'm poor. But if I had more money, I'd, I'd probably try to get some better shoes i, feel like I have a pair of adidas i don't know if i showed you my pair but i have a nice pair of adidas i like they're like navy blue i feel like you would like a pair of easy boost sandals i'm not a sandal guy no but they're similar to crocs though but they're very comfortable that's at least from what i mm. hear i don't like anyone seeing my feet i'm not that guy okay. um my 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 crocs don't even have holes in them they're clogs you could you you wear socks Dude, I do wear socks with my Crocs when I have pants on. Okay. But you can't see them, or right? you can't see because I have pants on. I don't. I don't wear like in the summertime. I don't wear socks with my Crocs and shorts. I don't do that. <laughs> Not that guy. But uh, most. Of it, but I usually either I either wear my Crocs or my Adidas. My Adidas are like uh, I will go show go get them. But I, they're they're nice. They're like they, I had them a while because I don't wear them that much. But they're like white. They're dark blue and white. They're mostly all like dark blue. And cream, like dark brown cream. That's and I bet they're comfortable too, right? Yeah, at this point they are. Yeah, they're awesome. Do I? I had a pair of Adidas I wore for years that were awesome. They were brown and like light brown. I love those shoes, man. I wish they still made those. That's that style because those are my favorite shoes ever. But they fell apart. I wore them till they fell apart. They're my favorite shoes. But also New Balance, dude. New Balance. You make fun of New Balance, but they're quality shoes. My umpire shoes are New Balance. I've heard that, like, like people, and the same thing about, I think it's called Sacconi, Sacconi or something like that. You don't know. So basically what I'm saying is the goal of this show is to have a Bro Bro Plata signature shoe. That's. I would love that. I don't even care what brand it is. Fila. I feel like it would be either, like, or like got Etnies some... or Vans. Like that, that... Sketchers. They should bring back airwalks. You remember those? No. Oh, Do they make feelers no. still? You don't I, wore, I, I wear feelers when I was a kid. I, I see feelers. Feelers. But you don't remember airwalks? I know. Oh, no. I had it. No, airwalks. I had airwalks. Yeah, I had it. I thought you said something about Yeah, airwalks. I had airwalks. Actually, airwalks. I wore airwalks and my arches fell when I was a kid. I remember just having like this. This. I missed school because my all of a sudden my feet hurt insanely and I couldn't understand why. Because my arches fell from the airwalks. Yeah. So I think I have, to this day, I have weak arches because they fell when I was a kid because of from wearing fucking airwalks. Which vans uh, would do the same thing, but. Uh, question nine. Question number nine. <laughs> this is how I like when trivia just kind of like goes to everything else. I like it. Okay. Question number nine. Um. Oh, yeah. Great. What do we have to eat on Saturday? I don't know. What do you want to get? Well, I think pizza is probably. The, I mean, this is easy because we, you know, we'll have some left when we get hungry later. We can eat more. Mm. You know, I think that's probably the easy, the best thing gonna, to do. Do they do wings? Some of these places do. All right. Well, and we can get a bucket right, of chicken. Good. We can go to Lee's and get a bucket of chicken. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. Dude, dude, Lee's is the shit. I fucking love Lee's. Dude, any place that accidentally okay. charged me six hundred and fifty dollars and I still go there, <laughs> there's obviously <laughs> that's obviously the shit. All right, Pulse, okay. I'm sorry, Pauls. No, no, it's fine. Um, question number nine. What which kicker, and this is multiple choice, which kicker holds the record for the longest field goal in NFL history? A Matt Prater. B. Justin Tucker, C. Jason Elam, Elam, or D. Adam Vinatieri. Wait, repeat the names. A. Matt Prater, B. Justin Tucker, C. Jason Elam, Elam, Elam. That's how it's pronounced. Or D. Adam Vinatieri. 
I put B, Justin Tucker. It is Justin Tucker. It's funny, Elam and, and and Prater had the record at one point, but Tucker hit 66 in Detroit. Yeah, that, I've never seen correct. something about that, yeah. Mm. Both are correct. Yeah. Correct. Dude, 66 is so – like, if you drive – like, you know, Ray knows I drive past the football field all the time. If you look at a football field and just, like, did you kick a football – uh, d- the Duke, a fuck from the fifty. That's insane, and that's yeah, you know five years. Like, that's, that's so bad. fucking far. <laughs> it doesn't. That's so crazy. Especially if you've held, and especially how big the uh, official NFL football is. It's fucking big, and I know the kicker has their own ball, but they're still the same ball. But it's it's fucking crazy how far that is to kick a fucking All right, football. Pulse, number ten, and he hit the crossbar too. He hit the crossbar and went yeah. over. Yes. Question number 10. But Justin Tucker is one of the greatest of all time. Which NFL running back was the first player to rush for 100 touchdowns? Ooh, 100 touchdowns. Yes. 100 touchdowns? 100 touchdowns. I don't don't think he did it. Uh, You know what? I'm fucking doing it. We could make it multiple choice. No, it's all right. No. I'm reusing an answer. I uh, I went Jim Brown. I don't know if that's he had 100 or not. I wrote Barry Sanders. Both are good guesses, but both are wrong. Was it Sweetness? Who was it? Another good guess, but wrong. The first or the correct answer is the other LT, Ladanian. Oh, Tony. really? I didn't know that, huh? Really? Yes. I see you, LT. Still winning, right? By one. You are up by one, correct. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm actually five, surprised eight to seven. I'm doing. Tim Danko is in the lead with five questions left. Okay. Okay, question number 11. What defensive player mm. from the NFL... Mm. Won the nineteen ninety seven Heisman Trophy in college, obviously. Ninety seven. Ninety seven. I kind of gave you a hint. He's a defensive. I don't player. know. This is right. I know this is right. Right. I'm a hundred percent sure this is right. Ray Lewis. <sighs> fucking Michigan guy, Ohio kid who went to Michigan, won a Heisman. Fucking Charles Woodson. Tim Danko extend, extends his league. The correct answer is Charles Woodson. Which, by the way, little trivia about Charles Woodson here. Uh, Charles Woodson had a restaurant in Pittsburgh that was kind of like a like a schlocky football uh, thing. Decent food. But where it is now is where Jerome Bettis has his restaurant right next to where like Bally Sports Pittsburgh studio is. So is it a hot dog shop made out of a school bus? No it's a fucking fine ass bar, dude. Like this place is class. Jerome Bettis don't fuck around. He went straight up gastro pub, man. It was awesome. Uh, very fun place to like walk around. Yeah, man, if you're gonna put your name on something, man, I you know, even if you're not gonna run it, I'd make sure you know you gotta spend money on it, man. You gotta make sure you have the right mm-hmm. the best people you can get, man. I don't wanna have fucking garbage bar in my name. Number twelve, Pulse. Question number twelve. Who holds the NFL record for most consecutive games with at least one touchdown pass? Oh wow. I didn't even spell his name right, but what do you got, Ray? Yes, Ben Roethlisberger. I went. I want the goat. I want Tom Brady. I don't know the answer to this. 
Both are good guesses, but both are incorrect. Mm. Okay. The correct answer was the signal caller for the New Orleans Saints. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. Jameis yeah, Winston. I'm surprised yeah. how much like, like close shit I get on this fucking stuff. Where it's like, I, I guessed on Tony Dungy. Absolutely guessed on that. I. You know what? He's only up two. There are three questions left. I, so it's I still know, a I'm chance. It. It's still a chance. I'm going to eye it. Okay. Question number 13. Who is the oldest player to have ever played in an NFL game? And this is multiple choice. One, Tom Brady. Two, Brett Favre. Three, George Blanda. Or four, Adam Vinatieri. Oh. <laughs> I'm not real sure. Both of them, or all of them played a long time in the NFL, which is hard to do because the NFL stands for not for long because guys get their bodies broken. So all of these guys played relatively long. But who is the oldest player to ever suit up for an NFL game? Suit up and play. For Brett Favre. What Venetary? Both good guesses, but both are incorrect. The Blanda is George Blanda. Yeah. yeah, I don't know who that is. So I to guess. Sounds like he's got an old school name. How old was he? Like fifty six? <laughs> it does not say, but. Guessing he's in his late forties because I know Tom Brady suited up at forty-five. Right. So yeah. So question number fourteen. At this point, if you if 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 Tim answers the next two wrong, and Ray gets them right, we will go to a sudden death. Mm -hmm. So he's got to win. All right, Not happening. Win. We'll see what happens. Okay. Question number 13. 14. 14. Okay. Yes. Who was the first African American quarterback to win a Super Bowl? And Tim clinches the victory. Got his belt Shut back. Shut up. Got his belt you back. Shut up. Shut up, Tim. I, I'm in deep thought. Trying to go over all the black quarterbacks that have won Super Bowls. I mean, there's not a ton of them. <laughs> no, that's why I'm like, I'm trying to like weed out the list here. I can only racism. No, I'm doing positive lists, not fucking liberals going, you can't do it because of your environment. No, this is, I'm trying to think of what. You got to get this to even, to even stay in the game, Ray. You got to get this I, question. Right. No, if I, I get it right, which I have the answer, I win. You so. think you have the answer? No, if he gets it right, he can, well. No, if I don't get it right. Yes, but if you get it right and he gets it right, then we go to 15. And if you get that one wrong and he gets it right, you can still tie. I thought he's down by two. He is. Yeah. So if I oh, get this one right. Well, I'm saying you, you're much. assuming you're getting this question right. I am getting this question he right. He is. Okay. He will. That confident. Okay. I'm pretty confident. No, I, I will. I will almost guarantee you he's got it right. That's why I'm trying to fucking. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I don't think I am. Michael Vick never won a Super Bowl. What? Mike Mexico never got anything. Non -Mexico. Mexico. I'm gonna say Russell Wilson. Good answer, but Washington Redskins, Doug Williams. And Tim Danko re re retakes the belt. Wins this year. Who was this? This, this, this? 87, I think. It was okay. a strike year. Yeah, it was in the 80s. It was Doug Williams, quarterback for the then Washington Redskins. You cannot say that name no more, but back, back in the Is that the guy that had to go back to jail or whatever? <laughs> no, that was the guy who replaced him. But that, that was that year, though. 
<laughs> Man, that's so crazy. That's that's such like the most Russell insane Wilson, story. Russell story. Wilson did indeed win a Super Bowl, so you would have guessed right there. And also, so did Pat Pat Mahomes. Yeah. But um, you know, uh, Doug Williams was. Yeah, indeed. I don't. I don't go back that far. Um, well, okay. So, so Tim Dango does does get his belt back, but just for shits and gigs, do you want to go to the question? Of course, yeah. of course. Let's see if I get it. Okay. Um, who was the first NFL player to be named MVP by a unanimous vote? Meaning every judge voted for this guy. Everybody who has a vote voted for him. And we could make a multiple choice if you want. Nope. I think okay. I know. I don't know. I think. I don't know why this name came to my head. Uh, I put Tom Brady. I put Lamar Jackson. Wow. That was a good guess, Tim Danko, but she would have been wrong. Mm. Ray is correct. Ooh. Tom Brady. Well, he, he made it a little oh, closer. Right. He did. He All did. Right. He still finished by yeah, one. Came back. Came back. I may, have, I may have lost. My fingernails are on that finish, bo- finish chalk. Okay. Usually, I usually don't beat by that much. I want a couple. I'll be right yeah. back on all right, he's gone again. He's going to go take a celebration. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. Again, I love the fact that Cody got his, he finally got the fucking belt. I did cry. Like I cried hard, hard. Sound like <laughs> not as hard as I did when he won the NWA title, though. The NWA title one what meant more to me as a fan. But, yeah, you want to talk about a guy who his story is the greatest story in professional wrestling. Rags to riches, fucking make, uh, makes, makes about as much as his old man did back in the day. He's a legitimate superstar, baby. He's there, you know what I'm saying, because I am the American dream and I am so sweet. Yeah, no, he. This is quite the career turnaround for for that guy. Uh, yeah, and I mean, one of the greatest runs, like as far as runs go. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. You know, I remember when Styles first debuted, he had a hell of a run. Man, isn't it be tough to be in like a, and I mean, I guess the same thing with acting or whatever. But like, you just you work your ass off, and you just hope that you get your due. You just hope you get it. Mm-hmm. You don't always get it. You don't always get it. A lot of guys don't get it. But you just hope, you know, if you if you do, if you're a company man, you kiss enough ass and you work hard enough that they're gonna Thunder, fucking let you be the guy. But, um, Thunderbolt Patterson Pulse. Did you watch the Hall of Fame on Saturday? No. What a great name, by the way. Thunderbolt Patterson. Yeah. Talk about a guy that got in his own fucking way and didn't go to the top in a lot of places when he should have. Um. But Paul, yeah, make sure you have to play the game, kiss a lot of ass. Oh, for sure, and he didn't. He he would like, yeah. sue over racism and stuff. Which other was uh, probably happening. Uh, other, other sports, you can at least. I mean, like Stipe, you can. I mean, MMA, you can just keep winning, and they kind of gotta get gotta give you your due eventually. If you, if you no one can beat you, but I'm, that uh, that's I'm, different. And that, but this, and also this, like I said, it's the same thing with like acting or whatever else, but music, whatever. But I'm gonna make. Um, I'm going to make a drop because I already finally we have uh, Twist His Dick and Twist His Dick. I have that one, too. Um, but Paul Heyman, who was instrumental with Brock Lesnar, not only in WWE, but also uh, was part of the management team for him in his UFC run. Um, and would do a lot of his promotion and stuff like that. Um Got into the Hall of Fame this past weekend, um, ECW owner, all that stuff, and he had a thing where people were start were starting to chant "You deserve it" when he was like on the podium, Tim, and mm-hmm. he looks dead in the camera and goes, "You're got your fuck, you are your god fucking damn right, I do," <laughs> and like the place erupted. It was so good, dude. Like guys like that don't come around every. It, generationally like it's like a connor or it's like a fucking um oh god who, who won last mo- who won last week 
kid from Tennessee. What? Uh, who's the fighter from Tennessee who fought last weekend in the Sam featured Halby? prelim? No, for, he fought in the featured prelim. I don't know who you're talking about. White guy. Well, how, uh, There'll be a lot of people. You know exactly who it is. Hold on. I knew I'd tell you. Um, hold on. Bancho versus Faro. Nate Landwehr. Ah. Like, Paul Heyman is one of those kind of guys where you just love him. No matter what he says, he could be telling you he fucked your mom on Main Street. And you're like, fucking Paul, you're a fucking good guy. I fucking love that guy. Man, but, it'd be hard to be in a business where, like, even if you're the best and you're great, just the powers that be can just fuck you. They just can't. And th- that's, I mean, yeah. that's also why I think it'd be tough to be in a sport where there's judges, like a, a judging sport, like gymnastics or figure skating, because MMA, you could be boxing. the best. You could fucking crush them and then you can get fucked up. Yeah, but I think mo- mo- more so in gymnastics, wrestling, and figure skating, you get wrestling fucked. a lot of time people get fucked over on decisions. Could happen. Because, like, pro wrestling? Judge... No, no, wrestling, wrestling. Like, oh, wrestling, they're... wrestling. Yeah, well, it's a, that's like a Greg point. Gallo. That's a point system. Yeah, but still, you might, you'll have a judge who may not like you. I'm sure that happens, but I feel like if you're the you're the best, you're not going to get denied. I feel like in wrestling, it could happen more than just about anything. I mean, in most most sports or just not just sports, but just uh, endeavors, period, you can be undeniable. And I mean, like comedy, comedy, if you're better than everybody else you truly are you're gonna be fine you're gonna be just fine right yeah um yeah i mean it would be really hard for someone who is there's someone out there who's legitimately funnier than everybody to not make it right it'd be hard Mm -hmm. almost impossible especially now and i've seen it happen we've seen it happen what like guys who came from not like just dick with okay sets and they're doing arenas as like features and also they're doing tv all no 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 yeah no yeah that way i thought you meant the opposite yeah 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 if you're good enough yeah unless i mean you can't asshole your way out of anything but (laughs) the better you are the harder it is to asshole your way out of shit right you can't be canceled but you can come back like louis yeah or yeah Yeah. fucking gillis Gillis is doing yeah. just fine. He's doing better well, than he would have would have. I mean, he probably would have been fine on SNL, but he's doing better than he would have. So, for sure, dude. Especially on just ticket sales, people want to see Shane Gillis. So do I. I want to see him. Too. I think he's great. I think he's yeah. hilarious. I want to see him and get a meet and greet just so I can like get a picture with him. Like I want. I don't care about that, but like, but I, do. I think a lot of the lot of the reason why people like him and I like him too is because he's he's middle America. I mean, Pennsylvania yeah. technically is in the Midwest, but he's like, you, like everybody, like you know, a fucking guy like that. You're basically are that guy. He's just big, doofy, goofy looking, fat white guy from the middle of Pennsylvania. And again, yeah. I know a thousand guys like that. Oh hell yeah! Just that one's good at comedy. The um, like his ascension, but I was mainly alluding to like Marcelo Hernandez, like watching him come mm-hmm. from like just shit in the bed. But still being like funny to all of a sudden just an animal fucking. Dude, I remember. I remember seeing. Um. Yeah. He he figured something out real quick because I remember just like seeing him a couple weeks before his his funny stop contest finals, and he he was you know he was okay. He had a good stage presence, but then he then it, it was that fucking baseball bit that he did on SNL. Yeah. That's what's so funny. It was that, and he did that. I'm like, holy shit, he's fu-. And, I you know he won that easy. At Barrio, for fuck's sake. Yeah, and I told him like, dude, you have, you have fucking. Cr-. I'm like, dude, you crushed it, man. You you yeah. fuck. And he was super nice about it. Uh, but what really bums me out is that like he probably won't do it now, even though I really wish he would. But he makes so much money now. But I really wish he would have came back to the funny stop. But he, yeah. he called Pete said I think the week before he died, Pete told me he that Marcella called him. He's like, Hey, your club makes stars, and I'm so grateful for you. He's like, I will come back, I'll give you one. I'll give you one. I'll come back. But then Pete died. So yeah. will he ever I mean 
That would be I, awesome. He's, well, here's the thing. It would be awesome. It would be a great thing for him to do, and I hope he does it. But he doesn't owe them anything, really. He doesn't really. I mean, it, it, like us looking, it would be like, it would be real nice if you did that. But I get it. He's making 50 yeah. grand a weekend. I get it, man. They can't pay that. Everything okay, Pauls? You know, I got to run to Walmart right quick. Hopefully, you guys are still on when I get back. Okay. Right, run to Wal- Wait, hold on. How are you going to get to Walmart? I'm going to walk. How far yeah. is it? It's like three or four miles. But before I go, I just want to showcase. <laughs> what? You gotta, are you, dude, get, dude, get you're walking over. four miles each way? I'm, I'll, be, I'll be fine. I'll be back. All Dude, right. Well, not if you're walking four miles each way. In Houston, of all places, too. Well, he's not. Like... He's, in the, he's not in. He's like in the uh, suburbs. But like, okay. Dude, get him an Uber. <laughs> I mean, if he's willing to walk, he wants the cardio. That's fine. He, he can be the in shape one on this show. Um, he bon- can be the bro in Bro Bro Plata. Somebody has to be. Dude, I weighed myself this morning. Not good. Not good. I'm hovering. Like, I'm hovering around 225, 230. Dude, you need, man, we need to convince Eric to fight you. Although, he's like two, he weighed himself at, at and in the locker room at that place where the softball tournament was. I, I did not get on that scale. But he did. It said 257. God. Man, I'd have to, like, really work on my boxing. Like I would have to work on my boxing and my kickboxing. He's gonna have no training at like, all. Well, the, but the leg kicks, the leg kicks are what's gonna win me that fight without a doubt. Once just take I him down. Take him down. Kick on him. No, once I lay a calf kick on him and he just feels the full weight of my shin, that's gonna be a bad day for him. That's the problem. Like I know how I'm gonna beat Eric. He it's won't do leg it. kicks. And it's fucking takedown. Also, I think that's the only way you'd be able to get on that card at this point. Yeah, it would have to be a freak show fight, but I'm willing to do a CT scan. I don't give a fuck. I'll push you back. I still think, I, I, listen, I said it before, you won't do it. I'm saying now you won't do it. Bitch, I will do it if I have the money to be able to do it. I don't have the money right now. I've got to buy us a fucking. Listen, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I, listen, I'm happy that you. Product. Don't say us. I mean, listen, you're using it for, but it but it is yours. It's your shit, but it's, right? I look at it as ours. Well, that, that that's nice. Him. But, like, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm saying. Like, it's going to yeah. rest a lot on your ho- in your house. So make sure it doesn't get mold on it, please. Don't That's keep it here. Don't keep it here. Probably not. Yeah, I'll probably. Yeah, that's a bad start, idea. I'll probably start another podcast with it. Dude, I mean, use it. Fucking use. I mean, gee, you, you yeah. know, it's good shit. Use. Um, I'm sending you a hat picture. Oh boy. Oh, actually, I'm sending you the link. I guess I should could have just sent you the hat, but I want I want to know what you think of this. This is on MLB Shop. Yes, it just came out today. This is Allen's and is okay with this. I don't. I mean, listen. I love the batting practice hats, but he honestly thinks they're dumb. Which I'm way. I think he's way off. I think they're great. I mean, what 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 does he think is dumb about it? Not this hat. Not this hat. Oh, that's a different hat. I don't know. Look up. Well, just I'm go back and look up of this hat at all. It's not bad. That's like the, the one. Green. That's the one he will buy. I don't like the green around it. I, I don't so like it bothers me. Well, it's big. It's a big league true curl collection. I don't give a fuck what it is. It looks bad. I don't think it's bad, but I don't like like those weird miscolor color hats. I like team colors. Yeah, that's um, that's what I'm fucking saying here. Well, man. the thing like, is, I need a snapback because I have too much hair for a fitted hat. Tim, I'm going to tell you something right fucking now. Hmm. If I'm saying if I get a haircut, my hat won't fit. Wearing a ponytail through the fucking snap. If you are not doing that on the regular, you're doing this whole thing wrong. No, like, dude, I like. It, listen, I like the like. What do you, do you think? How do you think I look in this hat? I I like this hat. I have the reason I love these hats is it goes with my haircut. Oh, by the way, do you want a scully cap? You can have mine. Okay, I'll pick it up Saturday. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna wear it anymore. I mean, I I, I gave it a go. I gave it a go, but I look like Fat Gallagher, and I, I'm just not. It's not something my style. I wear it for a while. I'm it like, fits me like way more. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got more of not, the English in me. It's not. It's not bad. It wasn't bad, but because I look like Fat Gallagher, I gave it up. It's not for everybody. I'm yeah, Scally Cap life is not for fucking every human. Well, being. the reason you I got it because I had a gift. I had a gift card to like a DSW or one of the shoe store, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I, those suck. Those suck. What? Those like st- like shoe store hats where they're like they kind of look like a Scally Cap, but they're not. No, like, th- this is not... a Scally Cap. No, it is. It's a newsy. I hat. know. I think it, it, is, but... it said newsy hat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like. I Have don't you know, seen dude. mine? think yeah anyway um some of them just are, are shit i got and also boston scally company who does the ufc one i need a wall yeah they have shitty hats they have shitty fucking style yeah. hats except for what the 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 irish this uh, is just gray scally. It's gray but like no it, they have like ones that look like baseball caps which are fucking dumb they look like they look That's like weird. daffy duck they're not like they're not good the one, the scally, like, okay, here's my, here's my compliment sandwich right now. Here's my compliment sandwich. I'm listening. This hat, Boston Scally Company, if you ever see this, I want you to sponsor us. I buy your products. All right. Why? Fucking quality. This is good. But the fucking baseball hat ones you sell are garbage. Don't ever fucking sell those again. Now, now look at, look at this picture I sent you. This is. Guardians pitcher Ty, um, Tyler B. Bidey, Bidey, in the uh, batting practice hat. That's the one I want. That hat is dope. Dude, he hates him. Alan hates him. See? See? Who's the better friend? Who's the he better friend? He is still, but he has bad taste in hats. He actually sent me. I'll send you this one he sent me. And Alan, meet me. He honestly bucket. thinks they look dumb, meet. but I think he's way they're off. They're not. They're pretty he's dope. Fun. Yeah, they're sweet. I like them. They're sweet. Yeah, it looks like something out of the seventies almost. Like, yeah, it's like old great. school. Something about that's dope. I'd wear that. I'm a Pirates fan. We have a they they brought back the fucking star hats this year, which this I is, love. This is what he sent me. He sent me this. Oh, you're a doofus, Alan. <laughs> Mister, I this hold is, a grudge over beer. Like, go fuck your mom. He's not holding a grudge over beer, but he's fucking around. <sighs> I hold the grudge over beer. No, it's not actually holding the grudge over beer. I, I know. Fuck it. I'm, I'm getting more goofy as I'm going along, Tim. Um, but uh, I think that batting practice hat is sweet as fuck. It's and the sick. fact that he didn't like it, I thought he was joking at first. I'm like, you serious? And this is sweet. And plus, because all all the other options anyway. But the snapback options are limited. Um. They don't have I just like a normal home or away hat. They don't have it a snapback. It fucking sucks. I'm like, why can't we just do that? We don't have that. They have a weird fucking wacky ones. This big lead chew or the what? I don't know. It's strange. I don't know, man. It it, it bums me out because yeah. I like that hat and they don't have the. I don't, but like I said, I can't the right style. It, I can't it just do. Happens. I can't do. Well, he's he said he would buy us those big lead chew hats. Mm-mm. I don't nope. think they're bad. I think they're better than nothing. Better than nothing, yes, but like when it comes to like headwear, I like I'm very picky, I'm very picky about my shit. I don't deviate into those kind of different styles. I keep it to simple team logo, no matter what, because it looks good. Do I keep the stickers on? No. Do I bend the rim? Yes, because guess what? I want it to be around my skull cap. I don't, I I like yes. some hats flat. That you yeah. leave flat, you fucking asshole. It's gonna what? don't fucking even touch it. No, I'm not gonna do a hard turn. I'm gonna do a little semi, a little semi no, like that. No, don't put any creases in that, man. Don't. That's a fresh hat. Like that's a yeah. fresh ass hat. Like my my mother was very adamant about me taking the stickers off. No, you keep that. She's like, keep I'm like, that's what you're shit. supposed to keep. She's like, yeah, but, but, but I know you can mm. sell it that way. Like people will it. buy that. In like no, no. 15 years. Well, say not, not buy. now. Not now. No. It's a good hat. I like this hat. It's a good hat. Um, yeah. Once supplies are low on that shit, people will buy that hat. Like, 
Once, once like the market is stopped. I mean, it does have the MLB the show logo on it. on it. Oh, I gotta call fucking the PlayStation Store people. I gotta call them because I told you a couple times to try to buy games and it didn't work. <gasps> no, they all went through, didn't they? No. Oh okay. no, 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 no! That I'd be pissed. I'd I call right away if that, that happened. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I'd be pissed. I mean, Oh, I bet I would. Yeah. I would be mad for you. No, but apparent like um, I'm trying to get PlayStation Plus again. I used to have it, and then now, oh. I, and I can't play on. I can't play against people online until I get it. So that pisses me off. To do that to you guys? Oh, they've been doing it for years. Yeah, you had. Yeah, you've had you for a PlayStation while. PlayStation Online was free as long as you play it. But like, uh... no, not you. Not to play people. Yeah, it's, that's why I'm glad I have Game Pass Ultimate, man. Twenty fucking six bucks a month for everything. Hell, twenty. To the, yeah. This is gonna be like eight bucks a month, but uh, I mean, I get the free download, free game downloads, and I'll get the. Uh, I get a you call lot it? for that twenty six though. Like, yeah. I really do. I get ex old Xbox games like fucking Psychonauts and uh, um, American McGee's Alice. I get that shit like nerd games my brother and um oh also ea play which basically means once stuff becomes free i get it which is like ufc 5 and all that kind of stuff like i can play ufc 5 right now for free mm. beautiful yeah Gorgeous. it probably will be free on um, playstation plus pretty soon i yeah, I, I got. I don't know what's going on. Like my card is is. I even tried to use a different card to see if it would work, and that also is valid, and it wouldn't work either. Bank, so I, something's going on. I gotta call him. Fuck your bank. I gotta Fuck call him. Bank. It's not the bank's fault. Yeah, it is. I blame your bank. I just told you I used a different card, and it no, still didn't fuck work. Fuck your bank. No, bank's fine. It's PlayStation Plus's fault. Um. Yeah. I guess what I started playing again, Tim. Crash Bandicoot. No, I wish I could, but that's that's PlayStation. I'm an Xbox dude, guy. I, I have class. Tim, dude, I've class. always hated like, Xbox, dude. Fuck Xbox. I'm like your uncouthy. Your 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 July July nineteenth PlayStation. With July nineteenth Metal Gear Solid. I don't play that shit. And, and 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 your 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 Final Fantasy. I don't play that shit either. Hey, you fucking. You fucking shut your mouth. Those are great fucking games. Really? Because you just said. Said... Right. I know that was. Well, no, I was then gonna shit or like shit on Xbox for not being able to fucking play those. And yeah, um, I'm jealous because I can't. The the next line was gonna be. And yeah, I'm jealous because I can't play those games. But <laughs> fucking Xbox, man. The NCAA college football game comes out July nineteenth. They announced today. Nice. Which makes me. Um, I need to get a PS5. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. How. I'm debating which. which Listen, my, my, my brother told my brother told me that if I win a certain gun at this raffle coming up in a couple weeks, that he will get me a PS5 in exchange for the gun. And to be fair, he would actually be making out by a lot for mm-hmm. that, um, because apparently it's like a thirteen hundred dollar gun. Hey, he gets you that shit. But but that. the thing is that you know that. The gun by itself has no real value to me, other than either though if my dad will give me more money for it than you know. Totally get that. Even um, though my brother will pull, well, you said I'm like, dude, we were fucking drunk and this fucking over drinking. We were it wasn't there was no handshake deal. But it's a PlayStation Five, and he's offering to buy you one, kid. Like, no, I, I need a PS Five and the game and a headset and probably an extra controller. All those things. That's like six, seven hundred dollars all together. So yeah. No. Yeah, that would be enough. That'd be enough. That's why I like Xbox or like well with the controllers, I do like a plug it or not the controller. Um headphones whenever I'm playing. Which Tim, I've started playing Rocket League again. I got a pee in a not bottle. Good. Hold on. Oh, dude, I'll be no. pee every five pee minutes for sure, diabetic. Pee in what? the sink. It's gross, dude. I gotta get rid like of all these man. trucker bombs before you get here. No, I don't uh, oh god, I just puked a little. Oh man, what is up, everybody? Sexiness on Bro Bro Plot it has returned. Mm. My sexiness. The mess. I've started drinking beer again just to see if I could do it. 
And, uh, yeah, it's okay. I'm not fucking mad at it. But, uh, we're gonna, uh, we talked about Dylan Bubka, um, uh, losing in the second round. He's been on the show. Go check out the interview. Um, we'll probably have him on. I'm gonna try and have him on soon. Um, at least within the next, like, four months. That'd be nice. What, coming out? What, Dylan Bubka back on the show? You could ask. Yeah. I'm thinking, like, give him, now. give him, like, a month or two. Give him, like, a month or two. Kind of start training again. Yeah, man. After, he learned his lesson, like man. He, he, you know he has an issue with cardio, apparently. You know, also his first UFC fight, it might have been an, an adrenaline dump, you know. And uh, what was what was the name of the guy? Fuck. Why can't I remember his name? No, I don't remember. Brazilian he was throwing dude. elbows like Andrew. He he's one of those he, guys. He's thirty six, but he has only has four fights. He's been kickboxing for. He had a win over Perea. They said Perea. Mm. In kickboxing, and clearly he knows how to defend takedowns. Yeah. So, um, he's pretty tough, dude. And and that that's why they let someone in the UFC at thirty six years old. <laughs> Because he has that kind of pedigree, they wouldn't usually. Um, yeah, and, and again, we I think honestly, he just you know, like he just gassed out. Yeah, he, he, gassed out. he looked like, good for a minute there. Yeah, he looked. Good. He did like the when he had him on the ground. Really, uh, when he had the grapevine around the leg, around the ankles to yeah. prevent him from getting out. Also, that's the only way to fight that guy. I mean, you should yeah. you should like not even try to entertain the fact that you can beat him on the feet. No. But even yeah. if he could hang, don't he, don't mess with it. Just fucking try to take him down. Keep trying. But that but that's a style that takes a lot of fucking energy. I mean, yeah. I learned that in my one fight. <laughs> uh, trying to take, get yeah, keep trying to shoot for take. I would, I'd be I'd tired. be dancing a little bit. Like just like kind of like parry. Ray, I sent you that even. video, by the way. Did you, did you get it? I sent you the I video. I did, yes. It's in my email. I just gotta download it and then I'll upload it. Um but uh it's there. It's it's where it needs to be, um, but uh, no, yeah, the a guy, I I would be that guy that's just like kind of putting his head back and fucking doing that shit and moving out of the way for at least a round to try and like figure out what I'm doing here, and then kind of work on it and see what I could well, do. Well, I'll tell you what, out of experience, I tell you this. <coughs> If I have to throw, I'll throw in the first round. No, that's why I would say assume you're going to gas out. Even if you think you have more cardio, you probably have less than you think you do. Mm-mm. I'm not even going to entertain the idea of any kind of energy expulsion in my mind. It's it will it will be it's going to happen. The the, the mo- well the moment I step in that cage, that's so be trying when... to win the entire time. Don't no, fuck I it. will be. Yeah. But, don't don't be like, oh, I'm gonna feel it out at first. Night. No, be like, I need to win as quickly as possible. Have that mindset. Yeah, that's what I would do. Obviously. But like your body's a fucking ticking clock, even if you think you're in good if shape. If homeboy comes it's out hard. fucking swinging early, I have to kind of like, whoa, big fella. Like <laughs> I think I have to kind of, you know, fucking Dude, they had a couple of super heavyweights. A storm. I'd, had, I'd rather not, you know. They had super heavyweights on that card. And I saw him, and one was about the same weight as me. And this makes me jealous because I have gonical masculia. I see guys that are also that fat who don't have man boobs. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is fucking bullshit. Uh, I had man boobs when I was 170 pounds. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I don't have that fucking thing. I've got, like, Connor chest. Like, I'm very, yeah. like... My brother shape. doesn't have it, but I do. My dad has it. My dad does have it. And and I, and I'm very barrel. I'm very barreled. Like I'm barrel chest. I'm like bar fight guy. Which in my back is shaped like this. <laughs> in the inside, like that's if oh, I'm standing sideways. Like an ant. If I'm se- if I'm sideways, it goes like this. I tell yeah. you, like if I'm sitting in a chair that's like a ninety degree chair, and I have my back and my 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 top of my back is touching the chair, my bottom of, of my back will not be touching the chair. <laughs> yeah, no, that's how my I tailbone am. and the, my top of the back, but the middle of my back, nothing. Yeah, it's just curved. My brother's Mine's the same extremely way. Extremely yeah. curved. Yeah, it goes in. It's I'll fucking... never forget. There was one time when I was at a jujitsu class, no gi, and we were doing something, and my all of a sudden you just kept hearing farts, like fart sounds, 
and it was the air underneath my back fucking being released because my like the arch in my back is so much that it was creating a fart noise on the fucking mat (laughs) the guy was like dude you got to stop farting i'm like i'm not farting i feel the pressure underneath my back it's I just have a weird back, man. I can't help it. Like a bow and arrow. But- yeah. Um, yeah. If my like my um arm span is is longer than my height. So I'm assuming that if my spine was sp- straight, I'd be about six, six one. Because <laughs> that's about what my arms my arm span is. So Yeah, I mean that'd be my I, I don't know how long my arms are, to be honest. They they go I, down I just know that it's longer almost than to my, my knees, height. so I know it's a couple inches longer than my height, so yeah. And so I'm with, assuming uh, it's it's yeah. I mean, knowing that my back was like that, I'm assuming that if it was straight, I'd be up a couple inches. You know, it is what it is. My dad's taller than me, not by a ton, it, not by like, Vegas, how your dad was, but uh, yeah, no, my not a lot of dads, um, fucking were my old man at all. Like <laughs> it was kind of fun to be the kid who had the tall dad in school because I. You used to have a joke. I wish I could do this more. It's crazy how like how like, he's so much taller than you. That doesn't happen. Happen a lot. No, but when it does, it's kind of a, a, a weird feeling because it, it's the always like over like you're always legitimately in a shadow of a human being who whose fucking arms were massive. Like I got his arms for sure. I got like long, lanky arms and all that shit. But like. I also maybe got his wrists, which suck. But uh, no, yeah, man, that's like that's the thing about having a tall dad is it, you always just feel small, like the entire time. So it, it's it, it's it's interesting. I remember one time my dad came into school for something. I think I fucking punched somebody or something like that, or like a teacher meeting or something. And I was hanging out with my little juggalo friends, obviously. Of course you were. <laughs> and my dad, like, the, my parents drive me to school and, like, drop me off in the fucking foyer of, of the middle school that I'm at. So I'm hanging out with my friends. And they see my dad walk in. And my dad just looks at me and just looks down at me. And I, I look at him. I give him a nod. And he walks right mm. in. And everybody just goes, is that your dad? And I'm like, yeah. And for the rest of the like day, it was like, did you see how fucking big Ray's dad was? <laughs> like, eh. <laughs> you get used to it at that point, yeah. but it is fun. It's it's. it's a, I, every time I got in trouble, I never lost. Why? Because everybody saw how big my dad was and never fucked with me. <laughs> uh, I never lost, bitch. Because nobody started. I had my giant. All right. It was, what was that movie, The Mighty? Was it The Mighty? What? Remember the movie, The Mighty, with like Kieran Culkin and fucking. Um, no. It, it, it's based off a book about some kid with like cerebral palsy, but the one kid like puts them on his shoulders all the time and they like night role play together and shit. No idea. Meatloaf plays his dad, uh, the the like nice. the bully fat kid's fucking dad. Yeah, nice. Right. Um, and, and um, Dwight Yoakam plays the like cerebral palsy kid's shit dad. Like, yeah, Dwight Yoakam is really good at playing a piece of shit. He is. Which is strange. It makes you wonder about Dwight Yoakam. Like he was in Crank. Remember when he was the doctor in Crank? Yeah. Fucking joy, yo! He's, he might just be a creepy guy. <laughs> might be. I mean, look at him, man. Like he he shot a video on a train. All right, it, it, there's something wrong with that boy. What a good name, Dwight Yoakam. That might be one of the best names of all time. It was hilarious. I watched that movie, and my first thing was like, "Ah, it's fucking Dwight Yoakam," because I had known him from like country. Cause... Right. He was big in the like early nineties, so it it was funny to see like Dwight Yoakam acting. I'm like, oh fucking, he's acting now. All right, fucking love Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, he's in he's in a handful of stuff. Well, oh, he was in um, 
L- Logan Lucky with the uh, Channing Tatum, the uh, the Soderbergh, the the heist movie. Where they robbed. No, I the, didn't see it. No, they robbed the NASCAR track. That's a good movie. Uh, Daniel Craig's in it. Adam Driver's in it. Oh, the true Tatum. story. No, it's not a true story. I thought it was based off a true story. Not that I know. Of. I thought that um, was like some kind of NASCAR caper. No, so. No. Um, wild hillbillies, but he uh, he played the a prison warden. Of course he does. Like yeah, like a, a southern like asshole it's prison warden. But oh man, oh Dwight Yoakam. I've been re rewatching uh, Sherlock. I love Sherlock, dude. Oh, okay. I've seen it a few times. It's good. Is that Watch the Cumberbatch it again. show? Yeah, yeah, Cumberbatch. It was on, came back on on streaming. It was on Hulu. So I'm like, dude, I'm rewatching nice. this shit. It's good. Um, I watched a movie called Scoop on Netflix. It's it's okay. Yeah. It's just it's just about the the news organization that got the Prince Andrew interview after uh, Epstein. Okay. That's basically the whole thing. That's basically what it's about. Them getting All it right. and then the interview. Oh, okay. It's not bad. It's okay. It's not a whole lot to it. It's just, you know, that. It's not bad. I, I really like, I really do like journalism stories. Like, I, I love journalism movies. Like, uh, uh, All the President's Men, The Post, uh, any of those. Uh, Spotlight, any of those, right? They're, they're, they're good. Mm-hmm. Um, this one was okay. It wasn't as good as those, but it, it was interesting. Um, Frost Nixon was, to me. Well, even though it's Frost based Nixon. On the play. Frost Nixon. Yeah, Dude, I forgot Frost that's Nixon. The yeah. greatest movie. This is kind of like a bad Frost Nixon. Not bad, oh. but it, it's it's a it's a weaker Frost 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 Nixon. Frost Nixon's the greatest one of the greatest movies I've ever seen in my life. That's and that story is so weird. I can't believe of all the people in the world to get that interview and to get the answer that he got out of fucking Nixon was. Like when he was just like, I beg your pardon. When when that happens, you're like, this is a real fucking. It'd be like Jimmy Fallon getting a real Trump interview. (laughs) You you can you can brush my hair again, Jimmy. I'm right here. Uh, But uh, yeah, man. Did you see the speaking of Trump? Did you see the uh, Trump ad where he like was the eclipse? No. Whoever made this just took like a silhouette and it was like full Trump. Like it was hair out to here. Like, you know, it was out, right? Mm-hmm. And it's just Trump's silhouette going in front of the sun. And it's like the only person who can save us. <laughs> and it's to the fucking. Um, Man, uh, I'm one, not uh, looking forward to 2001. As we get closer to the election, I'm dreading every part of it. Dude, I'm. Like Vegas, I just hope they keep protesters off the strip. That's all I want. I'm probably staying at the Rio for like thirty two dollars a night. That might probably upgrade to like fifty six, but man, I really yeah. wish I could go. It fucking sucks. I can't go. Start why, saving. It's September. Why couldn't dude? I had four years of having money to do shit and no one asked me to do anything. Dude, well, if I, I would have known who you were for a little bit of it. What? You kind of disappeared. I did. You yeah, knew I, where I, I was. You, everybody knows where I am. I'm in my mom's basement in New Philly. Everyone knows this. I assumed you got a job and shit. Like I, you know. But you know better. <laughs> but uh, oh. although I am waiting. Um. But uh, yeah, man. Like I don't know. You just disappeared, and I was like, "Oh, Danko disappeared." Okay. No, nah, man. There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull out. Uh, uh, now nah, pull out two grand, even though I saved to be really hard. So. Um. I don't have much I'm to say. Even in September, <laughs> like I'm fucking going for. I'm going. I'm gonna go do uh, the the um, Rick's Rolling again. Always do that place, no matter what. I don't care how, if I if this podcast. I wouldn't waste time off, doing comedy if I'm in Vegas. Huh? I'm not gonna waste time doing comedy in Vegas. Um, I want to. Get gigs out in Vegas, like paid gigs. Boo! I want to, I want to make a week. Ju- I want to make money in Vegas. I don't want to spend that much in Vegas. Dude, I, dude, listen, I, I would do that show again too because that was 
number one, my cheapest meal in Vegas. Yeah. And what what was it? Yeah, did that Bloody Mary with the stick of barbecue on it was eight dollars. Yeah. That, that, that's cheap for like here, that's, that'd be cheap. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. Like they had good that's the like, one was, thing. I couldn't I, I was scared people. of how cheap it was. I'm like, why isn't this cheap? Guys, anybody listening to this show, no matter where you're at, if you ever plan on going to Las Vegas, Nevada, there's one place I implore every person. They don't pay us. I wish they did, but we've done a comedy show at us. this place before. Kind of. We got five bucks. Um, and, and it was um, Rick's Rolling Smoke Barbecue um, next to the pawn shop from Pawn Stars. And if you uh, go watch the show on History Channel, it's out there. But like, it has some of the best food in Vegas. Like for the price that it's there, I I don't, I don't know about that. But it, it, but for the price, it's it's solid. Like if you're on the strip for a couple days, it's a breath, it's a breath of, it's a breath of fresh air. If you've been on the strip for a minute, yeah, yeah, it's Um, and again because it's very, it's very reasonable. Like I said, they had the thing I got was I don't remember everything, but no, it was. It was a Bloody Mary, and then it had a stick with Bart with a with a rib, some yeah. brisket, and was, I forget I forget what else was on it. But I'm like, this is probably like a twenty dollar drink, and I'm like, that's fine, that's that's fair for what I'm getting. It was eight bucks. I mean, listen, if you if you're getting that for a meal, you have to get probably at least two of them. I got something else too, but like I, I like, yeah, but still the price. I mean, I'm like, dude, I'm like, why alone. is this? I'm like, dude, if that was eight bucks here, I'd be like, that's the best deal in town. <laughs> I think the most money I ever spent there was like fifty six bucks. I didn't spend that much. Between I remember even the people. bartender like got her drink because of something that happened. She bought us at least one, I think. Yeah, or yeah, maybe two. And, yeah. And uh, fuck, I wish I remember her name. She was fucking awesome. Yeah, she um, was awesome. But uh, no, yeah, that's why I go to that place. Man. No, it was it, it was definitely fun. Food. It was definitely fun. Yeah, it's got good food, good atmosphere, and it's cheap. Like for Vegas, it's cheap. It really it, is. Like, like I said, that if, if any place around here had a Bloody Mary with barbecue and like that for eight dollars, I get it all the time. Like that's a fucking great deal. Fuck yeah! In Rick Vegas, Harrison, it's an insane deal. Rick Harrison knows how to fucking price his shit out. Um, but that's the best part about that. Place. I've told people like I couldn't believe how cheap that. Was. I mean, yeah. I know it wasn't the strip, and yeah, and it just made up for everything else being overpriced. But like, and I get it. But um, dude, it was it, it was I, <laughs> it was cost, that was cool. Think- um, but yeah, if that place, if there was a show like that, let's say that exact show in Cleveland, I want to do it all the time. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I miss shows like that's that's. Uh, the, that's what I try to make Buzzman be. Just one of those shows that was just fucking fun. You want to do it because it's fun. And fuck, man. I've been going to that place since 2015. Like, I that I think I was on, like, maybe the third or fourth show that he ever did there. Like, I just randomly was able to get on his fucking show. He was nice about it. And I love Steve. Steve is a fucking great fucking guy. He's personable. And if he likes he'll book you and that's what i like i like guys like that who just don't give a fuck just be funny and i it, was not that night when the birthday cake came out like i said it's a fucking <laughs> it was it, it was cool to see a, a room number one that's that small fucking tiny yeah but obviously the bartender and everybody there because they've been doing the show for so long the new yeah. hey at 807 literally where you know what it was yeah like we're doing comedy mm-hmm. if you don't want any part of it go downstairs get out Get out, and it's hard. It's I'm sure it wasn't like that yep. at the beginning because it's fucking really hard to get get that right. But no, it, that's that's the great thing about doing a room every single week is people like figure it out. And if you don't yeah. listen, like this this day yeah. this time is comedy show. If you don't want to be part of the comedy show, if you don't want to watch comedy, go somewhere else or wait till it's over. And that's I mean, also it, it, it's it's hard to get that it's hard to get that at bars too it is it is but obviously they did that and that's what's fun about it so it's hard but yeah and that's the beauty of Steve Maganelli shout out to Steve I know I'm probably saying his name wrong so I love you buddy um I, I think it's Maganelli if I if I seeing the pronunciation or the spelling right now but um he built that room from absolutely nothing to actually getting crowds 
Like when when I went out in in 2021, um, for that week, the the mezzanine of that fucking shopping center you went to the bathroom in. Mm-hmm. Fucking, the bathroom. Uh, what? Because I go to the bathroom again here in a minute. Um, go, I'm uh, diabetic uh, as fuck. No, I, I didn't eat today. That's the problem. Yeah. No, fin- finish your statement. Yeah, um, finish your you statement. Gotta eat Look. before you drink. You. Fuck. I've been. But like sleeping all day. God damn it, Tim. Uh, it's the best. But uh, the mezzanine area where you went out to the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Fucking that place was full, full in 2021. Mm-hmm. He had an amazing setup for that place during the pandemic as well, and I was happy to be a part of that as well. Cause that was like, what the fuck, man? Like this is, I came from literally people in the back of the room uh, singing happy birthday to somebody else to to actually doing a fun show. And I love Steve for it. So go to the bathroom. I'm going to get a little bit more drink too. All right. Go eat. Bad idea. I just like, but who gives a fuck? No one cares. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to do what it says down below there. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Robo Plata is our names. And if you like MMA, we sometimes talk about it. Uh, we have talked about uh, one of the fights tonight, Dylan Budka, because uh, we all didn't watch a lot of the fights. I was too busy with WrestleMania weekend because that's my Super Bowl, my holiday. It's my Christmas WrestleMania day. You will never find me anywhere else but at home watching WrestleMania all day, every day during WrestleMania time. Um, but we, I, uh, Chris Curtis, I did see the main event. We'll talk about that in a hot minute. And then uh, we'll also talk about um, uh, Court McGee versus Alex Morono. That was fire. That was fire. Um, but, uh, we are Brobra Plata. Thank you guys. Make sure to share in the discords you're a part of. Just be like, Hey, these dipshits are fucking talking and we'll try to entertain them, but just share us out. Please go go to your discords. Anybody watching? Uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys rule, uh, this coming weekend, get ready. Uh, we're actually reaching a milestone for the people that have been with us. I want you guys to know this. It's because of you fucking lunatics, you you people that we do love, we do appreciate, we do um, uh, humbly accept your likes, and the people that do like us a lot, you've given us a lot of uh, motivation. Uh, this coming Saturday, if you haven't seen the number, UFC 300 falls on Bro Bro Plata 300. Uh, we are going to be doing a live stream of UFC 300 from the beginning to the end, 6 o'clock. We will be starting uh, six hours of professional mixed martial arts commentary and bullshit uh, with maybe a dry erase board. We're, we're going to try and do a dry erase board. Uh, for everybody, but uh, Bro Bro Plata is going to be doing live stream commentary during uh, UFC 300 because it is our 300th episode. Um, thank you to the MMA holes um, for you know, finding us, giving us an, a piece of their audience. Uh, we're we're, we're, we're going to hopefully repay you guys with uh, a lot of talk about UFC 300 coming up Thursday, too. We're going to break down the card. Uh, We do uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, um, and some Saturdays. Took last Saturday off. But um, Burbro Plata is every single week, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for your MMA talk. Share us out. If if uh, If you're finding us now through live streams uh, that we do share us out tell people we exist tell them to subscribe to us because uh, we're starting to do a lot more content we're getting new equipment as of tomorrow that's going to allow us to do a lot more stuff um, and do wait where are you getting this uh guitar center okay okay so the the price matches online so i'm kind of like all right i'll do this 
It's just I'm gonna probably get us like unboxed used mics and oh, fucking cheap cords. Like I'm not buying us like high end microphones what? and shit. Listen, here's the thing. All is my experience with buying cheapest shit. Don't buy the cheapest. Buy the second cheapest. You know what I mean. I'm gonna be buying like I know, but but that's always the way to go. Don't go bottom barrel. Go second yeah i'm looking at yeah. like some i have to look at microphones and be like well listen what's your like cheapest e you know directional mic e, e is it ev or is it eq e and sure those are the two companies okay if you, you find sure if you find a you sure get it because sure is used for last forever they do have a golden mic. I kind of want to see how much it is. Uh, but it's like twenty dollars. You can't go I wrong can with Shures. Shures can go through hell and still be good. So um, the the, the unit I've used itself, Shures that are like dented and like so yeah S U R E sure if you get the unit itself is gonna be about five hundred dollars with tax. So, and luckily my checks around where I'm comfortable EV, like, enough to make that purchase where i'm like all right let's go fucking buy this i got some time it's time to grab this thing and then be like, know how to run it it's a plug it's basically plug and play okay yeah it's like it's got lights it's got channels so you can like mute the microphone yeah, yeah. Yeah, or sure. you know do that kind of stuff yeah i used uh, to know how to run a board a little bit but it's been a long uh, time uh, uh what tenure. do you call them gains Mm -hmm. Ride the gain a little bit, you know, do all that kind of stuff. I mean, we're gonna have to do a fucking test. Yeah, we're gonna do a full test. Um, I'm do well, I'm gonna definitely do a full test uh tomorrow. Um, just to kind of like see what it's like. I'm gonna hook it up to the Chromebook because mm -hmm. that's the higher quality fucking computer I have. So I'm probably we're probably gonna use that. Well, we um, can use this laptop. This is pretty new. Okay. Well, again, I'll I'll just do it. But we're doing. Um, I'm gonna. We're definitely gonna do some sound tests. Um, and we might just kind of ride the gain all night. See where see where like our lines are. Mark out maybe something, and then you know just go from there. But um, yeah, the whole point is basically to kind of give us a little bit more freedom to do stuff. Like go over to a whiteboard and be like, okay, so Ray picked this, Tim picked this. Have like kind of a competition a little bit too see who can pick the better show um, um uh, what you know, who gets more right kind of thing i think would be kind of fun to do for us for for live streams like that so you're telling me to think of something bits yeah i'll think of something all right um yeah. well wait what about these you're gonna get a camera mm, mm -mm. what we're gonna do is use the phone okay but still keep because you can do a thing, you know, you can do a thing where you take the microphone off. It, it, it will we'll run through all the stuff that we can do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what we're gonna, I'm going to bring at least this for controls and everything. But uh, yeah, I want to I want to actually do some some like stuff, give a little bit more production than just us sitting in front of fucking a TV screen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we're we're going to be able to fucking do this, you know, hand off or do right. like mics and stuff like that. I think we should do a little bit more with it. But we're still going to be using like just the the computer. Yeah, we're camera. still going to use what we have. Okay. Camera um, wise. But we're going to use like a phone, get in front of that, mute the audio on that, but keep, you know, be able to like switch to that camera. Do a little bit more. Is that going to work? Po well, again, that's where the tests are. In, in theory. You know what, what would be fun to do, and I don't know and if I I'll do work it. Saturday, so I'm gonna be. Fun. Oh, what time you work? Energy. What time you done Saturday? Probably like three. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I'm gonna I'm gonna run some stuff down. I want now. I was gonna. It's it's busy season, kid. Yeah, my I get fucking it. shit's coming. My, my big checks are coming in. My, I have an idea, but I don't know if he'll do it. It'd be fun to do. Who that? Who that? In person. It would. With my brother, but I don't know if he'll come over and do it. I'll, I'll ask. I'll ask him. Yeah, just but ask him. It, it also would be cool if we just, just just print out pictures. Yes. 
That's what I was thinking. Fucking friend. <laughs> Who that? Just have him look at it. Like, hmm. Meanwhile, the fucking thing is on the screen, but he can't look at the, like the screen, but he just has to look at your fucking thing. Just um, so everybody can see it. But uh, no, yeah, get- I, I want to do... Now that we're going to have this board and roads are pretty easy to work with, um, because like I said, they're just plug and play. Um, so are they easy to work with in Streamyard? Yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, I'm sure uh, it has. So we hooked up to the laptop that has that, and we can bring that, you know, make that the gotcha. audio and all that stuff. Gotcha. Uh, by the way, Streamyard, I got to tell you something, bro. You got you got to up your fucking interface game right now. I don't like what they did. I what don't do? like what they did at all, Tim. What did they do? So, like, you'll have, like, shows that are, like, previewed to go or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then it's up top is your, like, live stream, local record, and whatever. I just don't like the layout of the whole thing. Like, it just it bothers me. It, it, when I was making the live stream today, I was like, what the fuck is this? You don't like change. I understand. I don't like website change. That isn't yeah. good. Man, I look good in this hat. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm a, I, I used to be a, a curb bill guy, but I feel like I'm a flat bill flat guy bill. now. Yeah, I think I am now. Is the way to go. Like, especially like if hold on, I'll show you how I'd wear it without the headphones. Hold on, hold on. Uh, oh my! Nah, that's a little too much. Just a little, yeah, a little, a little yeah, off right kilter. Not good. too much. A little bit. Right yeah. there is good. A little bit. That that's stepdad at the softball game right there. That's definitely stepdad at the softball game. Yeah, right yeah, right yeah. Now, at first, I had a little too much. Just a little. Let's think maybe 10, 10 degrees off, maybe. No, I'll center a little bit. Well, I started wearing flat bill because my umpire asked for flat bill, and I started wearing those. And I'm like, I like the flat bill. And I actually was wearing my umpire hat like out. <laughs> like, it's my yeah, black one. I'm like, it's not that bad. Yeah, I used to be a flat bill guy, but with my hair, it's different with my hair. You know, it's all different. So, um, but yeah, I told Alan not to buy those hats. Uh, yeah, don't now buy it. Now he's giving like me crap. Green. I don't kidding. like the green around it. It it the green is what bothers me the most about that. Like just get the basic bitch fucking ha- hats, bro. They don't have them in snapback. That's the thing. Really? They don't. They don't have the home or away hats in snapback. Fucking I up know. Indians. Guardians. I don't respect them if they don't have good snapbacks. Fuck them. Indians. Oh. Um but uh no, yeah, man. I really, I, I need a pirate's hat, and I need to go to PNC to buy it. I Why? Need to go to the pro shop. Because I feel like I'm uh, cheating myself by not supporting the pay. It, like, it goes all the way down. Like if I Dude, buy I it pi- somewhere else, I, I'm hurting the people in Pittsburgh. I don't like, know I where my that. treasures trove of random shit that I've had from my youth is in this house. I don't know where it is. I don't know. I like because I definitely that. have a pirate hat that was signed by some old pirate, and I don't know who it is. So I feel like we need to do a fucking rope or plot a Sherlock Holmes style mystery, no, find out who signed the hat. Well, no, what? it's Antiques Roadshow, where I put white gloves on as a pirates expert and be like, "This is Kent to Colby. He he caught the." Final out in the World Series of 1979. Dude, if I find it, I'll send it to you. We, uh, we get, dude, listen. Uh, um, my brother's friend had a, a bag of old baseballs, and one of them had a signature on it from when we, he was at an Indians game when he was a kid. And we figured it out. I think it was Bill Shelby was this guy's name. Like, we figured it out who it was. Like I, I'm like yeah. trying to figure out like what year ish, and I figured it out, and I started looking at guys and what it might be, and looking at the, and I saw. Maybe that's a B, and I looked at guys whose names start with a B, and I found Bill Shelby and his autograph, and we figured out that's who it was. Nice. Um, yeah, so we can do this. However, the only, this is harder because we don't even have an era. Yeah. This man was gray in like 2000 or 99, so I think he might be 70s. He may have been on the World Series team. Tall guy? Cannot. White guy. It's all I can remember. 
wasn't like lanky or anything like that. Uh, he was sitting down. I don't, and I was like I said, I was twelve. I don't remember. Could have been Kent Colby. We, he was always signing shit. We, I will look for the hat. I will find it. It has to be here somewhere. I don't know where all that shit is though. Like it, can't, it has to be in this basement. I think. I mean, where are all my hats? I had a bunch of hats. I don't know, Tim. I don't know, but I want you to find said hats so we can go through them. <sighs> on camera, to be honest with you. Not me, really that camera. good. Well, like I said, I wanted to do a thing where I go through my old shit, and I did one time, but I I, I think I thought I had more. I thought I had an old tub of shit I had in my room forever, but I don't remember. Where, I don't know where it is. I don't know. It's very disappointing. Uh, I see your, your, your disappointment. I am disappointed. I think maybe this, hold on, this this side table over here. Oh, it opens up. What's in that? Wanna know. I don't know. Jess we'll Moss, how you doing? Oh, I've been full screen for a while. That's like your one trivia. Although I'm really glad I came back to at least make it just a one point game. Like I, I, that was a two point game. I was up by three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But still, two points. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, man. Hi, Jess. How are you? How are the kids? How's everybody? Oh, everything's all, all right. We're just, we're stalking about our, uh, our big, our big show on Saturday. I know you guys are having a big show as well on Saturday, but I, yes, you guys are. But we're, it's a big, uh, it's a big deal for Bro Bro Plata because not only is it UFC 300, it is coincidentally the 300th episode of Bro Bro Plata. I don't know how it happened. I know we did. <laughs> I know we didn't do it on purpose. Well, and I mean, at, towards the end, we did it on purpose, but like, um, but I mean, I think I didn't realize it till we were about at like 285. Kids are asleep. All is Hello, well. Uh, hope you both are doing well. Yeah, we're doing good. We're overall, doing good. overall, pretty solid. Overall, um, just have a question for you. Um, is this hat racist? Hold on, hold on. Can, you see, can you see it? <laughs> I can't really make out the logo. Take it off and like. This is this is this is this is the Hall of Fame Negro League Hall of Fame. I think um, you're fine. I really like anybody has a problem. You just call Pulse and be like Pulse. Does this hat is this hat okay? Yeah, Tim can wear that. Yeah, I'm about I'm about to trade him this hat. I'm about to trade him this hat for a. Uh... Oh come on! Why is it not okay? Negro leagues are historic. Yeah, out of yeah, here. it's a historical thing, man. I'm on Tim's side here, dude. <laughs> well, like I said about it's the, a about hall the spirit, of fame about the spiritual I, ha- I had to sing in high school. Yes, it's history, but so is the movie Roots. <laughs> There's a reason why someone who looks like me doesn't didn't play uh, Kunta Kinte. <sighs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh man, the um, what was I gonna say? What um, ooh, I know you don't really care care that much, but it is Probably a good don't. documentary on Peacock. Um, Being Immortal. I watched that this weekend. Is that the Bray uh, Wyatt one? Yes. Really good. Alan was telling me he's waiting for um, Iron Claw to come out on streaming because he wants to see I it. I am too. I'm like, yeah, it's it's good. I recommend Iron Claw. And uh, Jess, we love you and everything you guys have done for us. But you're wrong. This hat is awesome and perfect and completely fine. Totally agree. Dude, every, everyone who played, who's alive and played in that league will tell you it's completely fine. Well, most of them, I'm assuming, tell you it's fine. The people who run the museum absolutely will tell you it's fine. Yeah, He's trying to sell yeah, merch. The, but the guy <laughs> came out, didn't he? Fucking, yeah, he did. The, he did. The, he did like, if, we, if you have a problem, that's on you. Like Paraphrasing, but yes. Yeah, I mean, you can't really fucking have that moment of just like what the f- like being against that because it's a Hall of Fame. Some guy got uh, fi- fired for for mispronouncing. What I Hall see is this, this this these were um, repressed Americans, and not being sarcastic when I say this, it sounds like I am, but I'm not. That were um, yeah, repressed. Amer- they were told, "Hey, you can't you can't play with us," which is bullshit, of course. And, and what they said was, "Fuck you." We'll do it ourselves. And somehow times have bigger crowds yeah. and possibly maybe even better teams. Who knows? 
then uh, and they made money with their own league. They're like, fuck you. We're not we're not going to not. Definitely better players. I mean, they had some of they, they had great players. players. They had a lot of players history. in that league that that could have could have played in that league, um, obviously. But basically, they said, you, you won't let us in. Fuck you. We'll do our own thing. And they did it. And that like, that's something that should be remembered. It shouldn't be, you know. I no. Know. Uh, Jess, I'll be out. The, I, I'm going to try and go to an Apex fight when I'm out in Vegas uh, Memorial Day week. So I'll be out You're there. You're right uh, Fourth through the. Well, that, I'm, again, that's, I'm going to start saving some, like, coin coin because my bigger paychecks are coming up now. So I'll be able to, like, make money big time. Yeah. Uh, but. I mean, maybe uh, I could figure out how to get out there, but I'd be pinching way too hard. Like it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, I, I, I would be. I I'd be stressing it. the whole time. Right now, a Saturday is the beginning of my like busy shit at work, so I can't do it. But like, yeah, I. I hey, we are traveling. Go. Ray's traveling an hour and a half to come down here with me. I am. I am with a brand new soundboard that we're gonna yeah, try anyway. and just do multi cameras for for. Uh, for you guys, so hopefully sorry, it's our three hundred show. We'll we'll be um, so here uh, wearing Spartan episode. outfits. What three hundredth episode, man? Like that's wild. Thanks you to the MMA holes, man. Seriously. Yeah, we probably would have yeah. given up if it wasn't for you. Yeah, if it wasn't for you guys actually finding us. That's... And yeah, our numbers aren't great, but they're better than they were. So, yes. <laughs> like, and you know what's our fault? Like guy, like today. He's like I, wondering why we weren't talking about fighting when he came on. I'm like, dude, that's you obviously don't know our show, bro. I'm like, we'll get to it, man. But, you know, we have other shit to talk about, like the eclipse and uh, women's college basketball. SNL had a great um, cold open, uh, making fun of the fact that, like, no one gave a shit about the men's tournament. <laughs> I could see it. I just, I, I, dude, this was on the first. I didn't watch it. It was, it was yesterday. I didn't watch it. I never. UConn repeated. Good for them. Who repeated? UConn. They won again. Good for them. Um, last year it was a surprise. This year it wasn't. But they beat Zach Eady and Purdue. Zach Eady is a fucking monster of a human being. Uh, (laughs) I don't know. Y'all don't have kids. You're in prime position to travel. Oh. Like, listen, you're right, but um, you also have crippling addictions like alcohol. So that's it. I don't have I don't have enough money to travel. And you know what? The funny thing is, for a minute there, when I got my back pay, I had money to travel, and I didn't have anybody to do it with, so I didn't go anywhere. The only mm-hmm. place I went and so I went where did I? Go? I don't know. Like, I mean, I went to Baltimore last year. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but that was on the way back from visiting my family in Northeast Pennsylvania, and I kind of just went on the way. But yeah, listen, I can get up every day and do whatever the fuck I want. It's pretty mm-hmm. great, but I just don't have the money to do it. So there's not a whole lot I can do. Even even when, even when I had a little bit more money, there wasn't a whole lot I could do either. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, thing- I could have been like, "Fuck it, I'm going to wherever today," and could have, but I never took advantage of that. Is that what I fucking traveled around the world by myself? It's kind of boring. Although I would really? go to Vegas by myself. I don't blame you, Ray. I would go back there. I, I want to just, I'm going to hang out. I'm going to do whatever I want and kind of, and just, but just do comedy as well. Like I'm going to hit up every open mic. I'm going to, I'm going to be social just so I, I can kind of ingratiate myself with the Las Vegas culture so I can get bookings when I'm out there once a year. That's all Tyler, I'm doing. Like, Tyler it's a Ross got a hold of me again today asking if we could get a show like the week of his funny stop week like we did last year but mm-hmm. i can't get a hold of the guys at five barrel and, and also that week that day i'm not going to be home so uh, i'm going to be yeah. in cleveland so i'm sorry buddy oh it's fine uh you want to talk about this chris curtis brandon allen fight real quick i mean if you want to I was very impressed with Brandon Allen. Like I, he he was getting some uh, Chris Curtis, great defense, strange like, strategy. Was, yeah, dude, it was great strategy to win that fight. And he no, was, I mean on Curtis's part, it was it was strange. Like I feel like he should have could have won. Oh, that. strange. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, uh, um. Allen uh, was gassing out towards the end, but he was utilizing the takedown a lot, which was good. The only problem was, again, he was starting to gas out in like round four and five. 
So, and also, I know it was an April Fool's joke, but I think we need new fucking shit because, like, although what? they Wait, they what did are you talking overturn about? the the eye poke that Alan did to Curtis. Like, what was the April Fool's joke? What are you talking about? That's the UFC was gonna have a new equipment like announcement at three hundred. Like I, I uh, saw some about it, and it just I'm like, ah, oh, it's an April Fool's joke. There's no fucking way. Dude, what's just go? What's just go like four ounce boxing gloves, and they have to like fuck like this, hug with the yes. wrist. Yes. I mean, yeah. nah. Those knuckles. Maybe. Well, Trevor Whitman has those gloves. Yeah. And but the USC, they wanted to buy the patent but he wouldn't sell them to just the usc they they only wanted to do it if they had they could be exclusive but he wanted it to be you know wanted all mma to switch to those gloves and it didn't work out mm-hmm. and I, I get i don't think it was a money thing i think it was just he wants the best gloves to be available to everyone which makes sense right but the usc's yeah. like nope just us only us which as a company of course they want to do that that makes sense yeah. i mean i probably want to do the same thing i mean I, it'd be cool if they didn't so everyone could have them but I understand the position. Yeah, it's. I, I hate. I just. I pokes. Luckily, though, the one. I think it was. Can somebody um, check on Paul's? Do you have his number? Can we call him? Make sure he's not dead. I don't have his number, but yeah, uh, you can text him. Uh, hit him up on Facebook. They're like, are you okay? Just so we know. Um, but uh, no, yeah, the uh, all uh, uh, Brandon Allen, absolutely. One that and I, I I I I like the. Uh, how about also fucking what's um Chris Curtis fucking his uh his hamstring up, too after the fight like he had to stand and everything like with his corner guy or on the shoulder of his corner guy like arm up because I guess he fucked something up in his leg so he's probably gonna be done for a little while as well. We're on all one right. Hmm. Morano, Morano, Alex Morano. Yeah, dude, that was the other fight that I watched. I made that appointment television for myself before the fucking before the podcast today. And Alex Morano, hot damn, hot I damn. Gotta, fi- gotta figure out how to get a hold of him. Yes, I want him for the podcast. I think he'll do it, but I. I... <laughs> Again, ask your uncle, bro. Well, I, you know, I, I could, but I don't want to bother. Use with the that. privilege. Use the privilege. I don't want to bother with that. If I have a certain UFC Hall, Hall of Famers fucking number in my fucking phone, and I, I, I have one of mine too. I know. Thanks to me, but like, get, use the privilege. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do I? Just be like, hey, unk, fucking, can you throw my IG at? Fucking Alex Morono and tell him to like text me. I'm trying not to bother him because I I have something else going on with my uncle and I don't want to piss him off too much. I don't think it pisses him off, but I it won't piss him off. Just be like, hey, can you text Alex to get on our show, port please? Like, here's when we want him, like nine o'clock on a fucking Thursday. Should just give me his number, man. His time, like. It could be 10 here. He could show up at like 9 o'clock his time, and I wouldn't give a fuck. Well, I mean, probably. He, he's probably training, so it would be late. Yeah. That's fine. Or we did for him, we could we, you'd fucking record it or whatever. It's fine. Yeah. I don't care. So, yeah. That's, but, yeah, anyway, that's, I mean, no, no. If, they, if, if there's anyone that would do it, you figure it would probably be him, dude. My, my uncle was one of the sponsors when he was starting out. So, in yeah. theory, you know. I would love that. That'd be fucking badass, man. Yeah, I lo- Alex is great. Uh, I-, I love watching him fight because he looks like the least imposing guy in that whole company. <laughs> yeah, he definitely. He looks like the. Um, he looks like Billy from the game Bully came to life, became an MMA fighter, and was really good at it. Uh, the the hooks he was throwing were really on point. And he he was just able to like kind of keep court at at bay. He's definitely one of those guys that doesn't look scary because he has a little bit of. Yeah. I mean, obviously, obviously he probably eats right and trains great, but he still has a little like a little love handle. Those Jason Dent love handles. 
Hey, those weren't Jason Dent's fault. He was fighting like two classes above where I, he should have been fighting. I, I get you, but it is funny because I love Jason. Yeah, but it's true though. I mean, but but the thing is, it's because he was probably should have been at least a featherweight. Yeah. But at the time there was no featherweight division, uh, so it wasn't his fault. Anyway, but yeah, Morono has a little flab. You're like, how's it even possible? But you know, people's bodies are different. Yeah. Me. You know, obviously weightlifting probably isn't a big part of his game, which why it doesn't have to be. So and he's a good fighter, dude. He, he's always yeah. been very solid. He's still very solid and good winning against Court McGee. And he's been the UOC for, I don't know, seven, eight years now. I don't know. Long time. Yeah. And he's, I mean, he, and he's good. But yeah, he, he'd be great. He'd be great to have on. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I did message him on Instagram once, but he never got back to me. So obviously that's not the way to get a hold of him. So because um, I think if he read it, he would have gotten back to me. But yeah. Um. It was, well, that's what I'm saying. Have your uncle like just be like, "Hey, man, check your IG. Check your IG, son." My, my, my well, maybe we should go through his show. fucking his management. I don't know hey, who it is. Well, okay, find out his management. How do you find yeah. that? I don't fucking know. I have fucking your uncle text Alex for a fucking representative email. It might be on his IG. I don't look. Yeah, check his see if he has a link tree or a website. There, there's always that shit, dude. I check the fuck out of those. Let's just drive down to the to, to Woodlands, Texas, and fucking knock on his door. I mean, I have time off in September. Let's go. <laughs> I have I have a week off, and I took a legit week off in September. Like I was like from goddamn. September 2nd to September 8th. Don't that was lie. fucking wishful thinking on your part. No, they gave it to me. No, 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 no. I mean, the reason you took it off in the first place. I told him, uh, I said I was going to Vegas. Did you take it off before then? Months ago, yeah. Yeah, for a different reason. Yeah, but again, Vegas. Yeah, but let's shut up. Uh, no, I, I, I just, I'm just trying to say that Tim was right. But honestly, statistically, that yeah, never yeah. works. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. I was only going by statistics. Oh no, trust me, I've had one before, and for yeah, some reason dude, fell when right. You said that, that I'm like, there's no way that as well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, sorry, we're talking about race, personal life. But no, yeah, I'm taking a week off now. I'm from work, so it'll be fun. Good. Go to Pittsburgh maybe on Tuesday. Wait, when is the when is the Guardians Pittsburgh st- series? Uh, August. It's actually oh, it's August? the week of my vacation. It's the week uh, before. It's August thirtieth, thirty first, okay. and first, okay. or September first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's Labor Day weekend. Well, so. listen, the, the guards will be in, 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 right uh, <laughs> in the mix that they signed Trevor Bauer. Signed Trevor Bauer. Oh, did they win? Hold on, let me take a look. I didn't. Pirates lost today. I they did not Five, fuck three. eight and three. You take it. Mm, yeah, we're nine and three. I'm I'm baffled by our fucking standing right now. Nine and three. Set we're a half game or we're a game and a half or a game above five above the Brewers. The injuries killed us last year, and it's already happening. You know, we already got our our. Um, set up guys out for the year, our best starters out for the year. I'm sorry, I know it fucking sucks. Another one of our relievers is out right now, but I think he's coming back soon. I, I you know, I, I don't know, it's a bummer because I, I will just well, the thing is, listen, I, I was okay with last year, right? Last year we had a lot of injuries, but we were still in technically in the hunt in September, so that's you know, I, I that's what I want, at least if we're in the hunt in September, that's good, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. I want us to be winning record and actually be in the hunt to go to the playoffs. I don't. Right, right. I just want a winning record. That's I don't want to be done and done in end of July. But the All Star break, we're done. I fucking suck, you know. But did you watch any of the basketball? Hello. Can't hear you. (sighs) 
Whose fault is it? About now. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Um. No, yeah, I, I, basketball is not my game. I don't watch. I got Alan on basketball finally. It's crazy. Like he's he's all into women's basketball now. <laughs> well, it's because he watched. I mean, I said the same thing. You know, like uh, last week about the UFC and the women. You know, Ronda Rousey really helped propel you know the women's MMA game to what it is today. It would have gotten here eventually, but it got there quicker because of the ex- existence of Ronda yeah. Rousey. Um. But it's the same thing with basketball, and ba- basketball's been waiting a long time. But they needed something; they needed somebody. And also, they—I mean, the, that was absolutely the best possible matchup they could have had. Sunday is the best team versus the best player. Yeah. And the best team won. Um, it was a good game. I think it was—it was tied at halftime. Uh, no, no, I take it back. No, South Carolina was actually up a couple at halftime, but mm. three. But it's a great game, um, for the most part. Uh, South Carolina does have a better team overall. The, the the final four game, the semifinal, you really saw how, even though K- Caitlin Clark is the star, you saw how good the rest of the team was because okay. she kind of got shut down, but the rest of the team really carried that game and um, beat UConn. It was a great game. Uh, I was watching that at Allen's, and we were very drunk by the end. <laughs> Allen, dude, luckily I speak pretty good slur drunk. Like, I'm pretty good at that. So I can understand what Alan was saying. If it comes from my brother, because my brother's a mumbler, he's a mumbler sober. So when he's drunk, he's like, I'm <laughs> but I... what? I didn't hear it. What? It twist cut out. Twist, twist stick. Okay. Twist the stick. What is twist that? The stick. What? It's another example of why Ray is sexist. I'm talking about women's sports, and he's like, "Fuck it." He just he's just playing sounds over my um, legitimate commentary on women's sports. Just a bit outside, he tried the corner and missed. Dude, are you gonna have the sound effects on Saturday? I hope not. Let's see, we have to wait 15 minutes. You're goddamn right. Nah, pass. <laughs> oh, it'll be there. It'll be there, Tim. Can can you program them into the board? Maybe. I have to kind of like feel it out. Like this this dry run we're gonna do is basically just plugging it into a USB that's connected to StreamYard, so we can have the board. Um, Gee, why do I think it's just we're just gonna say fuck it and end up doing one mic again? And and the the entire audience will just be like, this. "Stop it! Get some help." What is that from? What happened? Some uh, some addiction commercial or something? Where where Jordan? Is gonna... Stop it! Hmm. Get some help. Hmm, that is Michael Jordan. Yes, it is. Um, and, then, and then this is this is Tim. Every time I use a sound effect, you blew it. I, I saw an interview with Sandler. He's uh, they are working on Happy Two. I know. I'm excited. You know, John, listen, John Daly is not in it. I'm going to be pissed because they're going to have to be. It's going to have to be a senior tour thing, right? Because they're both too old. So it's like the senior tour, right? Ooh. He could be the Bob Barker like fight scene. No, the Bob Barker fight scene should be Drew Carey. You're right. They did actually mention that. Like, you do get to get Drew. That'd be great if Drew Carey showed up and fucking beat this ass. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'm from Cleveland, motherfucker. But no, if it's a senior tour, John Daly better be in that fucking movie because <laughs> he is the star of that tour. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking, you you want to talk about a guy? What's cool? Who, what's cool to see? Um, Chris McDonald, Shane McGavin, at the hockey game though. I bet. I'm jealous. He, you know, they did the ceremonial puck drop. You know, he came yeah. on the red carpet. He's like a nice suit. You know, he's going. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's cool. He loves that character. And that's cool. That's cool. I would hope to be Steve able to Guy. Make money I saw off Steve Guy was interviewing him. Yeah, Steve Guy's the in-game host for the monster. Yeah, he is. 
I haven't talked to him in a while. Or I thought I'd have been like, Steve, get me in a fucking game, dude. I want to play. I want to fucking win a prize. <laughs> oh, God. Those slips, man. You want to talk about, like, those things used to be fucking what? annoying to get filled out. Because you would get them. You, 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 you'd get people, like, the first couple we talking about people. When you were part of the promotions team, oh, you would okay. be the one in charge of, like, signing somebody up for thing and what i think my my crowning achievement was i got my i signed my brother up for the um and i got the okay for this uh signed my brother up for a zamboni ride when he was like 12 i uh the first time i took my niece to a rubber ducks game like we got there early and there's not a lot of kids there and somebody came up hey do you want to do like they asked her to do one of the races or something she was okay. nervous, so she's like, no. But like now she's like, regrets it. And she's like, dude, if they ever ask me again, I'm like, yeah, I told you, you should have done it. Uh, so. I'm trying desperately to see if I can have, if they still have my video from, or my videos from 2007 still there. I really hope they kept them. No one like throws anything away. Well, it, well, I mean, they might, hard but hard drive gets deleted. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, I mean, well, listen, they had old lumberjack shit when I went last yeah. year. Yeah. Um, but they don't like. They, I mean, I told you that uh, Alan's house was on an HGTV show yeah. or a pilot. It's on YouTube. Uh, it's called what is it called? Gut job, gut job. Which sounds like something else, but anyway. Um, but. He's he's like man, I wish they had other footage of some of the things they did because they did everything and they didn't show everything, right? But they they redid the whole house. It's yeah. pretty cool to see. It is really cool to see. It's it, it was kind of surreal to see it. I'm like shit, that's Alan's house, <laughs> you know? It's neat. But um, and they, I mean, it was a it, the house had been a fire and it used to be a duplex and they made it a single family home and they redid everything. But I'm like, dude, HGTV. I mean, they have to have the beef foot out of the rest of the footage they have to have it there's no way they, do, they don't yeah i mean well everything they didn't they didn't use for the show right it's a 40 minute show so they probably have um a day 40 worth 40 of- hours worth that's usually what yeah. it is right so they probably have two days worth at least of complete footage i'm like i'm like i doubt they give it to you we can ask i doubt it uh you could i mean yeah, they, they sell it to you but yeah. <laughs> The things I that's what that's where they keep it. That's where they keep it, right? Because if let's say hypothetically some sort of crazy thing happened at the house, right? They have all this footage, right? So that's that's where they keep mm-hmm. it. But you know, you spent money on something, you never throw it away. So that's why they they keep it. But I'm like, they have it. You can ask. Well, it's also it, like with my stuff, it's more like team history. You know, like. It's it, it, I was part of the first ever promotions team for that organization. I would say I would I say see a black arm, by the way. So Pulse might be back here. 80 percent chance they have it. I'm hoping they do just, emailed the guy. I've tried calling a few times. Yeah, because usually if you pay to make something even a little bit you don't throw it away and it's again it's part of the team history like it's pulse back because i gotta pee again dude i have i have diabetes all right well it may but go pee damn it i need a fucking jug down here no you don't that's how it starts that's how that's how reclusiveness starts that's not no that's not healthy go pee outside on a tree or something um but uh yeah, Burbo Plata here with you guys. It's raining outside, so my car might be wet. Fantastic. Um, but uh yeah, we appreciate every single person for being here with us. Uh live on the YouTubes and whatever streaming apps you may be watching us on. Uh so feel free to kick back. We're probably gonna be ending here soon, but uh Pulse is back. How was the walk, man? Yeah, you look tired. Yeah. God damn, bro. How much is gas down there right now? Oh man, I'm, I'm, I couldn't even begin to tell you. 
Like, is it is it in like the four fives? I want to. For some reason, the number three seventy seven comes to mind. Oh, that's not that bad. It's not that crazy. It's like three forty nine up here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not that. It's not that insane. So that's that's okay. I mean, it's crazy. Don't get me wrong, but um, yeah, we're uh, we're we we're, were talking about. What do you think of the? Um, did you did you, you did you watch any of the fights this weekend? Um, the main card, basically. Okay, so you saw the um, the only main card fight I watched was the main event. So Chris Curtis yeah. versus uh, Brandon Allen. What did you think of that? Uh, it was a decent fight, but I was speaking about it earlier. Did you see Chris Curtis cry? After his leg gave out? Yeah. Yeah, no, I understand. It's just it's just funny when you see a grown man cry. It's just... oh. Dude, listen, I think Ray and I have both said this because we're both people who aren't ashamed to cry. You have no shame of crying. No, no, I'm not saying he should have shame in it. I'm just saying, like, I'll cry. But I'm just saying, though, it's like, um, does cry. Have you ever, have you, yeah, according to Prince, have you ever cried at a movie? Not sure. Yeah. In the theater? I don't yeah. know. I I'm going to admit it. I cried during Forrest Gump. Okay. I think the, the last, last movie I cried watching, it wasn't in the theater, but it was Clerks 3. Man, that got me good. Yeah. And what I part? haven't seen Clerks 3 yet. What? Clerks 2 Wh- made me Which cry. part made you cry? Did you see Clerks 3? Oh, is it that bad? No. Oh, if you haven't seen it, I can't t- I'm can't. i not going to tell you. Okay, the first one was in black and white. The yep. second one was okay. Was that a Mc- like a McDonald's second one was hilarious. Kind of thing. second one's fucking one of the best movies ever made. <laughs> I, dude, I love Clerks 2. Clerks 1's good, but Clerks 2... Man, maybe my favorite sequel of all time. I remember yes. as a kid, Clerks One introduced me to what the term um I believe it was snowball. Snowball, yeah. That snowball. Mm-hmm. But I know I haven't seen the third one, but the the um third one overall is okay, but man, it gets you. It fucking gets you. Like it. And I I can't say anything else because I'm not gonna fuck it up for you guys. So the movie, I mean, during Forrest Gump, the scene well, Bubba gets gets shot in the stomach, and then Forrest pulls away the leaves. He's like, "Forrest, it's getting cold," and he's like, "Oh, Bubba." It kind of, it kind of, you know. It got I me. I love when a movie makes me cry. Yes, because it makes you feel like a person. Number one, <laughs> like, yes. like, thank goodness, I still have emotions. And uh, I remember this one. This was I was young when this happened, but I remember crying really hard watching The Green Mile. Eight mile, green mile. It's not eight mile. Oh. Green mile. I'm like, I um, you say you were crying during eight mile because you were watching eight mile. So, <laughs> why did I sit all the way through this? Um, but uh, exactly. you really hate him and them, man. Uh, with a passion, but yeah, he uh, does. But that's whatever. He's wrong. That's fine. He's allowed to be wrong. I am um, allowed by my First Amendment right in the United yes, States of America, which Biden is trying to take away. All right. Is he though? He is, is he? He's trying to take away my constitutional right to be able to be wrong. I saw, right? I, saw, I, saw, all right, I saw a video that apparently 440-ish people got, last year, got charged over um, hate speech law in, in Britain last year. There's mm-hmm. there's a woman, I saw this video, I didn't, I didn't double check it, but apparently uh-huh. there's a woman whose friend died and she decided to post the lyrics to his favorite rap song online that had the n-word in it and she got charged and she's on probation Uh Mm -hmm. i didn't double check it yeah doesn't america sound so much better than the rest of the fucking world i don't don't know overall not perfect but yeah (laughs) not perfect no we're not a perfect we definitely fuck up in a handful of ways sure but the free speech thing is a big deal. Overall, I mean, we that's my fucking, like, whole contention with people saying, like, America sucks. You know what you can do in America? Whatever you, you want. it sucks. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's the best. Dude, we have shows every day that, like, talk shit about all kinds of people, and we're allowed. 
People don't realize, like, if you were to do free speech laws, those would apply to you as well. Like, I think people who are like, man, we should jail this person under mm-hmm. this law and all this. When I saw. You realize it could be turned on you. Correct? When I met, like, um, in my opinion, an absolute human hero of free speech, Bassem Yusuf. At the funny stop, when I met Bassem, I said, I, I mean. I tried to say it to him, and I think he just kind of he like kind of changed the subject. Like he didn't want to talk about it. He was nice, but he was. I'm like, dude, listen, I, I couldn't like I couldn't imagine going through what you went through. I'm like, to yeah. me, you're a hero of free speech. I'm like, dude, we feel like we're gonna get shit when we talk when we do tell a dick joke on stage. And he just goes, I've never done a dick joke on stage. Like he changed the, the subject real quick. But I, it's okay. Well, I he didn't want to talk about it. I get I get it. No, I just yeah. I just wanted to tell him that. I just wanted to do what yeah, I did. No. I just wanted to tell him what he I didn't ask him. I wasn't gonna ask a him to, to thank talk you about would it. would be fine in that cat in that category because I think he would understand why. He get no, he got it wasn't that. it wasn't yeah. weird. I understand he I just understood he didn't want to talk about it. That yeah. which was completely fine. But I, I just wanted to say to him what I and I, I and I do understand, and maybe this is why he's changed the subject that I will never understand as an American. I'll never quite understand what it's like, yeah, um, to have what happened to him happen to me. Mm-hmm. But I was also trying to acknowledge that I will never understand. That's what I was trying to say. Here's the thing, though, Tim. It could, and I'm afraid it's probably going to, and it's going to scare the shit out of me. Like watching watching it get eroded is going to suck because it probably will. And that's that's what, gonna be a nasty day. Free speech? Yeah, I don't. I think really, that. I have a fear that's gonna get that's gonna get. No matter what administration, I feel somebody's like somebody's gonna do it. I feel like the people will fight way too fucking hard for it. I would hope because that but that's also something I that people are gonna be like. Hey, everyone, okay. everyone would get together on that. No matter what side you're on, I don't. I, yeah, I, mean, I would hope. You I would, would assume. Hope. You would assume. Yeah, but again, what is what is what does assume do, Tim? Makes the ass out of you and me. Exactly. Hold on. Let my boy speak for me. You're goddamn right. Yeah. You know, also, we were just talking about free speech and how it's awesome, and we're very happy that we have it here in Britain, which is a Britain, which is a very free country. Um, Let's not go that far. Well, overall, but but the free speech laws are silly. There was a woman about I think about a year ago um, whose friend died, and she posted the the lyrics of his favorite song online, I think on Facebook, and it had the N word in it. It was a rap song, and then she got um, convicted of of hate speech laws, and she has two years of probation. She's not allowed out of her house out of her house before eight a.m. or after eight p.m. That is so fucked up that is fucked that is that is god what pulse no. what do you think about this sorry i had to just like mouth off on that man that's fucked up no it is fucked up um posting rap lyrics pulse come on no i'm not i'm not saying it not saying she should have done it but the fact that she's like fucking on probation for it legally it reminds me of a. Uh... I, I saw a BBC doc on uh, a girl with Tourette syndrome, and well, that's different. Like one of her tics, that's just hilarious. One of her tics was the N word, and her parents are afraid to bring her. They like took her to the shopping mall, and it just so happened they went into like an urban store. <laughs> Poor girl, <laughs> she was just, <laughs> she was just letting them loose. I know it's easier said than done. And it was, and someone with Tourette's and well aware it's easier th- said than done. But I feel like in that situation, you just be, be like, D- I have Tourette's, bro. Like, I, I, it is what it is. I can't control it. It's medical. E- either right? deal with you. Like, listen, at this point, like, if you have a problem with me, then it's your fault, man. Really? That That's how I am with my, with my inch, inch and stuff. Like, someone, like, is weird. I'm like, dude, like, Listen, I don't want to bother you. I really don't. But if you have a problem, I'm like, yeah, you know, it's, it's on you, man. Now, feel- now, now, movie theaters. That's why I like to go to the movies where there's not a lot of people going to be there. Like, I like to go weird times, like in the morning or something. Because I don't like to be next to people. Because sometimes when I'm next to a bunch of strangers, I probably get twitchy. And if they don't know what's up, 
they'll be uncomfortable. And I don't, I feel bad for them being uncomfortable at the movie theater. No one should have to feel uncomfortable, right? But at the same time, I'm not doing anything wrong, <laughs> right? And I can't help it. So, but, but I, for those reasons, I do. But also, I feel uncomfortable because, because, I'm twitching more because of that situation. So I also so that's why I, I avoid it is because I also feel uncomfortable. I feel more uncomfortable. And I feel uncomfortable making them uncomfortable. But if they are mad about it, that's different. Like I used to twitch at the gym. And there's people looking at me weird because I sweat and I twitch. I'm like, you have a problem with that, you can fuck right the fuck off. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, dude. Uh, that, they're tripping. If you're sweating at a gym, it's like that. You're... No, not because I'm sweating because when I sweat, I twitch. Oh, so I'll be like, you know, they're thinking I'm, you know, if they don't, I think a lot of people, smart people, obviously will think, hey, there's something going on that's not his fault or there's something, you know, Tourette's or something like that. Um, but people are like, oh, man, this guy's on drugs or shit. I'm like, why would if I be on go on dr- be on drugs and go to the gym? Who does that? I mean, it depends. Um, some people it happened to me at work in Texas. Like... Happened at, at work in Texas. They uh, one guy thought I was on drugs. But then I had to tell him, like, no, I have Tourette's. Uh, anyway, what are you saying, Paul? I'm sorry. I don't, I forgot what the question was. Oh, we, weren't we originally talking about 300? Sure. So, yeah, yeah I saw most of the, well, I saw the, actually, I'm lying. I've never been to the gym yeah. sober. My guy. I saw the main event. Yeah. Oh, we, Saturday? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what, Pulse, were you here when we had Butka on or not? Who? Dylan, Dylan Butka. Butka. Is that your friend who's, um, Tim, who's, um, who he's, he's, he's sort of handicapped? <laughs> no, that's Matt Onesti. No, oh. um, Matt Onesti's the man. Um, I fucking love that guy. Love uh, no, Dylan Butka fought in, in the card on Saturday. Oh, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I, okay, I was here briefly at, at the tail end. He fought on the UFC card? Yeah. Yeah. From he the lost. Apex. He got finished in the second round. He was on the prelims? Yeah. Yeah. First fight. He, got, it. Second he fr- gassed out. Yeah, he did gas out. Mm. But hopefully he'll be back. He's a tough guy. And Listen, that's the first guy we've had on that went to the UFC after we interviewed him. And yes. we've had people on who've been on the UFC who in the UFC before we interviewed him? We still haven't had one in 300 episodes almost that's been current, but we're working on it. Working on it every day. Pulse, that's on you, bro. There's 500 fighters. Message them all. Um, okay, I will. I, I'm still working on Viking Samurai. Actually, I think he's ready. If, if, if we, uh, I want to send you some of his content, you think? Yeah, so? yeah. Make sure you do that before. I, I have no idea who he is. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's great. I'm sure also. He is, man. Uh, so we mentioned it before. We got Bo Nickel coming up this week. This weekend, he's on the main card. Or is he a preliminary fight? He's on the main card. Yeah. Main card of the uh, thing. I want to check the sp- the DraftKings spread on this whole thing. But yeah, Bo, Bo Nickel's uh, on the main card. I, you know, I just I, something about him. I just don't like hype trains. Or I don't like people who get all this hype. Listen, he'll be beat eventually, but he's very, very, very good. Who do you think takes the L first, Bo Nickel or this guy Raul Rosas Jr.? What was the question? Who takes the L first? Who who loses first? Rosa. Now they're both undefeated. Rosa. Um, Easy. So Bo Nickel. Although I think Nickel is going to start fighting real tough guys real soon. I still think Rosa. Bo Nickel. Is a minus twenty one hundred. Holy shit! What's what's Brundage? An eleven hundred. Oh, plus plus eleven hundred. Yeah, it's eleven to one. That's fucking crazy in MMA. I'll put a hundred on that. Don't do it. Why not? Well, it's your money. I Maybe mean, fifty. Yeah, it's my money. Fifty? Okay, I can. Fifty do sounds more reasonable. Yeah, I'm down. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, um, the, you know what though? I haven't, I haven't done DraftKings in a while. I think like maybe for 300, I should, maybe I should do a little parlay. Hell yeah, dude. No, you know what though? The thing is I'll pick Garbrandt right away. And if he loses, <laughs> wait a minute, he did. 
Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Shout out Ryan Fields. What's up? Okay, we'll forget that question. Uh, okay, well then, new question. Who takes their second loss first? <laughs> Raul Rosas or Jelton Almeida? Because I was high up on Almeida before his last fight. His last Jelton. Loss Where's Almeida? Rosas is young. He'll he'll bounce back from this. So. this it, it, If Bo Nickel isn't a champion by the end of 2025, I'll be surprised. We'll see. Well, absolutely. I see. think I think there's I think he could I bet he could beat. Yep, I think he could beat this pluses today. You're crazy. You're okay. Mm-hmm. Well, Duplessis, right. yes. I think I, he could beat Duplessis today. I, um, I today. Swear. Come Tuesday. Come next Tuesday. If both nickel loses this weekend, Tim, I gotta let you have it, buddy. That's it. fine, but dude, listen, I want British to win. <laughs> like I think it'd be great if British won. That'd be fucking sweet. Oh hell yeah. I want I want Ray to win his what five hundred oh, fifty bucks hundred dollars on it. He put a hundo. I want I want Ray to win some money too. Yeah, could make up for. Hopefully, he doesn't knee him in the junk like he did. Fucking. Uh, I may yeah. do some man. I'm trying not to do this anymore, but three hundred, and I feel like it's just good good for quality content. I feel like I might have to make some bets this weekend. I'm putting in my soup, my normal super bets, which are my dollar bets to like pick on my own and all that kind of. I mean, stuff. Cody Garber is probably an underdog, right? Fuck that lightning struck! That lightning just fucking shook my house. That's awesome. Lightning um, UFC. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do like. Dude, Co- Cody Garber is a plus two. Dude, Cody Garber plus two fifty. That is. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Cody Garbrandt, 250. Oh, here's my here's my parlay. Uh, Cody Garbrandt, Jim Miller, mm-hmm, plus one, 154. Uh-huh. Um, Marina Rodriguez, Jessica Andrade. Dude, I like Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Okay. Um, Turner Mercado. Uh, I'm going to skip that one. I'm going to skip Yusuf Lopez, too. Holm, Harrison. Hold Man, on, wait. I'm, I'm Harrison's to too right big now. of a favorite for me to pick her. She's too big of a favorite for me to pick her. So they're picking Holly. No, I'm not picking either of them. Oh, okay. I think I think Harris is gonna win, but that's too. But she's minus four ten. I'm not gonna put yeah. her, put her on there. Um, Cater is Sterling. I'm picking Sterling, but he's minus one seventy. Um, yeah. Prochaska, Reiki. Prochaska is plus one hundred. Yeah, Prochaska, one hundred. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Bo Nickel. You put he's a parlay, so put him in there. Minus twenty one hundred. Oliveira and. Uh, Trukian, do plus one ninety of Oliveira, Oliveira, um, Gaethje Holloway. I'm not touching that one either. Oh, before we cut off, you that's please enough. Check out my I'm, I posted a new prediction video. I Y'all saw it. I saw it, sir. Comment your picks, sir. Well, we're gonna do it on Thursday. Okay. No, I mean on my video. Oh, okay. Yeah, I will if I remember. Um, yeah. I'm calling an upset on the main card. So. That wasn't a big upset though you picked, right? Didn't you pick Holloway? Yeah, that's not a... Yeah, ten I'm bucks. So I have a plus that what I just said right there is plus eighteen two five nine. Yeah. So ten, ten bucks that's a seven pick parlay. It'll net you about ten bucks would be eighteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man. I mean I might save that. I might save that fucking bet here. Man, you know what? What if I take Cody off? What is it? Okay, it's a lot less when I take Cody off. <laughs> no, I got to put got to put Cody on though, man. I get yeah, Cody. Cody's the only good thing is, I don't want my parlay to be done after one fight, but um, I'm gonna have to rewatch. So it's three fifty, three fifty or three forty nine to three fifty two. All right, cool. I want to pick Gaethje, but I don't think it's no. I'm, I'm gonna let that go. So yeah, that's seven seven fights. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be pl- oh shoot, hold on. Where Cody go? There's Cody. Come back, Cody. All right. Um, back. Yeah, that that parlay I just said would be plus um, eighteen two five seven two five nine. So uh, yeah, yeah, ten bucks would be eighteen hundred dollars. Hey, might put a twenty spot on it, man. Thirty six hundred bones. I might follow you. The only thing is, I, the only thing is, if Cody loses, it ruins the whole parlay. <laughs> It does, but it's it's 
good enough where I might put it. That's a decent. I, I like that parlay though. Not a bad parlay. Is Garbrandt Figgy opening the, the whole card? Yes, sir. Yeah. Man, what a that might be the greatest opening fight of all time. I'm saying as as matchups go. Two former champions on the early, early prelims. That's that's the that's first a fight. Yeah. I mean, that, that's why they're doing it. If it wasn't 300, because Dana White said from the first, he said this before they even booked the fight. He's like, from the first fight, it's going to be, you know. So he's like, we got to have two former champions start it off. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of fights on this card that usually it would be like Lopez or Yusuf, which is a great fight too. But he, he said that. So I um, might do my topology tonight because the way I'm feeling, I have, I have, I have a feeling. I'm, you know, I'm, I don't know who you guys, I'm, I'm have a feeling Tim's going with. Cody, I don't know about you, Ray, but I'm picking uh, Cody. I got Cody. Okay. I got Cody Garbrandt. The, like I said earlier to Ray, the fight, I believe the fight will last between six and seven seconds. Cody's going to win by first round knockout. <clears throat> I do. I think I'm going no love by TKO, but I don't think, I don't know about first round, but I think he's going to put him away. Yeah, I think I, it, it'll probably second round Cody will put him away. He'll wrestle him a little bit and then beat him up on the ground and then land and some kind of like insane haymaker. I can see that. And in the main event, you know, I, I think how we spoke I about I got my computer talking to spec the, the text on the screen. I don't know what I hit, but I can't get it to stop. Oh, it's just no. reading things to me. Stop. 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 How does it stop? I yes, I'm having know. issues. No, stop. It's talking to me crazy. <laughs> Finish your thing, Paul. He's, he's, he's... No, I was going to say, I, 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 you know, I, I was looking at the line, and um, I think we spoke about it before, but I'll just reiterate. It looks like Vegas has no faith. I figured it out. In Jamal Hill to regain his title. They, like. No. Well, I mean, he's a plus 110. He's not like he's a plus 500 or a plus I three. thought he was a three-point dog, but in any event, I'm picking Pahaya to, to win, to knock him out. I got Jamal Hill winning this one. Oh, really? You I have Jamal that? Hill fucking working on his ground game, no. getting himself ready to take down Alex Pahaya and wrestle fuck him. You stay away from any kind of kickboxing match. And you fucking Ryan pull kills your you big him. Detroit ass all we'll over his that. face. That's what I, I, I want to happen. I, I gotta, I gotta disagree with y'all. I think, uh, I think, for hell, he's gonna avenge his uh, his mentor. You know, he'll won the belt by beating beating the hell out of Global. Well, what, what do you think? What do you think about this parlay here, Air, Air Pulse? Go for it. Seven legs, Cody Garbrandt win. Jim Miller over Bobby Green. Mm. Marina Rodriguez over Jessica Andrade. See, that should open up the card. I mean, come on. Well, I understand what they're doing. And they want to be like, hey, look how good this card is. We have two champions going out at it. Even though, although I'm expecting Andrade Rodriguez to be a great fight. Um, Then, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Funkmaster Sterling to beat Cater. Yuri yeah. Prohaska to beat Rakic. Uh, Bo Nickel to be Brundage, Charlie Olives to be Sharukian, and then yeah, that's it. Yeah, there's a seven I have. Man, that's yeah. the thing about parlays. I like, I you know, I no, like one fucks it up, and I think the one that will fuck it up is maybe Cody. <laughs> um, Ryan, I listen. That's not a bad pick, man. But I mean, you know, he's my, you know, I'm playing a little home team a little here. I like, I like. I mean, I'm, 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 you know, I like Jim Miller. He has more wins than anybody. I, I really, I'm really confident in Jim Miller winning. I am not. I listen. Really? No, I think. I think Bobby Green's going. No, I think Jim Miller's going. I I don't want to fuck you up. No, I think he's got such a bad. He got put out so bad by um, by by Turner, Mm -hmm. and he's like he wants to get that taste out of his mouth. He's gonna. He was on a street too, so I like. I, I think he's gonna beat. I'm happy for Jim Jim Miller. He's he was at 100. He's at 200. He's at 300. But I think this might be his retirement fight. Like I oh, think Bobby yeah. Green, I think Bobby that. Green is going. But he's winning. He's winning fights. I know. This is amazing. Dude's 40, and he's dude, like still, he's still need, dude, level, but he, win this and then fight Matt Brown. 
The Matt great. Brown fight should happen. I'm pissed that they haven't. This should that should be the fight happening at three hundred. Bobby Green's gonna beat the brakes off of him. I'm sorry. I don't yeah. think so, man. Jim I, really I think Jim Miller pulls it out. I love Jim Miller. Jim Miller's too tough. Yeah, um, he's he's a dog, man. That's that's the thing about Miller. He when he when you think he's fucked, he always just comes back even harder. And I love that about Jim Miller. That's true. That's, I said the same thing about Darren Elkins, but I but oh, yeah, but actually, the damage. I want to see Darren Elkins fight this guy Landwehr. <laughs> Both of them will beat the hell out of in the same class. Um, isn't Landy or a white lightweight? Maybe not. I don't know. Featherweight, didn't he? Maybe. Um, so this is why I think Cody's going to beat Davy Fix. Cody's upside is fantastic. So good. He's he's really is a great wrestler. He can, like I don't think people he hasn't you haven't seen it too much, but that guy was a state champion in Ohio, which is one of the top wrestling states in high school. As a freshman at Claymont High School down the street from me. I used to have the you remember that thing with him and his brothers? The magazine. The magazine. There was like some kind of magazine talking about the the Garbrandt brothers. Oh maybe. They were all bald and in their wrestling gear and all that yeah, stuff. Probably. I used to have that. I don't know where it went, Tim. I don't know. Cody got the, got kicked out of Claremont High School for picking the shit out of him. Kicking the shit out of somebody. Um, but uh, Figgy's great. He's the man. But if we get if we see if we see the best Cody Garbrandt, we you know if we see Cody Garbrandt being the being the best available Cody Garbrandt, it's going to be really good. He's a real yeah. good shot at. It. I think he, I think he kills him in the second round. Then I think they book him. He up. has the power too, Matt. Dude, can you imagine if he knocks out Figueredo? I think that's gonna happen in the second. Well, if he knocks not. out Figueredo, he gets a title shot, or he's pretty damn close to it. I know. I think he's one of. I'll probably put him against Piotr Jan next. Maybe, but didn't want Yandis lose? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who let Yandis? No, he won. Who did he, who did he fight? Um, ah, uh, fuck. Oh, um, fucking triple C, triple the yeah, yeah. Cejudo, yeah, Cejudo, um, yeah, maybe, but dude, I feel like the USC would absolutely, and I would love it too. The only press conference I pay attention to, a right. Grant O'Malley press conference, yeah, <laughs> that'd be fun. Uh, that'd be fun, but that would, yeah, that would, that'd be solid. Um, man, yeah, dude. The f- Perhoshka Rakic, dude. I can't believe Perhoshka's an underdog. Is he hurt? I, I, not by much, though. I mean, it's on plus one ninety, it's almost a two to one. I can't believe that either. Rakic hasn't fought in seems like five years. I, mean, I understand that, he, that um, Perhoshka lost his last fight, but I mean, that was his first yeah. loss in the UFC. Right. Right. And he was he a champion fought in five years. That's what I'm saying. It's like he's the face. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I... um, yes, yeah, um, Oliveira is a plus one ninety underdog too, against uh oh yeah, Prashka is a plus one hundred, so it's almost a pick them. But yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He's not uh, like Ol- Oliveira. Yeah, I was thinking Oliveira. Oliveira is a plus one ninety against Shurikin. Well, yeah, Ryan Kill says he's picking Armand for that one. I'm not. I'm picking Du Bronx. Yeah, I got Du Bronx winning that one. He's still top Chucky level. Olives, baby. Charlie Olives, a guy who was at my second UFC card ever. I don't know if you he know this, boss, but if if, if Ray has seen anyone fight, he, he will tell you. And yes. Uh, he also forgets a lot. Dude, 210 is still a blur. I don't remember. No, dude, you forgot about happened. Columbus. You, you didn't mention the Faro or uh, not Faro, uh Fior. Yeah, you, Fior fight. I don't remember her. You, but that was also you saw the late Anthony Rumble Johnson's last professional fight ever right is that right yeah yeah i remember that oh no, I his last professional that. fight maybe his last ufc fight yeah it was last his title last fight, UFC fight. Yeah, it was his last ufc fight okay. he retired after that um well then he went to come back. Bellator. Yeah. yeah uh but uh patrick cote retired that night too one legged canadian um fucking charlie olives versus ill will brooks opened up the card Ch- uh, charlie olives won that one jan blahovich took on who's the guy with the mustache the chubby guy with the mustache cummings yeah cummings strict how about this one 
I don't even know how this one fucking hit my transom or missed my transom, but it was uh, uh, Sean Strickland taking on Kamaru Usman. <laughs> Wow. I Most don't remember that, that even fight happened. happening at all. Yeah. That's wild, man. Two for, talk, talk about two former champions. Well, future champions at that Bro. point. How much money that fight make now? Yeah. It was $100 from where I was sitting in Buffalo. And I don't remember most of it because I was hammered. I'm, I'm like. I remember the, sh- the, the Chris Weidman fight. That one fucking sucked. That was the Gegard Musasi fight. But, I'm legitimately uh, pissed they don't come to Ohio more. Like it pisses me off. I know, but whatever. They don't. No. I mean, they you came two years ago. You guys get them more than us. Yeah, you get. Dude, Houston gets them every year. Yeah, we we don't we don't get the luxury after UFC 203 to even get a fight night. That, that was, was such a great up. night, man. I'll never forget that. I actually paid for that pay per view. Which one? Stupe versus oh, yeah, yeah. Green. The co-main oh, was dude. CM, CM Punk. You want to talk about one of the wildest crowds I've ever been a part of in my entire life? I'll bet. Club level, UFC 203, I'm fucking 18 times baked over. Like, I am fucking high as giraffe pussy and drinking, like, $12 beers. It was one of the best nights of my life. And when that place was shaking... Yeah. After Overeem got knocked out, it was, it didn't feel safe to be in that building because it was just everybody's like, yeah, I bought, yeah, motherfucker. Dude, I bet that place was, yeah, I bet that place was shaking. I'm sure it was like an audible gasp when 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 Stipe got oh. dropped. No, yeah, we all fucking shuddered, going, oh no, he's gonna fucking lose in his home goddamn town, and then, mm-hmm. thank yeah, Christ. that's what I saw when when Mark Brian Goddard Rogers got knocked doing. out. Yeah, Mark Goddard fucking had a great refereeing night that night, man. He fucking he did a good job. But I mean, you watched the fight; it, he wasn't done. Like you know, you wanted no. Um, He's getting put him around, put him away first round, though, right? Yeah, yeah. it was a crazy first round. Yeah. It was. Yeah, really, man. I've never seen something like that. I'm sure it, it would have been nuts. Like. I was telling Ray earlier the craziest sports moment I've been at live is when the Guardians won that walk off home run playoff game. I, I'm I'm assu- well, it, it was pretty damn loud, but they were outside. You know, I couldn't I can only imagine how loud it would have been mm. at the queue. Then, what's your favorite walk off ever? Well, I mean, I'm biased, but that one because I was there. Okay, well, mine I'm biased too because they sent us to the World Series, but when Altuve took um. Let's. What's his name? If we're talking 2017. What's the guy's name? Cuban guy throws hardest shit, the hardest, fastest throwing. Chapman. Chapman, Aroldis Chapman. Yeah. He took Let's... a beat to send us to the World Series, and then Chapman just stares in disbelief as he circles the bases. He's like, well, yeah, because he didn't realize at the time that he had been bamboozled. That's yeah. that's what that's what happened. He, to, threw, he threw the pitch. So. Yeah, he knew it was coming. Okay. Knew it was coming. Twenty twenty two counts, Pulse. Know that we we recognize. Well, yes, on we this joke, show. but honestly, he didn't know the fastball was coming. He absolutely knew because of the trash can. He knew. See, and like that's the thing. Like I feel like a guy ready? like Nolan Ryan, he can tell you what he's throwing, and you can't touch him. Mm. So it's like. Certain, you know, I just, any of This is different. This is any. different, Paul. Well, um, yeah. But uh, 2016, one of my favorite ones to watch on TV, I was on my couch watching um, the the Indians play um, uh, Toronto at home. And uh, I think somebody just hit a home run to tie it up. And then Tyler Naquin came up and hit a ball off the wall and ran all the way around. They had an inside the park walk, walk off inside the park home run. That was one of the coolest fucking things I've ever saw. That was, and he, as soon as he slid home safe, he did a fucking metal horns. <laughs> it was the coolest thing ever. That was so cool. That was now awesome. my least favorite walk off was the <laughs> Astros versus the Cardinals. Albert Pujols, man, when he took our hearts out, when he. Yeah, I remember it. that one. 
I don't remember that one. I mean, I think one of the greatest walk-offs of all time was, well, no, no, Joe Carter won the World Series with a home run, right? Right? So that made probably the best one of all time. But I remember the Aaron Boone, Tim Wakefield home run mm-hmm. for the, to go to the World Series. That was, I mean, I, honestly, I feel like that home run gave him the job of manager. <laughs> like, I feel like uh, I don't think they would have hired him if he wasn't a hero for that one home run he hit off Tim Wakefield. Hey, the late, great Tim Wakefield. R.I.P. Tim Wakefield. Dude, how often do you see, I see it constantly, that fucking one Pirates knuckleball he threw. There's a great video of him throwing a knuckleball with the Pirates. Um, I see that so, because... It just happened to be a great shot of a great knuckleball, and I see it constantly. You ever see it? No? Uh, maybe. It might have come through. I mean, it didn't opinion. rotate once. Who it's, was the guy that knuckleball. threw that floating pitch? I think it was R.A. Dickey or something like that. Knuckleball. He, he threw a knuckleball. Well, one of them, they throw a ball that stays in the air like an extra second. It's like an ethos? Yeah, and it like moves over, doesn't it? Like it floats in the air and then it stays there and then it just drops. And it's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what you're talking about. Like a twelve to six curveball? No, but then what was the one Japanese guy? Um Dice K. Dice K, yeah. Masusaka. He, he like ten pitches. A seamless, a seamless fastball. It does not move. It just goes straight. I love the I love the Ichi or um Ichiro thing where he like pitched 86 miles an hour to like girls teams to fucking win in Japan. It, like, but yeah, th- like those guys, man, Japanese pitchers are insane because they have so many pitches. Like, well, they also have splitters, which is crazy because yeah. we don't really teach the splitter too much over here because it's kind of hard to like figure out how to control it. But everyone in Japan throws a splitter. That's like all their changeups are splitters. Hey. Um, but I mean, Trevor Bauer throws a splitter now. <laughs> Man, I want them to sign Trevor Bauer so bad. And I don't know what that says about me being a human being. Oh, so I saw a tweet from like one of the Guardians fan pages. I forget which one it was. But it, it said a stat. And I don't know if it's a real stat. It doesn't sound like a real stat to me. I, it said... 16% of people who are pro the Guardians signing Trevor Bauer have wives or girlfriends, and only 4% have children, uh, female children, have daughters. I'm like, where is that stat? Where is that coming yeah, from? Yeah, that cha- show me That your sounds work. fake to me. Yeah, that sounds fake show to me. Show me your work. That sounds fake to me. It sounds fake to me. Fucking weirdo. Yeah, that sounds fake to me. Uh, I'm looking at that. I'm like, where is that coming from? Was that a scientific... Some, some scientific... Bro, bro, uh, uh, Paul, I don't think so. Yeah, I, 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 he's not the greatest human being of all time, but I feel like the perfect place for him to go is Cleveland because he spent most of his career here. Stab a heart. Just stab the heart of Cleveland. No, like dude, honestly, no one's going to sign him, but I really wish Cleveland would take him because that would fucking save the season. But you uh, know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um... Oh, you and Ray, you don't know. I test a pee. Go pee and then finish your we'll here of the week. Yeah. Said you and Ray, you don't know, and then you have to pee. So you have to start right from there. Did you watch? Did you watch? I think it was Second Night, Bailey. Bro, I need to say something about British wrestling fans and just British sports fans in general. I said this to my friend who lives in England who used to pirate pro wrestling pay-per-views back in the day. I, I, it, it hurts me that English people are so much better sports fans because they're musical. Like, they are the best. That when everybody was chanting, hey, hey, Bailey, ooh. Ah, I'm like, I fucking know this. Like, it's all the British fans. It yeah, but so they cool. just, they just jack Sweet Caroline like that. Like, they just no, took that. Sweet, well, I mean, Sweet is, is some, so, yeah, whatever. It's Welsh. He's Welsh. Oh. Or is he Danish? No. Neil Diamond's Welsh. So, yeah, it's kind of the United Kingdom fucking thing. They can oh, okay. do that, I guess. I thought he was from here. No, he's from, he's from Wales. 
That's oh, why he's so man. hairy. That's why, like, I have Welsh blood in me, and I know that's why I'm hairy. Like, it. I, there's no other reason besides my Eastern European, like, Polishness to it. I didn't see Tim come back. And boom. There are so many trucker bombs in this basement. Yeah, it, it, you need to throw those away, Tim, before you get roaches. My attract only my attract females. It's my musk. That's not good. Uh-huh. Too many Uthikas. You and Ray, you don't know who Tim is gonna pick this week. And Seiko or a blue hoe. I guess you'll have to wait and see. Who is Tim's hero of the week? Why is my head not even? Because that's how I, I planned it. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Who you guys think Hero of the Week is? The Gamecocks. Aston Kutcher. Wait, why? I just threw a name out there, man. Why is that the first thing you thought of? Did you just watch No Strings Attached last night? No. But it's did, just... You, did you just, just watch Just Married with, with him and, uh, and what's the name? Brittany. Brit- what did you do? You just watch Butterfly Effect, but Brittany Murphy, yeah. You just watch Butterfly Effect, and you're like, yeah, Ashton Kutcher, he's the man. He's the best when, actor of all time. You remember when Von Dutch caps were a thing? What? Yeah. No. What's Von that? Dutch? Von Dutch, yeah. You remember Von Dutch, right, Tim? I don't. What are they? They were ball was... caps that were real popular in, like, the mid-aughts. And mm. jeans. They had jeans, too, for a little while. They were, like, trucker, truck, like, truck mm-hmm. driver. Style. Yeah, they were. You high those? I don't. If I saw them, maybe I would, but I don't remember the name. But uh, no, no. What's the deal with trucker hats, man? They keep coming back and forth. That's people like their trucker hats. Truckers just wear them. Eighteen people drive eighteen wheelers. Sure, sure. I always assume people driving eighteen wheelers are at least eighty to ninety percent asleep at all times. Oh God, no, please! But as often as hard as I try to pick someone other than this, I thought to myself, I mean, listen, if if Iowa won the championship, I would have picked Clark or Iowa. I would have given Hero of the Week. So I feel like it's unfair for me not to give it to Don Staley and the undefeated Gamecocks. I mean. The most popular women's college basketball season of all time. They had the best team. I mean, listen, Gino Ariana had amazing teams at UConn. For I, I'm trying to explain to Allen how at one point they were unbeatable. Um, and they're still really good. It's still made it to the final four. Um, but yeah, down state. Let's do. I don't love the way she dresses. She uh, doesn't dress like a typical coach. No. Nah. Yeah, I feel like she's trying to be like, look at me a little bit. Well, you know what? You want Not her to nearly wear, as much as Kim Mulkey. Kim you Mulkey. You want her to wear a pantsuit. That's what you want. I want her. Yeah, I want her to wear. No, I want her to wear a, 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 a like a, a sweater and khakis, khakis, and a uh, and a button down. That's what I want with a little uh, Gamecocks logo right here. Yeah, no, but she doesn't. At least Kim Mulkey dresses. I mean, she dresses crazy, but it's like formal. You know, Don Staley dresses like she's going to the club. But she may be one of the greatest basketball coaches of all time. So maybe the best. She's great. Her team's great. Um, they beat everybody. And that, I mean, they beat a really, 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 really good Iowa team. So this week's here of the week, the South Carolina Lady Gamecocks. Yeah. Lady Cox. The Lady, Lady Cox. Cox. We got the Lady Cox. Lady Cox. Lady, Lady, Lady Cox. Ah. Did you guys talk about all the wrestling you wanted to talk about? I mean, not really, but we can do that on Thursday. No, no, no. no. It's too late. No, too late. Uh, I have three more sips of alcohol. Go. Balls deep, vagina, in. The Cargill win? Cargill did get the pin. I knew she would. They let Cargill win, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got it off of uh, one of the, like, lower tier people. On the in the group that they were wrestling, uh, but again, dude, the Cody did, Rhodes thing. I like, did like that video of like seeing Cargo and another chick hold chicks up. 
Yeah. I do like I did like that shot. That was a good Bianca shot. Bianca Belair, her tag team partner for this those match. those are probably the two fittest women you will ever see. Yes. Oh hell but, yeah, dude. But if Jay Cargo played one on one against Caitlin Clark, she would look like she's never played basketball before. Uh, you never know. Uh I do know. Do you? <laughs> Well, statistically, Clayton Clark's one of the most exciting, probably one of the best college players of all time, and no one knew who Jay Cargo was until she went to a different sport. So I'm sure well, she was yeah. fine. She was in a mid-major. She started, I think, so good for her, but, you know. Actually, I don't uh, even know if she started. Well, boys and girls, it's time to say goodnight. Thank you very much for being here. We are Bro Bro Plata. We will be back Thursday to break fully down and roast the pictures of Tapology for UFC 300. So get ready, get set. Bro Bro Plata will be with you just very much soon. Thank just very, very much, much soon. Just very much soon. Alcohol. That should be a t-shirt. Bro Bro Plata will be with you just very much very soon. Much soon. I'm going to I'm going to create a like countdown thing just for that that says just very much soon. Uh but we thank you guys very much for being here, Bro Bro Plata, and as always we will see you at the Kumite fam. Sign Trevor Bauer. Sign Trevor Bauer. Do it. Do it. Do it.